It feels like I haven't even left. Let me tell you, when you have access to 25A capabilities, time is on your side. No one's ever really gone. Well, aside from the math and the science, which I'm sure you guys could work out, we're doing a couple rounds around the Kraken right now. Enjoying the views. We're about to enter a multiverse of portal to get back into the swing of things. I think we got to swing by. Over by Endor. Because I hear inside a galaxy of heroes. Woo! We got this thing called a Scout Trooper! Let me tell you, it's been itching me. It's been driving me crazy. Gary, play another song. Thank you. Thank you. It's been driving me crazy! That we haven't been able to test this character out. People have been wanting to see, knowing there's been like no gameplay out there. This sounds like a job for the Kyber Empire. The king of Triple B. To get in there and sort things out. So ladies and gentlemen, I think really quick before we take a quick visit on over to Endor. You and I, we need to get a little party going. It's been too long. It's been too long. Too long, too long, so shh. Too long, shh. No, 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 I said shh. No, no. All right, we, we, we gotta warm up real quick. So ladies and gentlemen, we haven't done a live stream in a minute, so I need you guys to get ready. Stretch out! Because we're about to land straight like into the Kyber Club here on an Alder on oh, I don't Open so. 20! Did you say? Ricky he's out! He's holding me back! Hey! I bet you guys down there, let's get one of the... Did you say? 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 Did Real quick, Gary, can you give me a... All right, we're going to test out your ears. Certainly like to. 
Back on Endor, we gotta make sure we blend in. So besides the vocal mixtures I'm putting out there, possibly could be an Ewok mating call. I can't quite remember what the slight difference is. Nonetheless, we're back here in Endor, the bulletproof best guard cross. We're gucci from the head to toe. So I need all you guys for your prime level of protection. While you're in the carpet club, make sure you swing by. You grab yourself a Gucci robe. We need you guys looking fine today. Take a scout troopers here and we're gonna see what it's all about. Imperial remnants who have been waiting for this day. Are they actually good? No one's been able to tell because the king of Trippie was gone. The Kyber Empire, it's like we need something to show us the way. Don't worry, we're back in the saddle. And we're gonna get you everything you need to know. So let's get in there. Are you actually ready? Are you actually ready for this? Oh, jeez. Someone help out the sea bug. This sea bug gets some nasty diarrhea. Jeez, let me get this off my Beskar crock. Jeez. Anyways, enough chit chat. We got work to do. We got to play mobile games. That's some high level intellectual thinking that we actually got to operate on. Jeez. Let's get in there. I'm great to be back. I'm happy to be back. And it's great to be in this empire today. Let's roll. Jeez. Freaking, oh man. Can they fly any lower? Jeez, anyways. All right. How we doing, y'all? How we doing? It was uh, hilarious watching you mess around with Kyle on your vacation. He's a, he's a ham, man. He's an absolute ham. <laughs> he's a funny dude, I love him. High energy, he's like me. He's high energy, he's a goofball. You gotta love the guy. You gotta love the guy. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. I, uh, it's a little, it was mildly upsetting. I was hoping to have like my Starlink thing. It would've been a lot of fun, like streaming Scout Trooper on top of the mountain. On Thursday, man, I was like on top of the mountain. It's like, oh man, this would've been a really cool spot to stream. Next time though, maybe. So yeah, the signals, garbanzo means, but nonetheless, it was a lot of fun doing a lot of on the go stuff. So glad you enjoyed it, my friend. Woo! Man, oh man, oh man. Let me see what else we got here before we get too far ahead. And that Scout Trooper testing there. Cause must be no more videos of Kyle. Like, he, he sometimes makes his rounds. Right now he's, Knocked out on the couch, so we'll have to see if he can grace us with his presence later on. We got Safari Bear, I got you. David Newhouse, I got you. Hopefully the ear sounding better. We did a little ear test for you. Welcome back, master of beating it. I am pretty good at it, Neil. I'm just saying. I, I don't want to brag, RJJ. I am the master. I am also a master beta tester, like Mobile Gamer coined in Marvel Strikes. I'm just saying. It takes a lot to do that. K Beaver, ten dollars. I was in the mountains last week. Nice, celebrating my birthday. Then I come to find you were out there too. Were you when the mountains celebrate my birthday? Of course, that's why I was out. It's like it's my, K Beaver's birthday. We got to make sure we're doing the same thing at the same time, like Broski's, right? That I saw familiar looking star destroyer. Yeah, that was me. I know. I didn't mean to flex, but man, it was it was really cool. It was a Friday. We found like this abandoned like uh, old miner trail. We found like all these old collapsed mines. We're like climbing up on this 14,000 feet mountain during a thunderstorm. And like, while I'm on the top, you see the, you're like, you're in the clouds. You see the lightning coming. It was pretty surreal. I, there, I was like, there's a 50, 50 chance I might get struck by lightning, but it was totally worth it. A lot of fun, a lot of fun. There's so much world out there to see y'all. So, so it's a lot of fun just to get out a little bit and touch some grass once in a while, right? You know how it goes. You know how it goes. And let's make sure I don't go forward. Let's make sure I don't fall too far behind. Because you guys know what it is. We're going to get in there. We got to unlock this character. You know, while we're waiting, why don't we actually at least do the, uh, yeah, 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 the event. I haven't done, I haven't touched the event. I was actually looking like, was there, there's like no gameplay out there. It's like, holy cow. This game, that's, that's one thing I, I think that's a flex on the game. And it's one of the negative things about this game. Like, you know, and most other games there, when something new comes out, pretty much everyone can like showcase it. This is one of those few games where something new comes out and most people are going to enjoy this for at least like three, five, you know, six months, year, something like that. So it's, it's kind of sucky. It's like, I was like, right before we started, I was like, all right, let anyone maybe do anything. I want to showcase some stuff while I was gone. No one got anything. So it uh, goes to show how this, how this type of game is, which breaks my heart a little bit, but let's go start the gameplay testing in the event itself. Event is kind of, it's a snore fest. I mean, we never really expect too much out of Mark even. Let's not, 
<laughs> let's not get too carried away. Here, let's see what she's got to say in a little cat. Keep the conversation up with you guys. Masters of stealth and reconnaissance. I welcome scouts to the hollow tables. They protect the moon and the stars generated during a battle vendor. <clears throat> well, they did a really crappy job. That's a whole different point. And we're experts at navigating any terrain with speeder bikes. All right. And you guys know the drill. We throw it on auto and let them handle the rest. I'm curious how that's going to be. Yeah, yeah, G's in a good mood because we're in the Gucci. I'm telling you, when you're wearing Gucci, life's really good. I don't mean to brag, my friend. You know, that's just how, that's just how things are right now. All right, what else we got? We got KB, we have Mike. Where, oh my gosh, am I that far behind right? I got to start practicing my, uh, you got to, there we go. Got to start getting my hearts in there to keep things checked. Can we have more Oddled on the go? Yeah, if, listen, I was hoping to get you guys a lot more of that, Mike. My signal is absolute trash at like, Makes me appreciate the kyber fiber that we have here, but I've traveled to a lot of places. That was like Colorado, man. The word, at least the, maybe the places I was at, I was literally in like the middle of nowhere the whole time, which is a lot of fun. It's a good and bad thing. It was a good thing, so, you know, you got, you got you get to just detach, and I also had a little campfire, and I'm, I'm literally just like staring at the fire, staring at the sky, and like, all right, got nothing else to do, might as well go to bed. Uh, but at the downside, I was missing so much. Not even in Galaxy, if there's like other people like, I need you, I need you. It's like, ah. Uh. But I was hoping to do a lot more, uh, a lot more on the go stuff. Next time, I think it'll be a little bit easier. When uh, we got my whole Starlink thing, I called up Elon Musk like, bro, I can't handle this. I can't handle this connectivity. He's like, don't worry, bro, I got you. Somewhere Elon Musk personally, I guarantee you, he personally called me and he hooked me up with the Starlink. So I'm just saying, I'm just saying, you know. So next time, maybe more, but I was really like, I was a little sad, like, man, it would have been cool because I was just chilling on top of a mountain. Was all, I was all by myself. Like it was a trail that most probably can't do. And it's like, man, it would have been cool. Streaming from the top of mountain, world's first, highest mountain. Oh, that was it. Oh, wow. That was okay. That was, that was pretty fast. I'm not ready yet. Do the free to play account too. <laughs> I was expecting it to be a little bit more. I was expecting one of those like five hour marquee events or whatever. That wasn't it. That's fine. I'm not complaining. I was just hoping to have a little bit more of the gameplay to fill in the conversation. Elon Theron. Yeah, you better believe it, man. Ah, oh, yeah, the lie. Don't get me started. The live action look of Thrawn. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I know the the, uh, the 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 new game live action look of Thrawn. It wasn't too crazy how it looks, you know. But I understand why they did it. It could have been. You got to keep in mind. It could have been something maybe Lucasfilm personally requested too. You know, maybe they didn't want to. But yeah, it's. I think the Soka one's all right. But you, you get so used to the animated series version, right? Anyways, we're not going to carve a spilt move. No. Mark Matei, six months, three star testing on free to play count. How would I do that? I don't have like people I can com communicate and be like, yo, can you put these teams down? Yeah, I don't know anybody in my free to play arena shard that's in my odd range. I'm not like, uh, I'm not like in top 10 on the free to play squad. There's really no point to climb on the any squad arena for that matter yeah um i mean i would love to but yeah you gotta understand <laughs> it's already complicated as it is just to coordinate with people on my main account yet alone my free to play accounts like who am i gonna know this is in the 174 range like hey yo do you wanna do you wanna help me test some stuff out trust i would love to the game is just impractical that way this game does not want you playing the game like most other games where you want to play with your friends you want to showcase the stuff you got <laughs> this is one of those weird oddball games trust me mark my if there was a way i would do it uh, right now, I'm just not seeing a win, which kind of sucks. <laughs> it kind of sucks. It kind of sucks. Yo, what's good? Are the Gucci glasses broken? No. The Gucci, this is this is like the new hipster look. You know how people like to have torn jeans and they spend like top premium dollars? I should get in on that business. Like $10,000 for ripped jeans? I could do that. I'm going for the new look. We're going for the new look, the broken uh, Gucci goggles. It, it's so, how do I, it's so exclusive and unique that it deserves to be more valuable. Think about it. All right, let's go hop back over to the main account, I suppose. I guess we just go into the Whaler field. I have this pull up. It's actually pretty neck to neck right now. If we're doing the three and seven stars or just seven stars, you guys know the drill. You got, I, I would love to spend a lot of time on three star testing. The only downside is if nothing turns out to be good, we wasted all of that time. And that time we could have utilized to learn about the seven stars and the full character's potential. You only get so much and we're not gonna go into this whole thing, how it's trash, how CG should fix your game. Nonetheless, I digress. Pulls up there. I'm leaving it up. We have 1.9 trillion votes. I want to see that number get higher. If you guys want to risk it and try to do some three-star battles, maybe there could be something there. It's a support character. It might have some low-star viability. It's meant to push the team 
not rely on being tanky. It's not supposed to be putting out damage. So there is a chance, I want to put out there, that if we do three-star testing, it might bode very well. But also, we've seen it before. We're, we spend no, 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 no sexy time. No sexy time, Gary. Thank you. All right. Anyways, moving on over to you. Let's three-star test and die killing if you have to. It breaks my heart, though. I want to do three-star testing. We only got so much time. I mean, not even time. Attempts. I have the time. I don't have the attempts. Which throws me a little off my rocker. <sighs> All right. Anyways, before I get sad there, we have Michael Pruitt, twenty dollars. I am not first. I was like, yeah, where's Michael? I was looking for you, bud. That's all right. The twenty dollars. I guess I'll have to forgive you. So I'm throwing out a twenty for all my for all my failure. It's all right. I, I'm forgiving you. You know what? I'm mad. Just throw money at me. That's just how it works. Still, it's great to be in the environment. That was a good one. Just like it was good to see you too, Michael. And then we'll do. Hold on, three more because you guys know me. Once I get in there. I'm like off in the wind. You know we're getting a 3.30 pull today. That's guaranteed, right? We we all know we're we're about to get a 3.30. Let's not beat around the bush. So we, I want to keep you guys hyped up a little bit. I want to keep you guys like edging, you know, just like, you know, he, like you want me to get in there because you know I'm about to pull out some really good packs. I, I got called up CG. I'm like, 3.30 today? They're like, sure, why not? We love you. You're like our, you're like our favorite person. We, we invite you to everything. We do all the interviews of you. We give you exclusive access. You know, we, we send you that monthly uh, $10 billion paycheck. Of course we love you. So they've already told me in advance, we're getting the 3.30 pull. I don't want to spoil much, but it, that's just how it is. Counter Kutcher, 26 months, just unlock gas during the weekend. Hell yeah, baby. Let's go. Yes, man. He's holding his own. I, I do wish he, he maybe had like a little bit extra spice to him, not uh, beside data crowns, like just to keep him up the par a little bit. You know, I feel like at the end game, he's like, you know, I can feel like a train up the hill. He's the determined train that keeps chugging along. I definitely can feel like he could use a little bit more, a little bit of sprinkle in there to make him a little bit more pizzazzful, if you know what I mean. He's a crack a bar. Uh, it's great seeing you, my friend. Five pounds or euros. Good to see the king at your B. Get in uniform. How I missed that. I'll go the guy right back. I was thinking about you. It's like, man, this guy's missing. I can feel it. Great to have you back on with us. And then we have Dark Hades, and then we're going to get into the swing of things. News spreading about the Empire being only a remnant. Lies! Clear the Empire is stronger than ever. I'll go the Empire. I'll go the Empire. Can you just, just one more time? One more time. Just one more time with that last part. The Empire's stronger than ever. I'll go the Empire. And the Empire. Ooh. Can you feel it in your bones? Because I can feel it. I think we're ready for the one, the only, your favorite show in my life. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Boy, it's great to be in the Empire today. It's also great to be back in the swing of things. I'm your host, the most gracious, the one and only, the benevolent. King of Big God's Gift of Mobile Gaming, the 8th Day of Creation, and all those other fancy titles, yes. We also have a fantastic video game division, and also the biggest and deadly starter strip to take up out there, yes, and also, we're up at 25 here in an Alder on the Prime Center Hub of the Kyber Emperor. Hey, yeah, but you guys know that at this point, what you guys are here for today you guys are waiting so patiently. You gotta pat yourself on the back. I made you guys wait Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, five days. I made you guys wait five days, so I should apologize to you. Jeez, me touching grass, screw me. You guys deserve the very best, so I apologize. But today, we take a look at and over there. We got the one, the only, the scout trooper. Ooh. But also, Imperial Remnant Tag. Ooh. But hold on, full Imperial Remnant team? Oh my goodness. I, I, I'm not making this up. And on top of that, we already got the little teaser <sighs> of Beskar Gideon. Ooh. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know that that's just the way it is. So what I need to do is we gotta get that going because we gotta make sure we're full strength into this. Are you guys ready? Give me a little bit of hype. Here's what we got. I got 2,558 crystals. First pull. I'm getting it. We're getting the 330. I'm the first freaking 
pool. You know that? <laughs> Overlord Sir, come to one at a time. Scouts are more like professional tree lifters. <laughs> yeah, uh, they didn't really show them to be very good at Endor, but I'm not going to you know, digress. But three stars have been good for the free to play. I, again, I wish. How do I do it? I'm going to bring in my three star scout trip up against Master Kenobi's and Supreme Leader Coward. <sighs> Can we just stop the applause? Turn down the music. Again, it breaks my heart that I can't just play with you guys or invite a friend. Like, hey, someone in the chat, let's go test out. Am I free to play count? <gasps> the game is literally trash. It's the trashiest game in that regard where we can't just like play with our toys and we can't have unlimited attempts in squad arena. There's just no way. It breaks my heart. I just don't, I don't even know anyone on my free to play count in the 170 range that might want to test out with me. It, it, it really, it really sucks. It really sucks. Are we on the right account? We are definitely on the right account. Don't you dare. Don't you dare. We are on the right account. No, 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 not today. But trust me, I already talked about this a minute ago. I wish, oh man, we're plugged in the wrong one. Seriously, Gary, what the hell are you doing this whole time with those going, man? Can't like actually do your job, <laughs> There we go. Yeah, I, I, trust me, I wish we could, but there's no practicality. It's just like most of you guys probably can't talk to your your, squ your squad arena shard. There's just an impracticality. Trust me, I wish CG, if CG, we, we had a test account at one point, you know, and then we were able to play with other people and do three-star testing. Well, you can thank CG for that again. They're too, uh, too slimy to fix that in their game. Anyways, enough sadness. We just got to play the cards that are dealt. That's just how it is. First pack, we're going to get it right here. Watch this. 330 pull. This could be pretty awesome if this works. In th oh, shoot, I didn't bless it. Anyways. Okay, all right. Listen, that doesn't count because I forgot. I forgot. I forgot. Hold on. I, you're, you're kidding me? You can't give me a 40 crystal discount right now. All right, here's what we gotta do. You guys know the drill. What we need to do is we first need to wave a quick hundred at CG. Give me something, yeah. Let's just, we gotta schmooze them up a little bit. So first we're gonna just show, hey, Want my three wacky numbers, CG? And they're gonna be like, ooh, <laughs> it's gonna be a little hot in here. And there you go. So they, they, they accepted our gracious, gen uh, generous donation after Lucasfilm gets their cut, after EA gets their cut, after Google Play gets their cut. They're left with probably $5 out of that $100 transaction. I know! But now we gotta take our stubby Willikori. We gotta make sure we do things appropriately. Hold on, the pack's not in view. Hold on, we gotta bless it. There we go. All right, join with me. And then a whale cracking holy R and Jesus. May the odds be ever in our favor. And on that bombshell, we are ready to go. We're gonna take this nice and slow for the first one. The first round of hundreds, you know. And then if it doesn't work, it doesn't work. Then we'll have to up the ante a little bit. Put some heat on them. Let's get into the gist of things. I mean, we need to get more. I feel like we're too far apart. I feel like we need to get a more personal connection here. Is that right? Come, okay, now you're getting a little too close. Sorry, you need to stop. Stop, stop. All right. I, I need some personal space, okay? Here we go. Now we're about to get to 330. In three, two, one. Get, get, get out of here. All right, we're getting the sevens. You know how it is. <laughs> You know, it would, life wouldn't be fun if you just got what you wanted. You gotta tell CG how amazing they are. It's like, ooh, I love those seven drops. It makes me appreciate when I get the higher drops. You know, CG, I gotta say, you guys are prime mobile game developers. The success, oh, you have to wait to hear what I say. The amount of success I've seen on Lord of the Rings, Heroes of Middle Earth. I mean, you guys have wow, the industry on how you're able to take such an iconic franchise and make it look like a 1923 cereal box commercial. Think about it, that takes skill. It takes a high degree of talent to go from one end to the other and hold your ground too at the same exact time. And like, you just know, they're just haters. They don't understand the artistic knowledge. They don't understand how we operate here. They just don't see the true genius and what we're trying to accomplish here at Cap Games. And for one, I tip my hat to D. It takes big guts to stick to a model like that. 
Now let's keep moving on. I mean, 3.30, I mean, come on. After all those kind words I've thrown out there and how you guys have made a massive one million dollars on lord of the rings heroes of middle earth that might cover the toilet paper that you guys need at your studio i'm just saying you guys are truly the peak of triple b gameplay now they're not, they're not giving me what i want i think i'm being very nice to them right now i don't know what's going on i'm being very nice to us why are we picking on home i don't know i just i, I was looking at some of their metrics the other day it's really bad <laughs> Uh, it's really bad when you look at the other games of the genre raid marvel strike force star wars galaxy of heroes they aren't doing too hot when galaxy of heroes first came out i think it made like i have to go double check i have to double check it hey hey hey, hey! they got a 12. i'm pretty sure they made like 10 million or definitely way more than 1 million in their first month and i don't know if you guys understand what the jokes i was saying about how the money gets filtered through 1 million dollars ain't a lot for a new mobile game so hey see they, they love what i'm saying here i don't know i just thought it was funny and i remember their official response like oh they're just haters they're just doing it for the clicks and like they're struggling they're like please guys tell us what we gotta do we've been trying to tell you anyways i just thought it was funny all right we gotta dial the heat up apparently i'm not schmoozing them enough so let's do this let's go ahead no 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 no. i need you to let's we need to dial this up a little bit gary pull out the emergency songs what do we got here no i'm not feeling that mm, yeah that's what i'm talking about let's go ahead pop that up yeah <laughs> that's gonna solve our problems oh yeah can you feel that hold on I, like there's this there's this jolt of energy it's time my friends to take matters in her own hands. And it's time to wail. Freaking hard! Let's go. Bust out another Chris Pundo. No wonder why people aren't showing gameplay. This game is too dang expensive! Here we go. Louder. Louder. Oh, yeah, there's Kadarla Pug the two dollars. Time to open up some wallets. Because we're about to go hollow. Let's go drop a heart for my boy Kador! Okay. Up the ante. Where are we at right now? 152. We're not even like halfway there. We got work to do. Let's do it, baby. Say the word. So close. And we're hot. What's going on? I just gave massive wake up! I just cut up in the studio. Why aren't they giving me what I want? Uh, we have, what else we got? You know, we gotta keep up. We gotta keep up here. We have Imperial Siren! What a nice team on. Oh, yeah! What do you gotta say? Just like Star Trek last week! Nice! Congratulations! Wait. Double it! Triple it! 33 times it! Here we go. I can play this guitar solo with one hand.
disappointed. Wow, well, we're, we're having a hard time getting to that 20 range. 244. We still got a ways to go. We still got to get 60 more shards before we get the pack of shame. This is a pack you buy when either one CG thinks you're too big of a peasant. <laughs> you're not gonna wail, you're only gonna spend 19 and why even playing our game? Or this is the pack of shame of Galaxy Heroes where you decide to play your luck, roll the dice, and you didn't get what you want. So CG's like, huh, we won. Nyeh, 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 nyeh. And he had to buy the pack. I, that's just how it goes. Well, we're not ready to buy this pack of shame yet. I'm, I'm still aiming for it. I'm still aiming for the big daddy, the 330, the wild 330. And we have Holta Gertrude coming in, shaking up the town. Give a round of applause, Holta Gertrude, the 50 pounders. You know, Holta, I gotta say, it feels different when you don't have, when you're not coming around saying, where's the resistance bomber? Now that the resistance bomber's there, I feel like you've been satisfied, but at the same time, not satisfied, because resistance bombers, <laughs> A little bland. All right, let's go. We need to dial up the heat a bit more. Come on. All right. See, this is your last chance. I don't know what I'm gonna do, but just know that most likely Gary will be at the brunt end of whatever's to come. So I don't know if that's really much of a threat. Just know that Gary's being held hostage against his will because you guys won't give me what I want. What I really, really want. Give me one of one, what I really, really want. Give me one of one, what I really, really want. No! Give me what I want. Just give me one of seven, 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 Give me 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 Give me what I want, just give me what I want. Give me what I want, just give me what I want. Come on, baby! No! These Garbanzo Sevens! You only need 280. No, you need 300. We need to be at 300. I trust, I'm a professional whaler. I know how to swipe the credit card very well. Come on, maybe, we gotta, maybe they can't hear us. I already did the mark, guys. I didn't unlock yet. I'm a professional whaler. Look at me. Does it not look like I know how to play a mobile game? Because it's my game. I want. Just give me what I want. Just give me what I want. Just give me what I want. Let's do it. Two more. Two more. 330, 330, baby. Let's go. Ow! Don't you dare. Don't you dare make me open up two more packs. I swear on anything that is holy, Gary's gonna suffer the wrath. All right. Give me what I want, just give me what I want. Hey, give me what I want, give me what I want. Ah! No. No. Last trance. Don't make me buy the pack of shame, CG. Give me a 180. I'm working with you here. Give me what I want. Come on, come on, where you go?
I give up. I give up. Pack of shame. Just give me what I want. Give me what I want. Just listen to the sound of failure. It's okay. It's all right. I've accepted my fate. No, this, this don't even show. Don't even show that last part. Ugh. Wow, my biggest pull of the day. Well, welcome to the life of mobile gaming where the odds are low and the pain is high. I present to you the one. <laughs> no, I don't want to farm bot, CG. I just want to play the game. <laughs> All right. Enough wallowing in misery. Round of applause! Millennial Red! Well, I guess there's a lot of them out there. But this one and only. Scout Trooper in the house! Let's do it, baby! Let's get the water! Hold on, let me just dance my misery off for a second. Right? More like Scam Trooper. Mirage, Sarah the Scam Trooper. There you go, Sarah the Scout Trooper. Oh, Cash Trooper, Scam Trooper. Sally, oh my, is this gonna be our Sally Wally? Oh, you got a 3.30 on your eighth attempt. Oh, hell yeah, that's what I like to hear. At least someone's getting lucky out there. Oh, that's crazy. So, listen, we know how this game works. It's an unfortunate thing in the game, but it's funny, you know, like the past couple days when I haven't been around, it's like, wow, yeah, like no one, and you shouldn't. Listen, as I said, 99.9% .9 people should not be spending that amount of money on a character. If you do want to spend money, just wait till they go to shipments. Wait to become freely farmable. Usually most characters, there's not a big incentive to spend money, which is a game which, which is a little crazy how CG does, but at the end of the day, you know, that's how they do things. So we got to take a look at the poll. Oof. So take a look at the poll. Boy, we had double the votes now. We went for 1.9 to 3.3 trillion votes. Are we doing three star and seven star or just seven star testing? And right now it's overwhelmingly 55% just want to do seven stars. <sighs> okay, here's what I'm gonna do. Let me first get Sep in the room. Let's put down some baseline team. Baseline team, resistance. Do you have, all right, let me, hold on, hold on. I'm gonna do a mild amount of democracy here. My, very so, very so mild. Don't get too carried away. We don't do that around here, but I'll do a mild degree of it. Let's drop the Zori when you can. All right, we're gonna get in there. I'll pause it at three, just for like one battle. We're gonna go up against Zori. If I'm not seeing anything, we're cutting it. I'm putting her through the ringer, top of the meta, 
resistance and if she can't handle seven stars right away right away right away uh, but thank you guys while we're upgrading this thank you for enduring all the pain and suffering we had to go through to get our seven star scotch it pains me more than it pains you or does it pain you more than it pains me i don't know i think that's the magic of whaler fail oh boy anyways where do we leave off last time hold on let's make sure we try to start time to catch up here oh my gosh i'm so far behind oh uh, we already got uh we got darth Cadus. i got you already we have wayne saint jace i uh did not get jace hey i don't so i that my mandalorian fleet post yes that was it really got me excited i think it's because it was so well made too like it was well made well thought out so uh, yes jace uh bro baker with the 49 thank you so much i think it was a. Uh, it was a fun idea for a fleet. It was one of those things I actually didn't really think much about after watching Mandalorian season three and after seeing your post, like, yeah, I, I kind of like that. I've been a fan for a long time, so I'm glad I could contribute to the channel. Thank you so much. It was a really interesting post, and I'm, I don't think it's too crazy to imagine that we might get a Mandalorian style fleet one day. I think that'd be awesome to see at one point, just seeing all these different factions come together, building a fleet, Axe Wolves come into the game. I'd be 100% down for that. So again, thank you, Jason. It was a really fun post. Very well thought out and very well made. And then we have uh, the Wolfman coming in here. We have Wolfman, the one dot, no comment. He just casually comes in, drops a little dinero. Thank you so much. And Parma Mary Doc, free to play update. How close are you unlocking JKL? Funny you mentioned that literally five minutes before stream, I was doing my dailies. I just got my Rebel Officer Liorgana to seven, or not seven stars, to uh, gear relics. I accidentally wasn't paying attention. I went a little bit farther. I put it to Relic 4. I guess it helps for Galactic Legends Leia, but I didn't mean to go to Relic 4. We're two away. Just two away. So, yeah, it's just, you know, I'm hoping. You know, I don't want to say end of August. There might be a slight chance. I got to farm another 100 Kyrotech. So, you know, we're, we're, we're getting there. We're getting there ever so slowly. But, yeah, it's just we're knocking the door. We just got to put the final touch on Captain Han Lando. So I would love for end of August, but you know, a good chance beginning of September, depending on how my shipments bestow their gratitude upon me. So we're very close, Parma Mary Dog. Thanks for coming in with the five dollars and checking in on a little bit of an update. How excited you for Ahsoka? I'm very excited. I'm very excited. See, I haven't been like too much in the weeds of like all the rumors and leaks and stuff like that, but uh, I'm just happy to see Thrawn. Speaking of Thrawn, I actually finally, during my long trip, I was driving for like 15 hours each way. I finally started Listen to the 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 uh, ascendancy, the the other trilogy for Thrawn. So, it's kind of my pre-game hype for Thrawn. I, I don't know if I, I haven't been into like the maybe it gets better. I'm, I'm over halfway through the uh, I think it's called the Thrawn ascendancy, right? It's when it talks about his time in the Chiss Empire. It's kind of like a prequel, I guess, to Thrawn. Haven't been in, as into it as the, the the original trilogy for Thrawn, but I'm sure it's gonna get a little bit better. Now, yeah, he's 5'2 now. Yeah, let's. We can talk all day about Thrawn and the game. I don't like his new look. Maybe it'll grow on me. I much prefer the animated series look on him. Uh, so, thank you so much, Primary Dog. Hope you're doing fantastic. We have Mickey Knight, $5 from Down Under. Ooh, dispel buffs on target enemy. Yeah, I'm going to love that. Going to love, 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 love that. Hey, you know, I'm still playing Heroes Middle. Oh. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> yeah. If my little spiel during our whaler fail wasn't clear. Uh yeah, I I I uh I probably should have made a video. I just didn't. I just like I just was so uninspired of the game after like a week or two. And again, I said this so many times. I could sell my soul and just make videos on it because it was I was getting views covering it, but I just didn't enjoy the game. I just didn't enjoy the game. I said, all right, I'll wait till the raids come out. The raids came out. It's just not looking that appealing. So no, I have not been playing Heroes Middle Earth. I might have an account lingering out there. Maybe it's in a random guild, but no, if it's an active on two and one, it's not me. I haven't played the game in several months and I want to enjoy the game. Uh, they just, they somehow made me not want to play Lord of the Rings. It just, it takes a, that's what I was making fun of. It takes a special skill uh, to do that. Um, and I was looking at some metrics on Lord of the Rings, Heroes of Middle Earth. Yeah, financially, the game does not seem to be doing well. And it makes sense, you know. And now they're like trying to avoid. How many Zetas are on this character? Is this a three? Hold on. Is this three Zetas? I'm like clicking along here. Hold on. Like, is this a three Zeta character? No, oh, two Zetas. Okay, it's two Zetas. I'm like, how many Zetas are we throwing? This two Zetas. Okay. Thank you, guys. I'm like, how many did I throw on? And is the Omicron, did they also oh, said Omicron's coming later on for this character? Yeah, because it's supposed to be a raid Omicron. I don't see it right now. All right, hopefully I didn't apply it. <laughs> uh, only way I'm playing here is when they add uh, 
Italian from the Shadow Games. Yeah, I saw they put out a survey. Basically, <laughs> they're asking for the feedback that we've been trying to give them for a while. I remember when, like, I can't remember if it was their community manager or it was someone. It's like, you know, everyone was kind of saying the, the, the stuff that's wrong with the game. And they, they're like, nah, nah, they're wrong. And now they're basically asking, hey, guys, tell us what's wrong with the game. Uh, yeah, the game's not doing too hot. From a metric, if you're enjoying it, cool. I'm just saying from a metric perspective, it's not doing very well in the mobile game genre, especially in this type of genre of hero collector games. Um, yeah, so I don't know. Yeah, that definitely even the some of the biggest supporters of the game that want the game to succeed, it's just, it's not quite there right now. So yeah, I have not been playing it for a while. I want to, but I just, yeah, I, I don't know. I, I yeah, it's a, it's a long, I, I feel like that conversation comes up every couple streams. I want to love the game. It just, it's, it can't, I can't, you know, I don't know how they could possibly, it's possibly take a Lord of the Rings and make me say, ooh, ooh no, thank you. So maybe they'll fix things, you know, I think the game came out way too early and they weren't really receptive to feedback as well. All right, so let's see what we're going to do. Just a quick, cool. we got it. We got a team set on defense. We need to only do five that mods again. I'm only giving this like one try. And if it just falls flat, game over. We gave her her chance. All right, let's go. I'm just guessing speed. Actually, what's the base speed on this character? 165. Uh, that's, you know, I mean, it's not like the best. I'm not really fast. It's actually, I was actually expecting Scout to be a much faster character. Here, come over here. It's not, it's not horrible. You know, you're really relying on Moff Gideon to kind of pump the team along. But you know, I, you know, Zori Bliss is, you know, it's not, it's not horrible, but I definitely was expecting something a wee bit faster. It's kind of in the range of Biston, Veteran Smuggler Han, Qui-Gon, Palm, D1 Battle Droid, Chrysanthemum, and where's that? Uh, oh, also keep in mind, this is tech. Okay, this is Gear 11. All right, that's why, okay, that probably helps out a lot. Yeah, so this should be much faster than, right? We're Scout Trooper. Oh, geez, what happened there? All right, well, that, that was cut. That was more in line with what I was expecting. 185. So how much speed we're missing out on? 20 speed by being at three stars, gear 11. So yeah, that, that, that's, that was more like what I was imagining when a scout would come. It'd be a wee bit faster. So that's definitely much more impressive. It's not too far away from Moff Gideon too. Okay, there we go. I was like, man, that's a little slow. That's a little slow. Okay, so yeah, Incoming again, donation. not gonna. If it's not gonna work, I don't want to waste our limited attempts that we have, because then you know, once people see like five bad battles, they're like, I'm out of here. I want to make sure we're putting our best put foot forward. I'll try my best, and again, I want to emphasize, I really wish there was a better way of testing in this game. And alas, my mateys, there ain't no way of making it a little bit better. All right, there we go. Take that off of you. And then we'll just take that off of actually I don't why do I have so many speed sets put something else on there we go All right, what's uh, let's see. What do we got up here? 16. Okay, maybe I'll consider that 19 um, All right, let's just go take that there take this mod off. There we go. Just to make her we be faster 293 That's not bad though. If I you know with only Five dot mods no six dot mod access, but it's not horrible. Not bad. Not bad. Why don't we do a couple? Of, we're, we're only gonna do a few. I don't want us get a, get too carried away here because you know most characters are not three star survival. A few of them are Captain Rex. You know, we got Grief Karga, OG Mando. All right, where's my buddy? Did someone knock him down? Oh, please don't tell me someone knocked him down. Oh, there we go. There we go. Awesome. So we're gonna just start off standard resistance team. That's kind of like our high base level standard of being able to like see if a team's gonna be legit so we're i'm going straight for imperial remnants first we're going for remnants look at that it feels so nice being able to just get in here bada bing and I, uh, here put here, i want dark trooper over there there we go full remnant team straight from the get-go feels really nice feels really nice potency I'm, I'm right now yes when i get the seven stars then i can be a bit more specific right now i'm just trying to take whatever speed i can get at the sub star level but yeah when we when we get the seven stars i will definitely put better more specific mods to get potency set 100 percent <laughs> let me make sure i have mods i've been doing some crate dragon raid stuff so a few things let's uh, remind ourselves of the kit scout troopers gonna help get you be a little bit faster i believe if i remember from a couple days ago it's 20 extra speed yes there it is if the ally in the leader slot is imperial remnant and no other allies have yeah uh, no ally do that and no other allies that use emperor's trap the allied leader gains 20% max health and 20 speed. Whenever Imperial Trooper ally begins their turn, you get the Emperor's Trap. So we all know how Emperor's Trap works. 
when scout troopers act imperial trooper allies have 10 critical chance and have uh imperial limbs have 10 speed so technically gideon's gonna have 30 extra speed in total so gideon is i think he's kind of back on the map as one of the fastest characters in the game you know there's been a lot of stuff that kind of uh, outruns him a lot lately whenever scout troopers critically hit stealth for two turns they got five percent health and yeah 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 hit the ally in the leader slaws imperial remnant whenever an enemy begins their turn we're gonna get 10 percent turn so that's nice that's gonna help adjust for the lowest speeds we have right now and whenever scout trooper has her terminal move she gains 25 percent terminal stacking max twice at the end of her turn so that when Gideon does his turn meter removal she should get another 25 percent turn so there should be some interesting things going on here so let's check out the rest of the stuff moth gritty hell yeah <laughs> all right so i think we should be able to outrun this resistance team let's make sure we have mods and everyone else all right you know i'm not i could probably fix some of these mods i'm not i'm just gonna leave it on as is let's do it guys you gotta start special too you know it you know it here we go we're gonna head on to battle we need to start them off on the right foot let's go ahead Long i'm coming in here the, the imperial remnant meta is upon us will the imperial trooper see a new dawn a new day a new life well i guess we're about to find out send it on in all right Full Remnant team for the first time. The world's first. Imperial Remnant domination. All right. So we got that. Moth Gideon blazing fast. 30 extra speed. I didn't check his mods. I probably can make him even faster. We're going to open up this battle. Pay close attention to Scout Trooper. She should get a bunch of extra Terminator because I'm removing Terminator. So check this out. Here we go. It looks like she got the same amount of Terminator per usual. All right, well, that is interesting. Anyways, all right. She's going next. Let's double check the kit. Oh, my. Debuffs on all allies. We don't have any debuffs. If the ally leader is Imperial Remnant, Imperial Trooper allies gain critical damage up for two turns. Imperial Remnant allies gain speed up. That sounds nice. Stealth. Stealth is good. Stealth works very well for low star. Call target other allies. To us. That's fantastic. Inflict expose. Stagger on all enemies for two turns. Days target me. All right, there's a lot going on here. Let's go over here. I'm going to target Dark Trooper. Let's go for it. All right. Oh, damn, boy. Woo. That felt good. That felt good. Drop an armor shred. Okay. Ooh, 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 ooh. Check this out. Pull back all that. Oh! Oh, oh, oh. Hold up. Pop them. Boom! Taunt up. All right. This has a buff the spell, right? Yes! Buff the spell. Not a lot of damage. That's fine. Hold on. Okay. Pump some turn meter. Buff the spells. Oh! come up all right hold on they're mounting a comeback there oh hold on you know how resistance work they are mounting a comeback right now all right luckily we oh okay hold on all right let's see if we can avoid that for right now oh boy holy cow all right this could hurt mildly okay that's fine actually i'll take the dodge okay easy easy luckily their damage is pretty low right now we have a cleanse right here right cleanse coming in assist on dark trooper there we go man that stagger is fantastic all right, let's just do AOE here. Okay, hold on. We're almost there. Stun him. Nice, we got a stun locked in. Let's see if we can get some days on Zori. Please don't cleanse it. All right, I should even get it on her. Okay, that's good. Buff this spell. Okay, all right. Hold on. You're dang right, baby. Where's my airplane mode? Pop that on. Oh, okay. I was, I was hoping for it to be a little cooler. All right, here we go. Wrap it up. Three, two, one. That felt, you know, listen, we, we, you can go back. Every single time we fight the resistance team, you know it's an absolute pain in the booty hole. This felt very clean for the most part. And like that would have been like almost max banners. I have to double check. I'm not mad about that. Give a round of applause. That's what I said. There's that slight chance at three stars. If she can go under stealth, not be attacked. Keep pumping turns, cleansing. We might have some low star viability. She didn't get completely wrecked. Let's go ahead, put a new team in and keep moving along. I'll keep going because I feel like the three stars is holding you back. I didn't feel it right there. Let's keep moving the chain. Pop it open, man, I love it, I love it. Oh, Scott's River, yeah, she played a big role. She kept pumping her team along, she, the, the days, the stagger. I mean, we'll look at the kid again, just again. First battle kind of going in blindly. You know, we kind of play fast and loose around her. It's sometimes the the best way to experience a character before really diving into the bowels of whatever it might be it, the i could just know sort of the stagger is fairly helpful the days she had a, another buff spell alongside death trooper 
But here's my o my only complaint about using Imperial Remnants. You just broke up Veers and eh, I, you didn't completely break up Aiden. I mean, I have to see. Hold on. Is there an Aiden team left over here? I also want to run it one more time just to make sure it wasn't pure luck. You know how it is. Sometimes you get very lucky. Um, but yeah, let's let's recap real quick. So the things that make her helpful so far. She goes under stealth. Being under stealth is actually underrated for a low star character. You don't want to be targeted, which is great. Uh, this ability was a this right here. Expose stagger on all enemies. Days target enemy for two turns, which campers as that is absolutely huge right there. I was able to pull back all their Terminator of Dark Troopers AOE. That was great. Uh, the buff this spell here was fantastic. Um, that was mostly the most important thing. Uh, the, the buff this spell was nice. And then being able to cleanse, there's a few times we need help. Calling Dark Trooper specifically for the assist, absolutely fantastic. Uh, this, um, I don't think I really felt much out of this. You know, Imperial Remnant allies getting off of that is nice though. The, the, the offense up is fantastic there. And of course, all the good things here. Like look at Gideon's speed. I haven't touched the speed in a while. I can definitely make him faster. We're right now, we're coasting at 347, which isn't like the best getting. You can easily get getting to like 370 and even higher, but with the Scout Trooper, he's able to get to 377 very easily. And if I get him to his, like here, let's say, like, you know, I've been pulling mods up and give it to other more deserving characters. Let's say he's coming back to the forefront. What we could do is let's say, let's give him what he needs. Let's make him blazing fast again. Ah, he's, we already got 27 speed there. Let's see what else we got. I need something a little bit more. Like, look, I could easily make that better here. Let's see. Uh, Poets, you don't really need that. Just give me the defense. Wait, just make sure we get another speed set in somewhere. Cool. Give me that protection. Nicely done. And what else? What else is kind of slack? And give me something good here. What do we got? What do we got? Give me that Lando mod. Beautiful. Like 382. Yeah, like. Now look, add an extra 30 speed, he's easily pushing to solid 400. So let's just make him live faster, just because. Dark napping of your stops at the counter Darth Revit. Yes, that's what I'm saying, this is cool. But like, let's look at the rest of it. So Veers is pretty much, I don't wanna say completely useless, you can still use Veers without Dark Trooper, but you still have Piet, so you can still do something, but you definitely will be missing Dark Trooper. I guess Aiden still has a team. What's Aiden's team look like? Do we have do we even have enough for three teams? I don't even know if we have enough for three trooper teams. Oh, Imperial Trooper. All right, so let's say you have you do Veers, Piat, Range. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, you can't do two full teams. So yeah, that's the only downside of doing something like this. All right, we're gonna play it one more time just to make sure. Yeah, there's only 30 troopers right now. So yeah, we're we're two troopers short from a full a full team so that's gonna be the bit thing i don't know when to stop doing gideon testing and then maybe focus on veers or aiden uh, it's cool that this works out very well though here we're gonna pull back turn meter okay nicely done the stun is fantastic now we're gonna do that uh let's put it you know uh just put the days i don't think it really matters we're gonna call assist there we go oh my gosh that's like two hundred thousand damage right there my oh my drop that all right, now we're going to do the AOE here to make sure we hit all that. And that's going to give us advantage on top of that. Goodbye. Get out of here. Oh, man, there's a few ways we can go about this. I can just jack up their cooldowns right there. All right. All right, they're going to do a mild comeback here. Remember, Stormtrooper, every time he's starting, he's giving protection up to Imperial Remnants. So that's helping us kind of keep our high banners, if possible. All right, drop a basic here. Scout Trooper being on the Man, Scout Trooper, I got to say, for three stars, you, this would kind of fool me. Like, at three stars, she's looking kind of looking kind of solid you know like doesn't look too frail that's fine gear keep me up a few hits let's go ahead and pump some terminator to our team let's drop a let's see if we just drop that death mark there ah we got stuck behind there i always hate when that happens all right probably should just thrown it over on rose boom get nuked get freaking nuked let's see if i could try to get back my banners here not be able to land any dazes there do a basic there offense up is nice offense up is nice that's the nice nice thing about the basic i think Oh, there we go. Look, she took a hit. She's fine. Let's go cleanse all this. Dark Trooper assist on the Zori. Nicely done. Boom. Let's get. Let's, let's finish the job. Finish the job. Let's go. Just basic that. Bow, bow. I felt really easy. Felt really, really easy. Being able to outrun the resistance team is going to be a big deal. Like, Moff Gideon should have no problems outrunning most teams out there. Like, you know what I'm curious about? How would this work maybe on, like, a General Skywalker? You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Let's do it. I feel pretty satisfied there. I'll take it. I'll take it. Yeah, man. The cleanse is, yeah, the cleanse is great. The buff the spell's nice. Offense up on the basic nice. Unique ability is fantastic. Cool. I like when we're starting off on a high note there, huh? Yeah, the uh, Dark Trooper assist. The creme de la creme, my friend. 
Iden's great at Averis. Yeah, it sucks. So we got. We need to be pragmatic. I know it sucks that the teams are being broken up. In my neck of the woods, right now, I'm not that mad. Because right now, as I, I showed you guys the data, Veers is not holding up well with the new generation of teams coming into the game. But for most people, you might not be fighting Captain Rex's Tuscans, the Phoenix, and all that other stuff. But the fact of the matter is, you're going to hit that one day. Eventually, it's gonna, that meta that's up here is going to drip down to the lower echelons of the, the rest of Grand Arena brackets and territory wars. So for me, I don't get the, I don't like, you know how many Grand Arenas we go through? I can't use Imperial Troopers. That's the thing you got to keep in mind. What happens at the top, it eventually happens for the rest of people. It's just, it's, it, it slowly moves down. Trickle down Sulganomics, I guess, if you think about it. You think it's better for you? Let's, let, let's keep playing. I don't know. I know Veer's kind of, you know, it felt like a struggle sometimes up against it, but let's try some other stuff. Let's see, you know, I'm going to... Let's try some stuff that we know the math shows Imperial Troopers just do not do well again. Does he have... I'm assuming he has Tuskins. Let's check out his roster real quick. Let's try out... Like, if I could beat Tuskins, that's something we know normal Imperial Troopers just cannot do. But I don't know if Veer's... Or, uh, Gideon can handle because, well, that's... We're still getting some turn meter, which is a bit of an issue. But we'll see how it goes. Let me see. Does he have... I think he has Tuskins. I'm pretty sure. He's got... Yeah, he's got Tuskins. All right. All right. Put the request in. If we can beat this, then mathematically, this team at least is better than Veers up against us. Yeah, Veers has like a 0% win rate or something absurd like that. Did I miss the Versio testing? No, boy. We, we're, we're just getting started. The problem I'm going to have is how do I, with the limited attempts that we have, when do I give Scout Trooper up to Veers or give Scout Trooper up to Aiden? We might need to just come back another day and try out some other stuff with her. Uh, right now, I'm just, I, we haven't had a, a, a remnant team ever. So it's nice thing we have a remnant team that's useful. Yeah, so we're going to do gas in a moment, but I, I want to go up against things that we know in Pro Troopers flat out do not do well against. So we're going to try it out here. Yeah, three days of testing <laughs> on the third day of testing. I don't gave to me an Iden versus your team. That's actually kind of, kind of, kind of a ring to it, right? It's got a ring to it. Yo, yeah, so we'll try to, we'll try to and see how it goes. Speaking of Tuskens, are they still worth the farm? Um, well, the Crate Dragon Raid definitely takes a lot of steam out of them. Um, they're still a good team. I mean, look how many teams they shut down. They're fantastic in 3v3. They're great in 5v5. So long as turn meter is a prevalent thing in this game, the Remnant, or not the Remnants, the Tuskens will have a place in shutting down a lot of those turn meter heavy teams. But yeah, I got to admit, one of the biggest selling points for them was the Crate Dragon Raid. How much weight you put on that? up to you but i do want to say it uh, they are kind of like one of the besides kenobi being the ultimate call to term meter the tuscans are up there too tuscans do beat a lot commander luke skywalkers grievances imperial troopers you, on defense you know there's only so many ways you can kind of beat them because most teams have some degree of turn meter on them yeah if you have both sides, yeah i mean oh yeah in 3v no in 3v3 no no no, no, no. The, in 3v3 right now the best tuscan team is uh chieftain warrior tuscan raider like so you don't even need both inside of Django. cool we have the team set so you don't even need to have both at sign of Django. Actually, I think the math shows both at sign of Django is actually not as good as the other team because Padme, the cheap Padme cheese counter does not work whatsoever up against the, the variant I mentioned, uh, Chieftain, Warrior, Tuscan Raider, Omicron. But speaking of that, let's get in here. Let's see how it goes. Will we be able to beat this? Not as much Terminator as a Virus team, but there is still is a degree. Scout Trooper gets Terminator, Gideon removes, and then he gains Terminator for the teams. Duh, we got to be careful. Dark Trooper, Dark Trooper can feed Terminator. So if we, we might be, we might have a struggle. Hey, it's your birthday. Happy birthday, Monkey Bon. Great seeing you, my friend. Hope you're doing fantastic. Uh, let, me re let me make sure I don't fall too far. I'm, I know I'm falling so far behind. Thank you for your patience as always. Uh, ben Riddick, new membership to the Comic Code VIP Plus program. No comment, but I'll give you one as always. Thank you. We also have Mental Pod, the five uh, pounds. Finally got Malgus, the Relic 7. Can't wait to use him in the next screener. Oh, man, you're going to... Excuse me, you're going to love him. Long of the Sith and Kyber Empire. Yeah, Cal Kest is kind of... Is dunking on him, but most... Only like 2,000 people have Cal Kest. So right now, you're going to still enjoy the full benefit of him. And then we have Angelic Claw, 35 months. Greetings, Emperor. Hope you had a nice break. It was nice, but the whole time... It's one of those things... How do I explain? I had a great trip. Fantastic time. But it's like, you know, generally you're like, Oh, man, the, the trip is over. I'm like, oh man, I can't wait to be back with you guys. That's how it is with me. It's, it's kind of weird. I just love hanging out with you guys. They have rich homie to Quam. I love the Bronco. Was that your choice or the lady in all the runs? Uh, it was mine. You know, I needed a, I need something that can conquer the off-roads a little bit better. It was, uh, it was a lot of fun. I, that thing is, I didn't do much performance-wise. I added just some more 
just luxury items where I could put like stuff on the top and I put some lights in the ceiling. We we're doing some late night overlanding. Uh, that thing, man, it's, it's a very capable vehicle as is. Like I was very impressed. Not quite up to the, the high speeds that I like. It's not a speed machine, but boy, that off-road, I was like, holy cow, this thing's just doing things I was not expecting to. Anyways, glad you enjoyed it, Rich Homie Quant. It was a lot of fun. Overlanding was a ton of fun. Now I just got to convince her we got to you know, do it more often. You know, she's, she needs she needs the basic. She needs the toilets. Like, who needs a toilet? Just go out in the forest. Anyways, let's get in here. All right. So here's my big issue. This play right here, the 25% terminator gain, it could be a big issue. Well, let's see how it goes, though. We're going to start this party off. All right. Okay. That's not bad. Okay. So far, actually, they didn't get nearly as much. I was expecting a lot more momentum on the team. Let's go ahead. Does this push term meter? This does not give term meter, right? That's good. Yeah, we do not want term meter. So we're going to do that. Uh, let's just, I guess, man, this feels like a waste of a dark trooper assist, right? I feel like I should be, I'd be much better off. Yeah, I'd rather put the damage over here. Okay. Whoa! <laughs> Dude, this team just got absolutely dumped in the two seconds. Now we gotta wait. They are getting some momentum. They might be able to carry themselves even without the two core members. Like, I'm not gonna do that. Uh, let's get. Oh, actually, I'm more worried about Tuscan Raider. Let's go do that. All right, not as much damage. We're gonna have to take a stun. All right, let's go drop a death mark and just do basic. Uh, guys, I know, I know. I think a lot of us are rooting against the fact that we don't want to break up Veers and Iden teams or whatever, especially Veers. I'll show you the math. Mathematically, it was impossible for Imperial Troopers to beat this team. That's fine. Garrett can do that. Just drop some of that down. And like, we're leaving with some pretty solid Banaruskis, it looks like. Do the buff the spell. Uh, just do a basic here. All right. Nicely done. Um, here, yeah. I'll, let's take a look at the map here in a moment. Uh, just do basic right now. I don't want to do anything. That's almost a max banner win right there. Yeah, Gary. Yeah, Gary is actually very helpful. That protection up really helps maintain our banners for the most part. It looks like we might be missing out on one or two, but here. What we got to look at here, the question, is this better than Veers? In this scenario, 100%. This is better than Veers. Um, and like, I can use this. Like, I can actually use this in Grand Arena. Like, t I can't use Imperial Troopers that often in my Grand Arenas anymore. Here, let's just show you guys real quick, just so you can see that before and after performance. Let's go uh, Veers. All right, and let's go up against a Tuscan team. Yeah. All right, yeah, it's it's not looking good. Keep in mind, this is including even the low gear Tuscans. I didn't even filter it out for the the high gear Tuscans only. It was basically impossible for this team to win. Thirty five percent, twenty seven percent, twenty seven percent, twelve percent, fifty three. So just the, these are all just different relics and stuff like that and gear level. Sixteen percent, twenty percent, twenty percent, zero percent. Uh, we have a 66% win rate here. What was the gear levels? Yes, these are like really, really low gears. Uh, and then as you see, once you get the higher gear Tuscans, they don't really do all that hot anymore. So right there, as much like I kind of, I'm secretly rooting that Veers is still going to be better. Right there, Gideon just destroyed that team. No problem whatsoever. So this is to be a very good, yeah, these are mostly lowish gear stuff out there. This should be very well, uh, very well suited for in favor of Moth getting right there. All right. If she does this good at three stars, what about? Here's the thing. At three stars or seven stars, the most the most I'm going to benefit from is the 20 extra speed. I feel like I don't really I never really expected her to be a damage dealer. I mean, maybe yeah, she'll do more damage, but she's given us offense. She's given us the daze, the stagger, the cleanse, all the extra speeds and unique ability. I don't know. As I said, I'm going to keep going until I feel like I need the seven stars. Right now, Gideon's kind of the, the character that needs to be fast. He brings everything down to his level, and then you just start rolling at that point. I don't know, man. Yeah, we'll see. Scout Troopers a she? Yes, I believe. Uh, well, yeah, I, I know she's a she because I know <laughs> there's a lot of outrageous people about it. I mean, here's my take on it. I, I, I'm, I'm disappointed they didn't take the Scout Troopers we saw Mandalorian. That's what I was, I think everyone was expecting. We we're going to get the, the guys who punched Grogu <laughs> inside the game. We didn't go that direction, but it doesn't bother me. It's, it's a female Scout Trooper. We, we know that, you know, once Disney took over uh, Star Wars, we know that they, they kind of, it wasn't just because it when George Lucas shows prequels, we all we all thought, all right, yes, we had clone troopers that were the stormtroopers, but then we know how the story went, so it doesn't bother me. 
uh, in that regard. But I, I am disappointed, though, that we didn't get the ones from Mandalorian. Uh, but I know a lot of people were upset. And that scout trip is that she's somewhere in here. It says uh, she does, does this, that. Anyways, yes, if you have to read the kit reveal and all that. Da, 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 da. Yeah, there we go. Uh, Scott Trooper has her terminal. Will... I, I think some people are making a bigger deal than it needs to be. We, we know there's females, males, and other different species and races inside the, the Empire at post, post Disney era. It doesn't bother me, but I am disappointed we didn't get that. What was it? TK? What was it? What was the guy? Who punched Grogu? Who punched? Who punched Grogu? Um, what was the trooper number? Can't find it. Uh, I, I, I guess that's the actor. But what does, what's the name of it? What? Uh, I'm sure you guys. Who was the tripper? TK something. Uh, what was it called? What was it? Yeah, I know. Yeah, I know the actor. But who was it? It was a TK something. I can't remember what TK. I don't remember what it is. Um. Ah, uh, yeah. The, the 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 designation number for the troopers. I don't know. I can't remember it. But that that was the one I was expecting. I think it would have been funny because again, Remnant. We saw that in Mandalorian. But again, I don't think it's it's it's. It's fine. <laughs> I saw there's a lot of upset people about it. We have plenty of we have a plenty of other male troopers. You got dead troopers, stormtroopers. It's fine. Uh, but yeah, I was I am still disappointed that we didn't get the. That's what everyone. I think everyone kind of wanted that one. But yeah, I think there was a, a little bit bigger of an upward than there needed to be uh, for that there. TK, here we go. Yeah, TK four twenty one. Is that it? It's in the man event. Let's see. Yeah, it's, it's in the man event, isn't it? Yeah, it's in the man event. So that's what I thought we were gonna get. So a bit of a downer in that regard. But otherwise, it, it uh, doesn't bother me. Uh, I think people are. A little, I think, the, I think people got a little bit more as up than they needed to be on that one. I think, yeah, it's okay to be upset we didn't get the one from Mandalorian, but I think otherwise it's, uh, what are we doing here? We're doing, um, hold on, before I lose my train of thought, we were going to fight other teams that troopers have a hard time against. Why don't we do, does he have Marin? Um, no, I don't want to do Marin. Does he have Captain Rex? Hold on, that's what I'm seeing. I'm going to lose my train of thought here. It's like an ad rad. TK 421, is that it? Yeah, is it T 420? Was that the one? Yeah, there we go. Yeah, let's do gas. All right. I, I kind of want to go through the pace of non uh, gas stuff, but we'll do it. All right, there we go. All right, moving on. Yeah. What? No puns? I know, right? Trey, we could try some Trey stuff. Imperial Troopers can beat Trey. It's the Savage that makes it uh, an issue. If you want to test your Philip, you're. Oh, wait. Holy cow, Crusader Scroll. Is that, is that actually you? Hold on. Hold on, where are you at? You're in my free-to-play squad arena? Can we jump to seven? Here, I, I don't feel the incentive to go to seven stars right now. You know what I mean? Like, like there's a point where it's like, oh, okay, I need seven stars. Right now, I'm not quite feeling it. Maybe if I go into a Veers team and maybe an Iron team, maybe I'll need the seven stars. But right now, don't you want to just see how far a three-star can go since most people are going to be like that? You're at 150. You're not too far away from me then. Hold on, 174. Oh, you're actually, is that you right there? You Patty? Patty, if you want to, that would actually be great. Here, put like a Darth Revan team. I don't know what your, I have no idea what your roster looks like, but if that's you right there. I don't, put a, put a, put a team in there. I would love to see it. It'd be helpful to see low star vibe. Yeah, I mean, right now, I'm at the higher stars. The only thing we're really going to see is that extra speed boost. And right now I'm not feeling like she's slow or anything like that. Yeah. Yeah, so here, Patty, I'll come back and check in a moment. Uh, let's, oh, and he has Captain Rex, fantastic. Captain Rex, fantastic. So cool, we, we're gonna try all that fun stuff. All right, Gas, let's just shoot high. Shoot high, baby, let's go. Let's do it, send them on in. Do you remember the pit rate tutorials you would post? Oh man, of course. That's what got me uh, started for Galaxy Heroes for the most part. Let's do it, okay. All right, so we get to outrun Gas very easy. Oh. Is this a new, a new, I know it's not a like new, new background, but I feel like this is the new background they've cycled into. Uh... Yeah, this is, this is cool. I don't think we've seen this too often. This feels like an old Phoenix event background. Anyways, what was I doing? I was about to punch. All right, here we go. The offense up. Oh, we got, here we got some offense up. All right, eating a couple counters. We know Gary's very resilient. Let's go. Ooh, this is gonna be fantastic. Check this out. Ooh. Oh, okay. All right, okay. All right, um, do this. Let's, um, hmm, this is a tough call. I think we could do some turn meter here. Increase cooldowns, pull back turn meter, taunt up. All right, gas is getting back up here. This might hurt. Ooh, 
too many buffs. Too many buffs. Um, yeah, way too many buffs. So our that, like maybe a seven star scout trooper could have survived that, but gas is kind of wrecking our team regardless of that. All right, uh, let's try something a little. I'm gonna try one more time. I don't know if a seven star scout trooper is gonna make that much of a difference uh, in that regard. Yeah, I think that's just there's just too many buffs. We got, we got to work a little bit faster. Yeah. Yeah, he got up and he woke up, man. Yeah, he nuked us. Yeah, that, that's the problem. Yes, yeah, too many buffs. All right, I'll try one more time. I don't want to spend too much time here. I don't think we're going to get much different experiences out of the higher star scout trooper, but hey, that feels good. All right. All right, I was hoping he would have been down by now. That kind of sucks. Can I finish him off? All right, he gets knocked down. Okay, um, I think we just got to go like full on. <sighs> hmm. Do I just do basic here? Let's just do basic, I guess. All right, that's a good step in the right direction. All right, do that. Okay. Boy, fives is getting way too many turns right now. All right, we need to get this guy out. Come on. <sighs> All right, um, <laughs> just do that. There we go. All right. Gas is still gonna nuke me though, 100%. I I, I can kill off. Yeah, he's, he's just gonna nuke me in a second. Yeah, here it goes. Boom, just get nuked. Uh, okay, this might be a little tricky for the guy. Turn meter, uh, the, it was fine because uh, yeah, it, it wouldn't have made a difference. When Gas is gonna get up, he's just gonna nuke my team. I don't know if that battle's in a very good range. Yeah, yeah. Trigger sacrifice. Yeah, we, I mean, we could go for sacrifice, but okay. One, one, one more time. One more time. One more time. We'll try it out. <laughs> Better than, well, yeah, I don't think going for the sacrifice. Uh, okay, well, I'll go for it. We'll sacrifice, but then you got to supercharge clone troopers and all that. We'll see how it goes. If I can get the healing unity of death, dark trooper, death trooper, it might work out. All right, let's go. I pull back the turn meter. Okay. All right. Okay. All right, let's go do that. I love this play right here. That's a fantastic play. There we go. That works out fantastically right there. Okay. Um, you know what? Just for the sake of... Because I see Archer is trying to snag a turn. I'm just going to drop that there. Okay. trying to think how I want to go about this. So we're going to completely bypass fives. I don't know if I want to do turn meter, just do a basic. I kind of want Death Trooper to get healing meter before we get too far into it. Wait, no, 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 guys. The thing what I'm trying to do right now, I could just punch him and just hit the sacrifice. I really want to get Death Trooper to get the healing immunity on so they don't get the heals back. You know what I'm saying? That's my, that's what I'm trying to do. I'm, because if I do this, they're going to get sacrificed and then I, I'm, I can't stop the heal at that point. So I'm kind of tempted just to do this. Death Trooper will come in, AOE, healing immunity, and then we'll feel a little bit more comfortable. So let's try this out. I, did I... Oh, okay, we still hit it anyways. <gasps> um, okay, well... All right. I was really hoping we didn't have to, to go through all that, but it is what it is. Let's just do basic. Okay. Yeah, I, I still think we're going to get nuked. Oof. That's rough. That's rough. All right. Yeah, I don't know. It's clean. You know, it's not. It's not like if you're in like a hail mary situation. You know, maybe you could two shot it or something uh, at that point. There might be more of a delicate balance that's needed for that battle. Should have boosted terminator. <sighs> oh god. All right. One, one more time. I don't think it. I don't think it matters because the second gas gas is gonna get up regardless whether I killed everyone or not. He's gonna get up and like absolutely like destroy at least half my team. All right, one more time. One more time. One more time, and that's it. That's it. That's it. That's, this is the last one. I just hate like there's that thought it's like oh maybe that person's right. Maybe maybe just you know. This is the last time. Last time. All right, there do that. It sucks that the moralized drops off and gas takes a nap because I I feel like if gas would keep the moralized on him, I think it'd be a little bit different of a start. All right. All right. Okay, let's just uh, make sure Arc Trooper does not go. Okay. All right, so in this time we will do... Oh, we didn't get the stagger on. That's actually a little unfortunate. All right. All right, we'll do that. All right, we didn't even get hit. We're not landing any of my debuffs like I wanted to. Yeah, I actually feel like this is going a lot worse than before. 
I feel like the 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 yeah the, the, uh, that that was actually our worst one. So okay, yeah, we're gonna let it be. We're gonna let it be. We're gonna let it let, let gas be. Let him be for the moment. Let's move on. Let's try some Phoenix stuff. All right, hit me with your best Phoenix team. All right, we're gonna do a Captain Rex Phoenix crew. See what we get him. Seven stars, I, I don't think seven stars, guys, I don't think seven stars is really gonna make that big of a difference uh, on that battle. Again, I wanna keep, because you guys know how it is. The second I say something's low, server, oh, seven stars, and it, it annoys the hell out of me. I'm gonna keep it at three stars, because I try to convince me how, why I need to bump up the seven stars right now. I don't know. I like the fact that, I like the fact that uh, I can, I feel like I haven't had a battle where it's like, uh, I don't think three stars is coming. I feel like it's doing well at three stars. Uh, without, uh, oh, you want to go up against this? <laughs> um, we'll see. We'll see. We'll do Phoenix. Like, yeah, so right now I want to keep it at three stars because I like, I remember when I did Captain Rex. Like, Captain Rex works well at low stars. But because most of my gameplay was seven stars, all here's like, oh, it's not free to play. It's like, it, it, it works at low stars. So I'm trying to keep it at low stars because you always got those people. It's like, because most of the gameplay is seven stars, they don't believe you. And then they, they get proven wrong eventually over time. But nonetheless, it's just like, right now, I like the coast as long as I can at three stars until I really feel like I'm being held back. Right now, like, what is she gonna do? At seven stars, she's just gonna get that extra 20 speed. That's, her assist isn't gonna be any better. Her Dark Trooper's gonna assist just as well at three stars versus seven stars, you know? We did vote for seven stars, but that was before you guys knew that there was three star viability. There is 100% three star viability, at least of Moff Gideon here. That, that's why I'm, I'm playing around with this because we didn't know it's, it's a gamble it's a coin toss whether something's gonna be low star viable or not we're seeing that there's low star viability yeah a new vote yeah so now with the context do you guys want to go to seven stars and then I could blame you guys if people start commenting oh this isn't free to play you got seven stars yeah cheaper. so here uh, so I just want to make sure the blame goes on you guys Let's see, want more three star or seven star testing. All right, so we got three star. All right, then we got. All right, here we go. All right, new poll coming in there. All right, so now that you've seen that there is obviously three star vibe, at least in the context of Gideon. Do you guys want to keep going with three stars? Or do you guys want to have me get yelled at by all the sad folks down the road? You're going to I'm, you're going to disappoint many people if they don't see that full three star gameplay all the way through. Are you just testing Gideon lead? Yeah, I think I honestly, I don't as much as I want to do all this stuff today, Adam. We just only have so many attempts. I'd rather see how far Gideon can go, because right now what I'm seeing is this is a better trooper team than Veers so far. Easily dunked on Zori easily dunked on Tuskins. Teams that normally give me a hard time at Veers were doing well. So maybe if anything, we could do another stream later on this week and we could look over Veers lead and then we'll go through all the teams again. And then we can look at Aiden, go through all the teams again. So it's, uh, but right now I, I'm liking where the remnants, what the remnants are doing. You want eight star testing? Hell yeah, baby. <laughs> Try against the game Sure. All right, while we wait, let's do it. All right. Um, yeah, I know what you guys are going for because no, this has gas in there. Is there like a non-gas somewhere? There we go. Actually, let's go for this Phoenix team. All right, so Captain Rex, let's see what we got. All right, 315, it's decent. Um, 25 speed. All right, I, I have a feeling though, Gideon should outrun Captain Rex. With the help of Scout Trooper, you should be able to outrun them. So let's try it out. Send them on in. Get some stuff going. Yeah, equip your Stark, the Stark tech, you know, baby. Monday, Wednesday, Friday, there we go. Yeah, I mean, we have a grand arena on Thursday, so maybe we could do like the third team on Thursday. All right, so we're gonna start this off. So look, look at Captain Rex, he's, he's jonesing to get going. He's jonesing. But look at this, pull all that. Ooh, okay, got a beautiful stun right there. And it's like, what is a seven star gonna do that's better? She's three stars, she's the second person that goes on the team. You see what I'm getting at here? And now the team's done. This is like, this is an old school team at this point. Let's just make sure she doesn't do any of that uh, stagger Terminator stuff here. Uh, let's get some Terminator pumping. Do the buff this spell. Do some of this. Let's get some BB out of here. But like, what is Seven Star going to do better here? 
Where is Zeb? I can ask for Zeb. I, I, I think again, it's like like Twitch of here. Let's uh here to appease everyone. Let's take out. I'm gonna take out Ezra. Okay. Can you take out Ezra and help him? Here, I'll put in Kanan, and then and Zeb or Sabine. He might not have those geared up. Oh gee, my typing is horrendous. All right, let's so uh, here we'll, we'll finish up the battle though. Yeah, but like, what is what is the what's the seven star gonna do more? Like, don't you guys want these characters to be usable at three stars? Look, look at that, three stars, massive plays, full health protection up against a team that Veers would normally struggle up against. All right, cool. He's gonna swap out the Phoenix team for me, so we'll try up against Zeb Kane, which is a little bit better on defense. Uh, but yeah, like that right there. Like, I don't know what. Um, so yeah, at seven stars, what you can expect, she'll be a little bit more durable. Look, she's under, like, remember Grief Karga? Grief Karga, the, what, what made him so viable at three stars was the fact that he started off under stealth. If you can't target him, that makes him super viable at low stars. And I don't know, I, maybe I'm crazy. Am I crazy for wanting to just see how far a three star character can take you in an end game performance? You know, uh, that's the thing. I'm, uh, I'm a little perplexed right now. Uh, they're with Iden. No, I don't think we're going to have time for Iden. Or not enough attempts for Iden today. We're going to probably do subsequent tests. We'll do Iden, Scout Trooper another day. And a, um, they'll probably do Veers another day. There we go. So there we go. A little bit better of a defensive team for the most part. We'll take them out. But we'll get tries. We can, we'll, yeah, we'll do. Yeah, we're going to go up against Radis too. Radis normally caused some issues for Veers as well. That's what I want to see. I want to go through all this stuff. Come on. It just. I, you don't get many opportunities to utilize a remnant team and dunk on the current meta. Here we go. Pull back turn meter. All right. Ooh, we didn't get the stun there. That's a little unfortunate. Let's see if we can check that out. All right. We still got plenty of turns on our side. That's fan. Like, what is seven star going to do? You know, yeah, she'll be a little bit. Yeah, I mean, like, look at that. That's pretty, pretty solid. Stuff. All right. Let's see if we can try to jump ahead of here. Fantastic. Buff the spell. Turn removal on the stagger. Fantastic. Let's go and pop some of that up there. We'll just take the cane and counter attack, I guess. Okay. Let's do a a a a a a a dispel. I don't want to use that. Let's just do a offense up. All right. Let's see if we can try to get cane now. Almost there. All right. Almost there. Please don't do any funny backup plans. Ah, crap. That's a little unfortunate. All right. Ah, well. Just do, I guess. Um. Yeah, there's no sense doing a buff the spell. Let's do a basic. I guess now Kanan's going the other way right now. We'll get him eventually with Captain Rex. Oh, there we go. That should do it. Boom. But you see what I'm saying? Like, I, I don't know. Like, you know how it goes. Like, there's plenty of times like, oh, this three star is not working. But like right now, I'm just not seeing, you know, I mean, yes, of course, I will seven star her eventually. But right now it's like she's plenty fast. She's making plenty of plays and the seven stars just make her a little bit beefier and a little bit more speed, which I don't think the speed's needed. Like Dark Timber is going to be assisting just as well. Holy cow. Look at that right there. My gosh. Oh, this this feels good, guys. This feels like I mean, look, we're leaving a full banners. That's that's what I'm saying. I I think it's more helpful for people seeing. Look at all the stuff they could do at the you know you're with the three star scout ship until you get into seven star. So that's, I think it's more exciting. Again, it's not always fun seeing you play a seven star character because a lot of you guys you aren't going to see seven stars for several months. So it's nice to see that right now. If you got Moff Gideon, the Dark Trooper, and you're feeling like me, it's like I can't really use my Veers as much. You have a place to use them. Yeah, it's kind of crazy, right? That's what I'm saying, below. Yeah. All right. Uh, CLS. Yeah, I mean we could start or er, go through some CLS stuff here. As long as I think Gideon can have that extra speed, because the problem is with the Omicron, it's very hard for Gideon to outrun Captain Rex. Um, I think with the even Omicron on Captain Rex, he gets how much? Let me double check. Oh, let me double check. Let me, let's actually see if we can make sure we outrun. Uh, Captain Rex is down the line. And let's see. So Captain Rex, he gets 25 speed plus an additional. So 50 speed in total. So like my guy's at... Yeah, so look at this. Moff Gideon with Scout Trooper, as long as you make sure you're not slacking on Gideon mods, Gideon should be able to outrun Captain Rex with Omicrons out there. So that's kind of a big deal. That's a big deal. Yeah. Why do the pull if you keep doing three star? <sighs> All right, I guess I'll, I, I don't know. I gotta say, I'm very disappointed. I, I feel like I, I thought people would be. I, I just wanna say, I actually feel very sad right now. 
I feel very sad that I, I was I was really hoping it would be a clear like margin of victory for the three stars. Like I I don't know. I'm actually very disappointed right now. Very disappointed. People are mad at me for not doing seven stars, even though I'm trying to make sure the game's accessible for more people to play and enjoy these new characters. I'm ecstatic she's three star viable. And I just want to show me beating all these meta things with her at three stars. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I'm, uh, I'm actually I'm actually a little sad right now. Uh, but anyways, while I'm sitting here, let's get a uh, another team on the line. Let's do Radis. Can we try? All right. Yeah. It's your stream. I, but I, you know, at the same time, I want to make sure people are enjoying themselves. I feel like people are getting kind of upset. That we're not just doing seven stars. I don't know. I, my philosophy is I always want to try to make this game as accessible, understandable for as many people as possible. That's kind of always been my thing. And when I see something three star viable, it makes me so happy because that means people can actually engage with these characters and not have to wait for months. And I, I and one of my, it breaks my heart when people are like, oh, I can't wait to use this character in two years. Like, yeah, I, that just sucks. That's the way the game is. But when you find these three star characters, we really got to celebrate them and like really enjoy the fact that we can utilize um, these guys at low stars. Um, all right, here's what I'll do, I guess. I, I'll do like two more battles at three stars and then we'll, um, I guess we'll go to seven stars. I did put the poll up, but yeah, I, I, I like I was really expecting after showing you guys, hey, look what she can do at three stars. She's surviving in full health protection. I was expecting like, people are like, yeah, let's keep doing three stars. This is what it is. All right, so Admiral Rat is generally a very complicated battle for Aiden, a very complicated battle for Veers for the most part. Will it be complicated for these guys? Let's see what happens here. All right, so we get days on us. Hopefully, Scout Trooper can come in here in a moment. And look at this. So check out this play. We got the cleanse. That's awesome. It sucks I still couldn't get the assist in there. Uh, let's see if we can... Um, hmm. This one's going to be an interesting play. I think we... Hmm, hmm. I don't want Aiden reviving Radis. I really don't. Turn meter could be a bit of an issue for me. You see what I'm getting? If I, if I get rid of Admiral Radis, Jin's likely just going to revive him again. See what I'm saying right here? Uh, Baze would make this a little bit more complicated, 100%. Yeah, a lot of... Yeah, we might have to see if we throw in a Baze maybe in place of... Uh, hmm, maybe in place of this dude back there. See what I'm getting at? Anyway, yeah, I'm thinking about it. Uh, here, we'll do that first, I guess. Okay. All right, cool. So we pushed her back a little bit. Now we got this taunt in our way. This is kind of an issue because the buff the spell is not always the best. Luckily, we don't have the Omicron on this team. All right, let's see what we got. Let's get back over here. We're going to do that buff the spell from Scout Trooper in a second. All right. Okay, a lot of debuffs coming my way. All right, we got days on our Scout Trooper. Let's see if we can get a buff the spell. Okay. Turn meters probably. Eh, just do it for right now. We're going to get days on us. It is what it is. Okay. Can we get a day? Oh, there we go. I'll take the days. All right. Yeah, maybe I should have just went for the kill and hope that Jin didn't revive, but she was most likely going to revive anyways. Get the stun there. Basic over here. All right. Yeah, that taunt's actually kind of annoying right now. Well, this is like probably the first bat. I'm kind of feeling a bit of a struggle. It's, it's not a three-star issue, though. This is just an Admiral being heavily anti- Oh, uh, yeah, Admiral Rats being heavily anti-Imperial Trooper. Yeah, look at that. He's already back to the top. All right, let's see if we can get the taunt. Oh, my bad. We had buff me now. But you see what I'm saying? Like, right now, the three star is not holding me back at all. There we go. I need Scotcher to pop me another one of those lovely cleanses. There we go. We'll do some of this. Okay, let's see if we can quickly work on Jin Urso. Does she have a revive? She does have a revive. And that's the issue I'm having right now, trying to time out this revive cleanse all right ultimate coming in and we got the revive checked it out it's nice right okay oop i probably should have done aoe right there didn't know we only had three stacks let's see what we can do uh can i get a daze mm, got a daze but a little too late there i gotta go through another one of these okay all right let's go try to get the buff this spell let's see if we can get rid of radis again nice i could have definitely stayed my dark trooper there i misplayed that he could have easily been around still let's see at the death mark over here Again, guys, I misplayed that very poorly in several regards. This is normally a battle that troopers have a very hard time. Still a bit of a struggle. Maybe I could have played a little bit better in a couple of angles here. But again, the three-star trooper, she's still standing. She did basically everything I needed her to do very well. Thank goodness for the revive cheese that we had going on her. Look at that. 
Offense up there. She's still standing. Get some of that. Nicely done. Give me some more dazes. And we got plenty of ways to handle the dude over there. Cleanse power. Look at that. You see what I'm getting at? Like, I can't even tell she's low stars right now. She's killing it. She's killing it. Let's even get rid of that dude. Look at that. You know, it's not bad. It's not bad. I, I, I literally cannot tell. Like, if you would have given me this character, hide all the UI elements, I would have been hard pressed to actually acknowledge the fact that this is, I'm, it's like, I'm playing with a three star character. You're joking me. It feels like I'm playing with a seven star character right now. Wait a minute here. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I don't think this is working for Yeah. So keep in mind, there was no Omicron active. Just being able to beat this is a step in the right direction. Yeah. Admiral Radis will be a little bit more challenging with that Omicron. But just being able to get that far, it's kind of a step in the right direction. Uh, let me check this out real quick. Yeah. Admiral Radis, what he's got under the tank. Where are you at, buddy? Where are you at, buddy? Where are you at, dude? Am I... The Gucci goggles blocking my view? Where the heck did this guy... Is he just... All right, there we go. I don't know. The Gucci goggles make me blind. Yeah, Ripple Assault. Uh, you're going to get extra match text, which could be a problem. Spark of Rebellion. Also, so I don't know if I'm willing to say that you're going to be able to, you know, do that in Grand Arena. But hey, you know, being able to do that at least in Squadron, that's a... The step in the right direction at the very minimum right there. All right. Uh, did you see Scout Trooper Q and A? The, uh, the new Conquest of Gideon was confirmed. They replaced Dark Trooper on the Remington making DT stay with... Hold on. Did you s I know I saw the fact that uh, Gideon was Conquest, but I don't know if I saw that other part, Viper. Thank you for the 25 as well. Yeah, we'll check it out in a second here. Let's just pop it up. Let me ask for a new team in here really quickly while we multitask. Yeah, I saw the post about confirming that he's going to be Conquest. Uh, boy, this is like a full... This, is this going to be a full year of Dark Side Conquest? That's pretty wild. Uh, what do we want to do? Admiral Radis. Uh, we just use him. I'm trying to think of some other... I mean, we could try Night Sisters, I guess. We could try some. He said uh, he's got Marin. All right. I'm just, I'm, again, I'm just going through the stuff that Veers normally struggle against. Incoming All right. donation. Sweet. Let's go check out this post on what CG is predicting the future's looking like for Gideon. Let's check it out. Yeah, they plan to leave dark with beers. Interesting. Okay. Let's see. Scout Trooper. Is this it right here? Q and A. Honestly, I have I have not looked at this. I just saw someone take a screenshot. Emperor's trap. Part of your unique require remnant leader. Yes. Okay. Yep. 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 Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. While developing new Gideon, we are assuming players want to keep Dark Trooper beer. So if that makes no sense, they they, did, they just said that we completed the Remnant squad. But if you take out Dark Trooper, then you don't have a full Remnant team anymore. While developing the new Gideon, we are assuming players will want to keep Dark Trooper beers. That would be the odd tune out. So even though they said in their kit reveal, it's like, hey, we finished the Imperial Remnant, they. They're expecting people are not going to have a full Remnant team still. That's a little, huh? Uh, all I know is for me right now, I don't see myself using Dark Trooper with beers in my neck of the woods. But on probably earlier aspects, you probably want to keep Dark Trooper with beers. But for me, again, as I've shown, I can't use beers as much in Grand Arenas. Ever. Now I feel like I can actually use the guy. All right, where is this comment here? Uh, new character. Yeah, I saw that. Um, Marquee. All right, so I guess that was the main things to pull out here. All right. Hmm. So that's kind of a little perplexing because in the post, like, hey, we completed the Remnant Squad, but by the way, you're probably not going to use him. New Gideon would be... Oh, they're, oh, so they're talking about the new Gideon? Hold on. Oh, I misread that. Okay, I misread that. Okay, all right. That makes... All right, all right. They're talking about new Gideon. The Gucci goggles blocked that while developing the new Gideon where you're supposed to... There we go. Okay, so you know this? I think this will work out in the end then. This will work out. So even though right now I think Dark Trooper's best use is probably, at least for me, for me, I know people, we don't always experience the game in the same degrees, but for me, I can finally use my troopers in high degree fashions. But down the road, they're probably going to give Dark Trooper back to Vera, so that's great. And then um, then Gideon will, I'm going to be able to add some couple of the characters. Like maybe we'll get a Praetorian Guard or something like that. It's, it's hard to imagine a world without Dark Trooper in a new team. Yeah, but we'll see. Maybe they're going to make Gideon hit. Maybe Gideon will be the new Dark Trooper, basically. I'm down for that. 100% down for that. So there we go. I think this will work out in the end, uh, in the future. So next con, so we'll probably, hold on. So we're not going to get Malikos till September. 
and probably not start Gideon until the end of September. So we're probably not going to see Beskar Gideon until December, January. Something like that. Yeah, Purge Super coming could be something like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Let's do it. Uh, Night Sisters. This is another battle that recently there's no Omicron, though, on Marin. This is another battle that's uh, troopers have been having a hard time keeping up with the Night Sister Marin on Divas, which is pretty crazy. All right. Let's do it. Let's go do a Terminator removal first. Can't move any of uh, her Terminator, unfortunately. Okay, let's do that. Let's see if we can just uh, finish off the kill here. All right. Okay, let's see if we can start working over here. All right, Marin's going under stealth. Here comes the stuns. We're going to have a hard time cleansing now. Hard time cleansing. So let's see if we can get an armor straight over here. Ooh, did they change her? She's got green now. Before, she didn't have green. All right, let's see if we can try to... Here, do an AoE. That's nice. Okay. All right, no sense in doing the buff this spell right now. I think I want to get some offense up going. All right, Marin comes out. All right. Ooh, that hurts. That hurts. That hurts a lot. A lot, lot, lot. All right. Mm-hmm. Can't really jack up cooldowns right now since they have that instant defeat immunity on them. Hmm, I want to kind of save it. Uh, this is actually a tough call. Maybe we just try to land a stun over here. There we go. Okay, that's an all right play. Okay. Ooh, there we go. Got the revive. That's nice. Buff the spell. All right, she's not looking too hot. Turn meter. Yeah, we're, we're having a hard time killing folks. Uh, here, here we go. We can increase some cooldowns. All right. Yeah, Plague is wrecking me right now. There we go. We need to start doing this. There we go. All right. We got to get some more kills, though. All right. I don't think it's going to kill her off, though. Just do basic. All right. I'm going to see if I can try to land a Death Trooper kill here in a moment. Here, let's see if we can do... Mm -hmm -hmm. I'm really trying to get... Where's Death Trooper? Oh, he's too far down the line. All right. You know what? Just go for the kill here. All right. She's going to get revived. Ooh, buff the spell. Yeah, that's just plague wrecking. This is actually a really complicated battle. Much more complicated than usual. Yeah, I can't too hot. There we go. We got another kill. We're getting it, but yeah, this plague. This is without the Omicron. What's the Omicron, man? This will be tough. Chad, that's like, no, no, no. The death mark doesn't work like that with Knights. You actually need to permanently kill someone. I believe this is still the same. Yeah, uh, it's hard to explain. I remember way back when you would think that it would work that way. It doesn't work that way. The death mark doesn't work until someone's officially dead. At least with Death Trooper here. I'll show you real quick. Yeah, it doesn't make a difference. Like, you think, oh, I, I killed off a Knight's Zombie. I got Death Mark. It does not work that way. It doesn't work like that. It, it's weird. It's weird how it works. Yeah. Yeah, no health regen, which is the problem. Um, Here, so we'll do the same thing again. All right, let's see if we get a kill. Uh, Do that. Yeah, so you would think, like, oh, I can get Death Mark now. Nah, uh, 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 uh. No, 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 no. Lots of plagues coming in. Oof. Pain, pain, pain and suffering, pain and suffering. Here, we'll just do that. Okay. All right, just do some basics. All right, Marin's coming out. Uh, give me some of these if possible. Nicely done. So, yeah, you would think, oh, I killed off a zombie. I get death mark. No, it doesn't work like that. It's really weird. Yeah, you'd think it, it would work that way. It just does not. Yeah, you have to wait till someone's actually like permanently dead. They're not revived. All the other weird stuff. Let's see. Let's see if we can try it. Uh... There we go. At least Gary's. Look at that. Gary pulled back a lot of Terminator right there. That felt good. Buff the spells rough. Here, let's just see if we can get another one killed off. Come on. Boom, boom. Boy, look at that. 92,000. Only a single hit right there. Uh, all right. Let's see if we can start working on Marin. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on, baby. Don't die me yet. Don't die yet. Good dodge. Good dodge. All right. Here we go. Ah, we're stuck on this guy. All right. Let's go. Pop it. All right. Don't, oof, that plague's gonna wreck me. Hit them with that. Boop, 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 boop. All right, Marin's coming out. Uh, we're probably gonna lose our scout trooper here in a moment. Come out, just. Oh yeah! Look at that hit. That was beautiful. Yeah, but that's the last. There we go. Gideon comes back. And yeah, this is a boy. Nice has got really tricky, man. Uh, here, we'll try this again. All right. Okay, let's just do some of this again. Ooh, that's gonna hurt. Ooh, 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 ooh. Yeah, but again, uh, this actually that's overkill. Yeah. 
Gary's gone. And that's kind of the, the matchup like this. Yeah. Why this the nice of the Veers? No, Veers does not do better. Veers is not doing well. I showed you guys the data. Veers is struggling against Night Sisters right now. Here, I'll show you guys. Hold on. Yeah, Veers is uh Veers is not doing well with the new Phoenix, the new Night Sisters, the new Zori. He kind of does okay. Uh let's see, Talzin with uh Marin. All right. Yeah, so let's do this now. We need to do 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 all right here we go yeah veers is yeah he's kind of having a rough time here veers had uh like you know without without Marin, it's a lot easier of a battle otherwise you're kind of looking at sort of like a 50 50 kind of coin toss situation here bring him on over yeah again it depends on relics and stuff like that and that's going to obviously make a difference but when it's on par like imperial would just be like near 100 percent it's like, do you really want to walk into a battle where you're looking at like a 50% like it's, hey, you know, I might win, I might not. You know, that's the issue here. You know, you got to really go for the other teams that aren't uh, maybe as high. Maybe if they're not as high gear, you might have an okay chance. But otherwise, like once you take out Marin. Oh, let's take out. Did take it out? Yeah, take her out of there. Yeah, look at it. The second Marin comes out, boom, almost 100% success rate. Uh, so that's the thing with Marin, we like their win rate got cut in half. So we're kind of at a point where again, I would most likely want to use something else up against them. Uh, you know what I'm saying? All right, uh, I'm gonna, I don't know, against my better judgment, I guess. I'll take the character to seven stars just so maybe everyone can be a little bit happy today, and then we'll try some other stuff out. Let's go up against Seer Junda. But remember, Seer Junda is not really all that great without her Omicron. You kind of need the Omicron. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? We need, we need that Omicron to really uh, make it better. Yeah, we'll try it out. JMK, out. we'll do a JMK in a second. I need a non-gas, preferably, because no one puts gas in a Master Kenobi inside a Grand Arena. Uh, yeah, everyone uses gas here. Uh, yeah, we have another gas. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll try out some Jedi Master Kenobi in a second here. Can you test Iden first? Oh, man. God, it really ticks me off that CG just can't let me... I just... I'll pay you the freaking crystals. You're going to win in the end. Let me just play the game as long as we want. Like, I would, trust me, I would not be, like, if I had to pay $50 so we could try everything we possibly want, I'll give them the freaking $50. If they're that, that greedy and they don't want us actually enjoying their game. Uh, I want to play all that stuff. But right now, I'm, I'm taking this new, because again, right now, for me, this is way more usable than Veers in my neck of the woods, Iden versus Hill. But I do want to try Iden versus up against, like, Wampa. I want to see if maybe Wampa gets shut down. So the, the, the issue is we're probably going to do like another day of testing. I want to go through all the paces with Moff Gideon. And then if we have extra time or attempts, yeah, then we'll go. Tr I'll, I'll try some other stuff out. Yeah, it's just it's so annoying that CG just. It's like, it's just, it's, come on, it's squattering it. We're, there's no more Chris in there. We It's just us goofing around. Oh, by the way, I think uh, I forgot to check my free to play account. Someone said they're at like 150. Uh, I'm not seeing him. Yeah, someone said they were like at rank 150, and I asked them to put a, a, um, yeah, maybe not. I could have been trolled. I don't know. Yeah, someone in chat says, oh, I'm on your free-to-play uh, squad arena. They said they were at 150, and I asked them if they could put like a uh, Darth Revan down. I'm not seeing it, though. But hey, if you're on my free-to-play shard, I'll try it out on my free-to-play account if I could. Me? Yeah, I'm not seeing that. He's in a different shard. Okay, yeah. So all three today while you can i say i know i don't know i just uh passed it twice i'm not i, I saw 150 but i asked if they could put something down yeah i saw the 150 but i'm not seeing a team that i can i can't use my imperials against any of these teams so that's the that's like that's 150 but i'm not seeing uh it could be on a dip they might they may have mistaken and they think we're on the same shot we're not on the, then we might not be on the same shot they may have uh, mistaken a little bit there all right Let's do Sir Junda uh, again. A Sir Junda is not really all that impressive outside of Grand Arena, so we gotta try that. I'm a noob. What are shards? Basically, different buckets. So the point I'm all you gotta know is basically you and I were not playing in the same squad arena. Generally, squad arena it bunches people together that start around a similar time. Uh, that's that's basically a long story short. So there's just different buckets. Like I'm in a very early bucket. I'm with people that have been playing the game since 2015, 2016. If you're starting a new account today, you're gonna be with people that are starting roughly around the same time as you, like a, within a few weeks. I'm not sure what the margin is. So that's what they call shards. Everyone's got a different squadron shard, but 
overall, it's really an irrelevant thing except for Fleet Arena. Squadron means nothing nowadays. And uh, Galaxy of Heroes. Wow, geez, Kylo Ren just eating that up right there. My gosh. Here, let's, should we try to get through him? There we go. Yeah. Hey, remember, you can't get days on a Seer Junda team. Man, I don't know. Actually, I was dogging on this team a moment ago, but you know, I'm not really putting much of a dent in the way here. I probably should have just done a buff this spell when I could have. Here, do that. All right, let's see if we can. Boy, let's get rid of all this foresight. All right, Death Trooper might be able to come in here. All right. All right, we finally got around. Let's get the buff the spell off Seer Junda. Taunt up. <laughs> Gary. I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry. It's not my fault, though. I tried. At least he looks cool. He looks cool, at least. Like, hey, guys. <laughs> no one understands Gary like I do. He just wants to be loved. Um, Boy, yeah, we are stuck. We are stuck. Yeah, no Omicron. Definitely giving me a bit of a hard time right now. Give me a stun. There we go. Some of that. All right. Oh, they got dodged. Just trying to clear up those forces so we can try to do something. Oh, boy. A lot of debuffs in the way. Ooh. Sierra Junior putting a comeback, man. Again, this is no Omicron. I still am getting wrecked right now. I was actually expecting this to be a little bit easier. All right, let's see. Uh, she's got no foresight. Can we try to get rid of her? There we go. All right, that's step in the right direction. Let's go for Seer next. All right. Okay, that's good. No taunt. All right. All right, he should get revived. Death Mark coming in. Nicely done. That should put her in the... All right, never mind. Put her in the gray. There we go. Took a moment. I, but I, this, I can't tell you if you're going to do well. What's got Omicron on Sierra Junda, man? She's a whole different beast. Let me tell you. Uh, like, let's put on auto at that point. But you know what I'm saying? Like, I, 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 I'm just honestly, I'm like looking at this. Like, I can't tell I'm playing with the low star scout trooper. She's doing fantastic right now. There we go. Look at that. Nice. Oh, guys. Kylo. Can I, you know, I don't even know if I can kill off Kylo. Let's get rid of, let's get rid of Cal first. And then we'll see if we can even get through it. Man, this team is just hella durable. A lot of stuns coming in. All right. Cleanse coming in. Um, doesn't really matter, honestly. I guess just probably should. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Just going to get dodged. Almost there. But like, look, can you guys even tell that this is three stars? Like, I'm pretty, you know, people are hopping and they might be thinking I'm doing seven star tastic. Like, ah, no, I'm not, I'm not even seeing it. I'm not even seeing it right now. Get some turn meter. Get that off. Uh, death mark. Ah, I misplayed that. I should have done it the other way around. All right, well. Can we get through Cal at least? Taunt. Come on, get Cal out of here. My gosh, this team is just so freaking durable, man. Let's do basic, I guess. Is he going to taunt again? Yeah, he's gonna taunt again. Uh, I definitely misplayed. I could have timed that death mark out a little bit better. We're gonna try to keep that in mind this time. Buff this spell. Nicely done. Okay, undersell. Look at it. Undersell. The stealth really helps the low star viability of this character. Almost there. Almost there. Okay, give me some days. That's not gonna do days inside of Grand Arena. A lot of uh, debuffs coming in. Oh boy, get that on. Come on. There, uh, there we go. We got a stun. Jesus, Kylo's really driving me crazy. Come on. There we go. All right. Can I even... Uh, the problem is Death Mark does a whole lot of... We can need, need healing it is what I need right now. I didn't get any days. All right. Come on, boy. Running out of time. Running out of time. Cleanse. Let's... Uh, here, Dead Art Trooper. There we go. We got it. We got it. Oh, oops. Oh, oh crap. I think I knocked him down. <laughs> ooh, ooh. I uh, went a little too fast. <laughs> went a little too fast, and I wasn't expecting it to die that quickly. Uh, Mike Brew at $2. This game needs Obelisk the Tormentor. Oh, man. That would be a crossover if I've ever seen one. <laughs> Love the enthusiasm. Mike make it happen. Just make it happen. I, my, my goal right now is to try to make CG let me play their game. Your goal could be at Obelisk the Tormentor. Then we could be on the same page. Uh, why did I quit? I didn't want to knock him down. And I did I knock him down, please? I think I maybe maybe I backed out in time. God, I am so good at this game. Look at that. Quick trigger fingers. God, I got spicy fingers right now. Look at that. I almost knocked him down. I stopped it just in time. Nice. Why did I finish battle? So keep in mind, if I play the battle, I knock my opponent down. 
and then my opponent's got to climb over me it's it's just a hassle and we're trying to have fun testing it it adds unnecessary amount of time and he's got to waste an attempt to try to climb over me so that's why i i back out of battles in squad arena for convenience and being able to just attack the same person over and over again and grand arena i guess what i've been getting this question a lot I'm like oh why'd you back out the battle and grand arena if you're losing by a large margin you likely don't want to leave the team preloaded because if you lose the battle the enemy team is preloaded with their turn meter their cooldowns reset and all that stuff. it turns nasty really fast so there's certain reasons here i just don't want to knock my opponent down all right um yeah we beat sierra i don't know if i can promise you can beat that she's anti-daze inside of um grand arena but you know we got through it i guess all right uh trigger fingers turn to twitter fingers you know how it goes you know how it goes greg leaves <sighs> i man I, I feel like i should be putting the seven stars just I mean, I think the point was made. Hopefully the point was made. If I say it's three-star viable, I don't have to hear, oh, but you're showing seven-star gameplay. I just want to put there for the record. It was probably, I will do a seven-star just so I can appease everyone. Or like, you know, we did three-star for one half. I'll do seven stars for the other half. I just want to put it out there. For me playing, maybe hopefully you guys sing. Oh yeah, CLS. Yes, please, CLS. Uh, like CLS, I think this might be a battle where a three-star might be inadequate. This is against CLS. She can get nuked right away. Can you put in? Yeah, that's a great call. I, for, I keep forgetting about CLS. But hopefully, at least from what we've seen so far, initial impressions, banger character, Moff Gideon is very usable. I see myself finally using troopers for high level stuff inside of Grand Arena again against Tuskins, Phoenix, possibly Zori teams. Um, that's hard to see for Admiral Radis and Sierra Junda. But otherwise, these are teams that General Veers and Iden just could not keep up with. And that's what I'm trying to get at. The Remnant team is finally usable. Only downside is Dark Trooper is being used. But as CG said, eventually Beskar game is going to come. Dark Trooper is going to get replaced back into Veers. And um, uh, yeah, who knows what the Gideon team is going to look like. Maybe it's going to be something like this. And then they just add like a fifth new unit. Then we put Moth Gideon back somewhere else. This is, this is kind of a temporary team until you get Gideon. Yeah. Does this then break the Veers team? If you go this way, yeah. Again, everyone's like, you know... Like, what was it the other day? Uh, oh, people were really mad that I didn't rank Padme high enough. And it, it depends. I mean, this whole game is about perspective. It's about proximity to where you are. Like, for me, I kind of forget I have Padme. She's not really used all that much, except, you know, she's on a Kenobi team. People are like, no, she's easily top five character. Like, oh, I don't know about top five. But for some people, Padme's fantastic, depending on where they are. For where I am, I can't use Veers. I just, I go through most Grand Arenas, never using Imperial Gyms, maybe except for a cleanup situation. So for me, I, I'm not crying over spilt move milk that I'm probably not using Dark Trooper Veers for the time being. Eventually, they claim that Dark Trooper is going back on Veers, right? Uh, but again, we're probably, we'll are probably we probably do some testing. We'll see when I... Like, I don't... Like, right now, we're winning most of our battles. I don't know when I want to switch up the lead. I'm kind of just taking remnants through all the different stuff. So we'll have to wait and see. But I do understand that lower echelons of grand arena you probably would like to keep veers because veers is still high available on my free to play account i'm always using veers right on my main account i'm not using veers nearly as much except for cleanup scenarios i'm gonna do a three star against the celest team and then we'll do a um a seven star right after so i guess it just really depends yeah seven star capabilities will be far greater i'm gonna have to disagree with you on that there we go we got the revive at seven stars she'll be a little bit thicker which just already looks fairly good durability wise her, her, her assist isn't going to hurt a lot more. Her cleansing's not going to do any better at seven stars. Support characters are very weird. And this is those few situations where you can maybe make something work at low stars. She'll be faster. I, I'm just telling you guys straight up. Yes, she's going to be better on papers mathematically. I can't even tell if she's low stars. Let's go send it on over here. Like, oh, I'd love to do this thing. Like, tell me in what world a seven star scout is going to do this better. <laughs> Like, look at that. That's a three star. She's not going to do any better at seven stars. Her assist is going to hit just the, the, the same amount. But yeah, look at this, man. This is good. This is pretty solid so far. All right, let's go ahead. What's the terminator situation looking like? Uh, can I maybe? Ooh, I can either. You know, I'll pull back there. Let's pull back some terminator, I think. I could have maybe pumped terminator there. Yeah, I probably should have pumped her. That's probably a bad play on my part. Look, look at that. Seven, uh, three star. She barely took a tickle there. Drop the death mark on him. Uh, let's see if we can just uh, get some offense up. There we go. Drop that down. Like, you see what I'm getting at? 
I mean, this is, I mean, besides a couple misplays here, like this was really easy. Very easy. Here, let's just pump some turn meter. Uh, do a buff this spell there. And give me a stun. Like, I, like I, I, I can almost guarantee if I started the stream and I didn't show you what gear level I was at, you guys would think she was at seven stars. Like 100%. You guys would not know unless I showed you. Like, look at that. Look how easy that was. Look how easy that was. Like, if I do seven stars, we're not going to notice anything different. <laughs> Dash's damage was, well, yeah, Dash is different. Even though he was, you got to read the kit. There's, you know, you got to read the kit, understand how it works and what the purpose of it. Dash, he shouldn't be a support tier. Let's be honest. Like most, like if I saw him, it's like, oh, he's an attacker. He's support, which is weird. Yeah, so Dash was a bit different. Yeah, Dash, he's kind of one of those characters. Like you definitely want him at higher stars, uh, preferably. But um, most supports, they have low star viability. Yeah. Uh... It's just, yeah, you have to agree to stuff. Yeah, I'm just saying, like, she didn't die. She ate up a few hits. I think it really helps to demoralize, really shuts down the damage, which makes your three-star character. Look, they, they lost 50% damage, 25% critical damage. So, like, that's, that right there really helps your three-star characters kind of stick around. Love the channel, man. Appreciate it. I'm glad you're enjoying yourself. Yeah, it's like, I'm just having a hard time pulling this trigger. It's like, I could do seven stars, but I can't go back to three stars anymore. You know what I'm saying? Man. She's not, she's not needed at seven stars. I don't know, except for Leia. I'm just, she's got plenty of speed. She gets plenty of Terminator. She's got stealth. She's got all this other fantastic stuff. <sighs> like, do we, do we, do we, do we do, do we do seven stars? Do seven, please. All right, we'll, we'll do the, all right, I'll do a seven star. And then I'm just going to tell you, I'm going to be disappointed. It's like, oh, wow, it feels the same. <laughs> you know? Fight. Oh yeah. Let's ask for um, Master Kenobi. Can you put... There we go. Yeah. I'm just, you know, it's a great thing. It's a great thing that she's low star viable. I'm just, I'm just a little perplexed why people are, they, 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 you want to see the seven stars. Like, I'm so happy. Like, I'm going to take her to seven stars. We'll see it in Grand Arena before the lock in and stuff like that. I'll take her to seven stars and all Income that fun stuff. Donation. But it's like, uh, man, she's, she's, she's banger at three stars, man. Yeah. Because we live vicariously through you. Oh, again, I'll take her to three stars, but like, don't you want to see, like, she's not going to stay at three stars after today. Likely she'll be put to seven stars right away. So I can have her for, because I want her at seven stars for Grand Arena. Uh, but man, yeah, this is, it's such a good character. It's such a good character. Like, I remember there was days we would always celebrate. It's like, yeah, three stars only. Screw the seven stars. Now it's like, no, give me the seven stars. <laughs> yeah. If you're Relic Niner and she beat Jabba. Ooh, that would be interesting. I don't think, again, I don't think any relics make that amount of difference here. All right. It's like, I'm really, I'm trying so hard to find that battle. It's like, yes, I need a seven star scout. But right now, oh, oops, that's not the right team. Uh, uh, where is he at? There he is. Okay, so you got Padme on there. All right. What was the name of the previous song? That was uh, Operator by Mega Drive. There you go. It was a little too, uh, a little too dark for my, my, uh, my feels for right now. Travis Kissling, nine months. Relic seven for Leia. Feels like a waste for, yeah, it, you gotta have it for Leia. But like, I'm just telling you right now, at least in the context of Gideon, maybe you need a seven star for Veers and the other stuff. But in the context of Gideon, man, she's, I can't even tell. There's so much health. Like, yeah, you know, I think that's what the thing is. If you're gonna use a Veers, you're not gonna get the 30% max health. You're not going to get 30% max protection and all these other lovely bonuses, the additional offense and extra <laughs> health and protection. So I think that's when you probably will feel that seven, three stars is inadequate. Um, but yeah, she's, he's pretty, I can't, it's hard to tell. It's hard to, it's hard to tell if I really need it. All right, here we go. So we'll try this out real quick and see what it's like. Stay at three stars as long as possible. Gee, there we go. Music and Acker for coming in with that six months. Cheering on the three-star viability. <sighs> Let's see how it goes. So the good thing is here we have the revives. Um, the only downside is, though, we're, we're not really going to have... Uh, you can't control Turbiter, right? There, we'll do it anyways. Okay. All right. The more ways out. Gary gets revived. All right. Okay. All right. Ooh. A little painful at the moment and uh, let's see if, um, this doesn't really matter too much we kind of got and yeah, we'll get a cleanse in here i guess this there we go hey cool we got a hit there all right 
Mm, 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 mm. Just do basic. We can't get Terminator. We don't need the other things. Just do basic. All right. Yeah, sure, do that. That might help out mildly. Okay, let's see if we can. Ooh, this could be helpful. Check this out. That's not bad. All right, Gideon comes back. All right. And he's gone. Yeah, I don't know. For those that don't know, before there was Commander Tano, Gideon was kind of a softish counter to Kenobi. Give it a. Once you get Commander Tano, it's kind of a different beast at that point. It really is. So. And again, this has, this has nothing to do with... Look, she's at three stars. She's at full health, full protection. I don't think it's going to make much of a difference. And uh, seven stars. Yeah, just Commander Tano's kind of the kicker right there. <laughs> seven star could have beaten that 100%. All right, I'm not going to waste too much time on Kenobi with Cat. Uh, yeah, Cat just... She's, she's nuts. Can you... Oh, man, all right. Let's, I'm going to put up a new poll. Do you guys want to keep doing more Gideon stuff? I mean, at this point, let me pull up my graphic for the teams in the game. Just so we can see what we've beaten so far. And see if we maybe want to pivot to Veers and maybe Aiden. And maybe so we don't have to wait another day. Uh, let me see. What am I looking for? Oh, yeah. Teams rank. All right. Let me see here. All right. Teams ranked. Definitely time to update it a little bit. There's, not, there's been a couple teams since the last time I made this video. Okay, so uh, I mean, I'm actually I'm very surprised how easy the Commander Luke battle was. That was actually very impressive. All right, so let's do a little recap, and then we'll decide if we want to maybe try some other leads. CLS, crazy easy battle. Like, that was super easy. Uh, Malgus, it's really hard to gauge. I mean, you know, I think you try to beat Malgus. I don't think it's just if I do beat him, it's like it's kind of a different team here. I do want to try this out because we know Veerus cannot beat that team. Maybe Gideon could? I don't know. Uh, let's see. So we gas, eh, we piecemeal it. CLS, complete banger. Zori, we had a very easy time beating her today. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. Other standard teams. We didn't fight Dash in our. I don't suspect we'd have a hard time against Dash, though. Admiral Raddus, we barely made it out alive, and they did have no bays in there. Sana Stars would be interesting. Uh, we beat Incoming. beating Tusk is kind of a big deal. We beat Sierra Juniva. Yeah, what can we really learn from something like that without an Omicron? Um, full team with Malik, yes, please. All right. I mean, we kind of beat like like a lot of the top shelf stuff. So I guess here, let's let's open up a new poll, and let's see. Is the Zeta? Hey, I gotta say, I, I'll be honest. I kind of applied the Zetas without, without reading. I was too busy talking to you guys. Here, let's get a new poll. Um, but like, I can promise you this. Scout Trooper is not going to help Veers beat um, the Tuscans. It's, it's, it's not going to really happen. Um, you know, maybe you could beat Phoenix teams, stuff like that. But here, let's do this. Um, what? to do next with scout trooper this is great yeah i gotta reread him i'll be honest i forgot i just kind of did it more i didn't verse you only thing i honestly the only thing i'm very interested in if i is just seeing how she does against one but we can't we can't figure it out right now we gotta wait we gotta wait all right all right so there we go let's go ahead and pop that in there Two. You're going to be hella easy. Um, I mean, yeah, I, I don't know. I honestly don't know. I feel like I, I feel like that actually might be a struggle because of all the buff the spells and buff immunity. It could be a bit of an issue. Maybe, maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe, maybe, maybe not. Maybe not. Good news is I'm only in 100 crystal refreshes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we'll have to wait and see. Yes, I, I'm not too sure how that would work. Oh my gosh, I'm so far behind, by the way. Um... Morokai Volkun. I'm, I'm going to see if I can try to multitask here. And I can't. But I'll try. Morokai Volkun, 14 months. Love this new character. Love the stream. And I'm happy to have you here. And I'm glad you're enjoying yourself. It's fantastic to see her. She's doing amazing stuff. So we can't remove Turn Meter. This is kind of an issue. <laughs> We're going to make our lives a lot more difficult. But I need the pre taunt. So let's get the taunt up. <laughs> oh, yeah. Slash Dragon 9 the 49. Grand Admiral. I got a question to answer. Can Ewoks beat the GL trash as Lord Vader? 
Not that I could tell, but I would welcome it. If that was something possible, I would 100% welcome that. But nothing that I'm too aware of. Oh, this is a bit rough. Uh, I guess I can call in Death Trooper for the assist. It's not going to really help me out a ton. Yeah, uh, buff the spells. Okay, I don't know. Let's see. There's no... We don't have any... Uh, hmm. We don't have any... What's it called? The, 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 the talent on this team, so... Oh, wow. Barely a tickle. Yikes. Yikes. Mm, 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 mm. Here, do a buff the spell. Okay. There you go. Let me see what I can do here. Do a basic. Okay. I mean, we're definitely, like, surviving, which is nice. Here, let's even get maybe an armor shred over here. Okay. However, we definitely know that the Moralize is helping us out quite a bit. Let's do a buff the spell. Nice. Ah, we got to get around that. That sucks. Mm, let's do that. Can't stop. Good. That does a whole lot of nothing on Dark Trooper. Here we go. Let's do a... Ooh, I definitely need an AoE. Okay. Can we try to get... Ooh, come on. Let me get that Bastila. Come on, let me get that Bastila. Ooh, that's going to hurt us for a minute. That's going to hurt. The good news is we haven't used any revives yet. Uh, they're kind of rolling over me right now. Stuck. All right, Dark Trooper. Uh, the only thing is Dark Trooper cannot revive, so that's a bit of an issue. And without Dark Trooper, I don't know how this is going to feel. Eesh. Eesh. And there goes our girl. There she goes. Oh, come on. Let's see. Can we finish her off? Yeah, they're rolling us at this point. Too much fear. You know, they survived longer than an Imperial Trooper team, so I guess that's that's something. <laughs> but hey, I, I'm not seeing this pity mail. I was just mildly curious. All right. Grievous. All right, fine. Grievous. We'll revisit the poll. See what people are saying. I just... I don't know, man. I, 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 I'm, here's what I'm going to say. I'm glad I didn't open up with Iden Versu because I feel like people say, oh, this character's trash, yada, yada. yada. I don't know if we're really going to see anything that amazing with... Scout Trooper with Aiden. The only thing I'm interested in is, can she shut down Wampa? But you're not going to see that until we get into the, the, the Grand Arena Hemispheres. Uh, here, all right. So we'll back out of this. I'll do a quick Grievous team. And probably for Aiden and Veers, I think you are going to need seven stars. I don't think she's going to be great at three stars on Aiden and Veers. All right. Let's try Grievous. Okay. Yeah, so we'll try Grievous here, but I don't... I think we got to be probably... We gotta readjust our expectations. Crusader Souls plays. Oh, okay. Plays the Darth Vader at 126. All right, so I gotta climb up a little bit, which I. <laughs> I hate climbing on my free to play because I gotta do SL Caramir matches. And these are always a massive pain in my booty. It always. Oh, someone's. Well. Someone wants to make my life more complicated. So now I gotta wait for some of the battle me, and then we'll. I'll try it again in a minute here. And they, they, someone just. <laughs> okay, I just wanna put out. There's someone in the chat. That is definitely trolling me. Number one, no one plays Squadron. Number two, the fact that they specifically targeted me out of a wide range of folks. Someone's joshing with me here. Oh, yeah, I have to gear up. Oh, yeah, I don't want to gear her up on the free-to-play count. Yeah, guys, I don't know. I'll be honest. I don't know if I want to gear her up. I have to save my gear for other stuff. Uh, God, seriously, someone had to really... You, you, you're a jerk, whoever that was. You're a jerk. Hey, yo. I got 174. I don't know if this is the person. What's cooking, girlfriend? Ayo! Drop it right down there. Thank you so much, baby. Dang. Oh, the see you. You're fine. Right there. Oh, it's Kylo. Everyone said they love you, Kylo. Oh, Kylo. You're going to be shy now? All right, let me see. If I can get the gear eight. But, like, I don't know. Like, who do I replace out of my Veers team? You know, like, I feel like my Imperial Trooper team. Kylo, I still. You don't need to be shy. You're being shy now. Come on. I know. There's my cut. <laughs> yeah. You crazy man. Crazy man. But the good thing is if I, if I, my YouTube channel dies, we'll just start one for Kylo. People like him more than me anyways. <laughs> so here's the issue I'm having here. So, all right. So this is my, my, this is my, like, where am I putting Scout Trooper? You know what I mean? I don't know. The more I look at this, I, I don't really know. Yeah, like, I, I don't see Scout Trooper better than Veers than a Range Trooper. You know what I'm saying? Um, it's like, I, I, I like my Gideon. I guess take out Range Trooper? I, I, yeah, I don't know. Um, yeah, I'm actually kind of perplexed. I don't know. 
I feel like range is more useful than uh yeah yeah scout trooper here let's unlock her real quick yeah I'll see how far I could take her I don't want to waste unnecessary gear because uh, I got a lot more important stuff to do right now if I you know can I put a Gideon team together that would be pretty interesting let's see if I can do we got Gideon we have dark trooper we, uh, yeah we don't really have a, a great remnant we got death trooper in here all right here, let's unlock her real quick there we go three two one let's do it yeah range is yeah that's what i'm saying i don't know i think we might be overthinking of i mean yeah i mean you could use her with veers but like you have to say all right who am i pulling out at that point wait are there not three stars hold on am i missing something is there another tier i didn't play okay i was like oh boy what, what happened no more three stars here we go send that in real quick all right we're gonna do a quick grievous team just to see if uh here we go quick grievous and then i i guess we could do some veers and one i just i'm not quite seeing well, who is she replacing all right let's send this in real quick all right let him do that marquee bet real quick it is out of other uses not on my let's see again it's relative right Re everyone's got a different point in their life cycle for me i still have use for my um gideon here and my free to play account i don't really have any other place to use my gideon so it's all relative to where you are i guess here we go let's do that let's see if that can there we go hey it's a nice days oh that's it's really nice landing those days there we go look at that that's good that's great pop that oh man that days is killer yeah the days probably really shuts this down for good pop that look at that she ate up a grievous aoe all right so let's see if she can survive a bit longer like this might be a battle where she could be a bit more helpful at higher stars all right she's got a revive coming in what's she looking like oh we're looking really good right now let's see if we can i need to get my taunt up is what i need uh do that okay do the basic all right there we go get our taunt up good 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 let's see if we Ooh, death mark on grievous he's gonna cleanse that though uh, let's do death mark droidica oh or just straight up kill it it's like right there you probably could get a bit more use out of a uh out of a seven star scout trooper 100 percent i don't know if that's gonna make a difference in his battle but uh you know it's, it's uh, something to consider all right let's go here drop an armor shred here all right i need my dark trooper to get his stacks back okay all right gideon's got a revive gary taunting good stuff do some of that do some more of that all right all right boy gary's eating up the heat that's for sure let's go uh get some turn meter give me a daze got a daze there we go but it's gonna get cleansed unfortunately Oof. Oof. getting a little rough out here i need to see if there's an easier way <sighs> All right, what I, I think the way to do is I need to try to get death mark. Yeah, but I, I don't know if a seven star would have made a difference here. Yeah. Why aren't they demoralized? Well, Gideon, so when Gideon dies, you lose demoralized. He's got to take another turn, I believe, to get uh, demoralized again. If you wanted to do Veer, says Max Strong, the 5k Bacons. Uh, let's go to replace Piet with her. She does his job. And her Neek turns off when he's there. Oh, man. Piet and not inside of a Veer team just sounds disgusting sounds disgusting um i mean we could try i don't know yeah I, I, it depends if here all right let's see real quick let's see yeah i don't know oops i don't want to do it again I, I didn't love the event that much no 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 all right let's go ahead hop on over i'll gear up a little bit i just i i'm i'm not expecting like a c parting experience in a veers team like there's a c parting experience in pure remnants 100 percent. but like with veers he's just you know there's a lot of cooks when you when you don't have to worry about impairments there's a lot of cooks in the veers kitchen i don't know if she's gonna elevate things to the standard that we we're seeing with uh gideon uh where's she at all right let's see how far can i gear up and uh, there the other problem is i don't want to give up zetas on her oh uh, let's see let's see how high can i take her all right so the good thing is you don't need high troopers to really get the job done so, okay okay you can get the gear eight all right let's check to make sure we're not giving up anything too valuable 
You know, because I can always use troopers for something, right? There's always use for them somewhere in my free-to-play account. All right, so pyrotics. That's we're going to get locked in there. All right, uh, I'll put this other stuff on. Okay. There we go. Carbonti. Oh, oh, didn't want to do that. That was too much crafting. Okay. All right. All right, let's upgrade these abilities. All right, so yeah, so, you know... I could definitely utilize her at lowest stars. Uh, we definitely want the uh, offense up, I think. All right, let's check this out. Uh, see, Omegas are such a grind right now for my free to play count. I'm going to skip it for right now. That's great. We want that daze. Uh, and yeah, so that's the issue. This does not help me out much. So like this Zeta, if you're not running Gideon, you can skip out at it, but if you are going to run Gideon, which I am, that Zeta is 100% necessary right there. Yeah, in those days, it's going to be a bit smelly. Oh, shoot. Eh, that's fine. That wasn't Zetas. Okay, we're fine. Yeah, so like all this stuff, like, yeah, I'm not running an Imperial Remnant team on my free-to-play. Yeah, so, I mean, this is... So, yeah, I think it really just comes down to... If you, if you don't see yourself using an Imperial Remnant team, just completely skip out on the Zetas. For me... Yeah, hold on. Yeah, no, you, you know, you, you can't release... No, you... No, 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 no. Yeah, so who was it that was recommending... Um, so, yeah, Max, I don't think you can... No, so you, well, your suggestion of pulling out Piet, it wouldn't work because you only get Emperor's Trap if the allied leader is an Imperial run. So it has to be Moff Gideon. Yeah. And other allies use Emperor's Trap. Yeah, so that's not, not going to work out. Yeah, you, you, the Emperor's Trap only works if it's no... If it's Gideon lead and there's no Piet on the team. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, there we go. <laughs> there, Max Strong following up. Yeah, Chad immediately pointed out I was wrong. Yeah, it took me a moment to reread it. So yeah, so, so these Zetas, I guess in the Bryce, if you don't use Gideon lead, uh, you can skip out on all the Zetas on this team here. Uh, sure. Yeah, I don't know. I am, uh, I'm not expecting anything too impressive right now. But here, we'll try it out. We'll go into that squad arena, throw on some whatever mods I could find. We had a... Oh gosh, I gotta like jump around again. I should have not jumped around they were like 176 or something or 174 there it is so all right well here veer do you 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 throw on some sort of mods on her what do we got uh, okay all right Yeah, I don't know. I don't really have I don't really have quite the mod selection here as I do my main account. Despite the theories that I spend five hundred dollars a week on my free to play account for mods. Unfortunately, I hate to disappoint, that is not the case here. Give me some speed. What do we got? Oh boy, all my speed mods are practically being used. Yes, yeah, whatever. Whatever I can find, we throw it on. Okay, alright. Shoof. Ooh. Gee, yeah, these aren't really gee, whatever. Throw that on and da, 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 da. sure level that up. That's a horrible use of my credits right there. Cause that mod ain't going nowhere anytime soon. We got a potency mod. I can we throw on here? Uh, protection, offense, accuracy. All right. Well, you know what? I'm not quite seeing what I need, so just do that. Give me some speed, unassigned preferably. And let me see what we can do. There we go. 237. Yeah, I don't know. I, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I don't want to be the bearer of bad news. I don't see how Scout Trooper is going to elevate Veers. I mean, yes, I'm sure I could be, win this battle still. But man, pulling out Range Trooper kind of feels bad. You know what I mean? Uh, YouTube has a voice. Don't think you should look into it, man. I feel like that's just asking for trouble. <laughs> Anytime I've seen, I've seen that, but anytime I've seen someone uh, utilize it, it, I feel like it gets abused more than used, if you know what I mean. All right, let's unequip that. All right, here we go. Send that on in. All right, what else we got? Um, Mr. Squirrel's $2. Bug, is she doing 75% less damage in, on call assist? Well, she's only at three stars, so I'll be honest, I haven't been paying attention to her damage at all, because that's not what she's all about. Um, but maybe I'll try to pay closer attention. All right. I mean, to be honest, you can probably three man. <laughs> Some Darth Revan teams. There we go. Can I get another assist? There you go. All right. Let's go. 
Yeah, I guess get rid of HK while we're at it. All right, and we could do an assist here. This is cool. You know, that's nice. An extra, you don't know. No, you know what I should have done? I should have targeted Piet for the assist, who in turn, ooh, I think that it would work that way, right? Yeah, if I did, I probably should redo that. All right, over here. Okay. There we go. Almost there. Okay, just drop basics. Almost there. And... Yeah, I, don't, I, I really don't know. Yeah, I, I I do want to redo this battle, and I just, I'm curious to see if I would have called Piet for the assist, if that would have been a better use of my assisting power right there. Here we go. Drop it. Bada bing, bada boom. Got some fear in the room. Hey, she survived. That's something, right? There we go. Mark down Dark Trooper again. Nicely done. Yeah, here, uh, I'm going to let my thing reset. We'll come back. I'm just curious to see how that would have worked out. Yeah, I don't know if we're really going to see much. I, like, she makes such a big deal for Gideon, but I'm not sure if we're really going to see the same uh, level of action. But here, we're going to do a seven star. We're going to do one more Grievous battle real quick, and then we'll try some other stuff. It's a fine fit for Veers. Is it better than range Gideon? Probably not. Uh, I mean, I guess if you're not using Gideon, I guess you could put it in there. But here we go. Finally, I made you guys wait long enough. I'll take her to seven stars. We did a lot. We did a lot at the low stars today. So I think the point was made. Very low star, but at least of Gideon. I just, uh, like, I'm just trying to think. I don't, I'm not quite seeing where... Ooh, you know what? I, I Before we change leads, I do want to try Sana Staros in a second. Yeah, I'm just not seeing, like... <laughs> Like, what is she going to do for Veers that the, the beat stuff they can't beat? The stuff they can't beat are things like we already went over. Tuskins, uh, Sir Jundas, and all that stuff. I don't think she's going to help us in that regard. Just, yeah, I don't know. I'm actually kind of, uh, I'm kind of, uh, Veers versus Lord Vader. There you go. But again, like, what is she going to do that's better than using range? Gideon or hell, even Iden Versio. I, that's the thing. I'm, I'm not, I'm not... I mean, the cleanse, I guess maybe just the... No, you, you can't even get the cleanse. Did they change that, by the way? I could have sworn the kit reveal. It said the spell deals on all allies, and there was no Imperial Remnant Clause. Here, let me check this. Let me find my video real quick. Did they change this? Uh, where's my Remnant kit? Oh, here we go. All right, where was the kit reveal? Oh, they changed it. Yeah. See, I, I I remember. They changed it. This is this again further my point. I think they really wanted to stay with Imperial Remnant. See, look at this. See, I was like, something feels off. I could have sworn in the kit reveal, so they kind of nerfed her. They they rebalanced her. Before it was just the spell all deals on all it was a mass, it was a deep up cleanse for all allies, not even for Imperial Troopers only. So now they changed it where one, it's only for Imperial Troopers, and secondly. You have, I mean, I guess that's, you, have, you just have to have the leader be Remnant. So technically, if you want, you could do Gideon lead with like Lobot, Ugnaught, and she'll cleanse. But yeah, they they really, wow. Yeah, I, I was like, something feels off. Yeah, so check that out. So they did nerf her a little bit. So the, yeah, I don't think she's so, she's not even gonna work with Veers as a cleanser. Huh, they tested her, there you go. <laughs> Maybe they saw, oh crap. Maybe uh, this is beating Lord Vader a little too easily. Yeah, okay. Yeah, the more I'm looking at this, I don't know what I want to do with Scout Trooper and Veers. Like, if I had the cleanse, I'd be like, all right, I'm seeing it. I'm seeing it. So they did the testing. They did testing. I can almost guarantee you someone spotted, oh, crap, this is dunking on Lord Vader, and that would have been a big issue for them. Come on, Lord Vader's already getting his butt kicked by so many things. We don't need another way of making Lord Vader go to shame. She has what? She has um, Triverse. Oh, I don't think you're going to... You gotta remember, I was lucky enough to find someone that was there. I don't think you're gonna find a lot of Zoris on my free-to-play squad arena server. It's just, it's, it's too impractical. I, I'm lucky to hear. What's that person's name at 174, uh, was it? What was that person's name? Yeah, once if her Vader 0207. Yeah, again, I, as much as I wish I could test on a free play account, it's just, it's borderline impractical. Can I not even, I don't think I can check their roster. 
Yeah, I don't think I could check the roster. So yeah, yeah. Uh, trust me, if, if it was a my control, you'd be able to play with your friends with your new toys and all that other stuff. But CG and their infinite wisdom, they, they they forgot what the purpose of the game was, and and that is to interact and hang out with friends and play with friends. They seem to forgot that memo, even though it's the second part of their name. Uh, here, I'll see if maybe I can find it on line Vader 0207. Uh, let's see. Do they have Zori? They have 5 million GP. Do they got Zori? They have Master Kenobi, so they might have it. It does not look like they have Zori up and running. So, yeah. Yeah, it, it's it's annoying. Yeah, I wish I could set that up. Yeah, it's right there. You're not clicking. I don't think it works that way. No, you can't. You can't. You can't click on their name and see their roster. The only way you can do is if you go to ranks, then you click on them. Here, you can't. You can't do it. So I just looked it up. Yeah, you can. I'm, I'm literally clicking on it. It's not doing anything. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, just saying Logan has a 50% hold rate in GAC. Anytime someone says that, I don't mean to be me. Anytime someone specifically just looks at win rates, I, I, I say you're not understanding the full picture involved. That's the thing. Uh, so, just saying Lover has a 50% win rate doesn't take into consideration number one, Datacrons. Number two, it's a galactic legend. And at worst, people are strategically setting themselves up, getting through Lord Vader without a galactic legend. Numbers have meaning behind it. You know, if it was maybe 50% win rate up against Knights, says, yeah, that's not good. Context matters and what's going on, who you're fighting, what's being used. So, when I see 50% win rate on Lord Vader, that's not a good thing for Lord Vader. That means people are getting through him without a galactic legend in a very easy, and at worst case scenario, two non-galactic legend, non-legendary type of teams. Yeah, so anytime I see that, I don't think they understand what numbers mean in the context of a galactic legend. Yeah. So, uh, and yeah, and you gotta keep in mind, that's with a very good Datacron for Lord Vader. With no Datacrons, Lord Vader, it's like it's an extremely high success rate. I think it's Lord Vader. So anyways, we're not getting into the statistics of that, but I just, I see that comment a lot. Oh, Lord Vader, it's like, you don't understand what that number means. Yeah, that's the, that's the issue that we got here. Um, what else we got here? Um, my raid hot. Oh, he's not great on my free to play account. Yeah, I, I don't know. I think I, I, I'm not going to overstress it enough. I don't think there's really much I could do on the free to play account. But here, let's, uh, I'll take her to seven stars. Um, here, let me, uh, let's do this. Uh, I'll be honest, I'm not really eager for seven star testing. What do the numbers mean, Arnold? What do they mean? It, it always depends. When you tell me a win rate, it's like, all right, it, what team does that mean? Is that like a resistance team? Because yeah, that means that's, that's, that's really good for resistance. But when you tell me it's a galactic legend and someone's using a non-GL thing versus that's not good. <laughs> that, so numbers have meanings behind them. There's context and all that fun stuff. So anytime someone tells me, it doesn't tell me anything except that they don't understand the context of win rates and galactic legends. Like when you look at Kenobi, you're not gonna find a Fennec Shan 50% win rate against Kenobi. The point is there are too many off meta ways of getting through Lord Vader very easily. Whereas Kenobi, there's not a lot of ways. And oddly enough, for some reason, CG thought it was okay to stop the Knight Sisters against Jabra, or they're looking into it, which kind of blows my mind. I'm really surprised, even though Night Sisters, even with them having a decent data card right now, and they have a lower win rate than the Fennec versus Lord Vader, they want to look into and possibly nerf that, which kind of boggles me a little bit. So, yeah, I, I, it kind of perplexed me a little bit. Yeah, I don't know how, why they do it like that. Reva, yeah, but Reva is a mini Galactic Legend, so that's, that's different. Reva is a mini Galactic Legend. Reva could also beat Lord Vader, so the point's kind of, you know, it's a bland point to point out there. Reva beats pretty much every Galactic Legend in the game. So that's, but Fennec is, here's Reva. Fennec's kind of like down here. It's kind of a big gap is what I'm trying to say. So I, I hear it, trust me, I know every argument there is about Lord Vader. For me personally, I don't think people understand the context. I think they're, they're grasping for straws. They don't want to accept the fact that Lord Vader, for the cost that he is, most expensive Galactic Legend, which I'm glad we've been, we're going down from requirements instead of up. I was worried they were gonna keep bumping the requirements. Lord Vader, the most expensive Galactic Legend, he does not warrant it. And that's, it's even assuming with Mom. Anyways, we know my opinion on Lord Vader, and we know I'm 100% right, because I'm always right. And also we have the Mega Summer Smash hit, the multi-platinum song that everyone knows. You probably hear it on the radio 500 times a day. Let's go ahead.
I kept you guys waiting long enough. I want to say before we start getting into this, Lover at three stars. You're going to get use out of it. But I did title stream a seven star unlock. So, <laughs> promise you at least do some seven star testing. What's in the All right, babe. Who's your Here we go. We're going to the Relic 7. Like me. All for Galactic Legends Leia, baby. We're going to the Tiffany Tiffany Top. Well, it's not quite Tiffany Top because there's eight and nine, but we're stopping at seven. Come Keep it coming. A little, a little bit more. Till you Let's go, baby. Nah, no, we're not the one. Not today, baby. Not today. Let's see here. Oh, yeah. My favorite part. Hold on. All right. One way or another. Keep pushing. What do I do with that card? Then give me those three wacky numbers. Everyone, put your three wacky numbers in the chat. The no, best. okay. Don't put your three wacky numbers in the chat. That was my brain just saying stupid stuff. Just like the rest. So take my All right, hand. we should be good. Bada bing, bada bong. Easy. <laughs> there comes those three wacky numbers. To get another upgrade. All right, almost there. Keep pushing, man. But I finally have the seven star unlock. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, it doesn't feel good. I, I can use her at low stars, but I'm gonna bump her up a little bit. And uh, yeah, I'll just be honest. Now that now that I realize they nerfed her, I don't quite know what I want to do with her in a non-imperial remnant situation. They really boxed her in a lot more than her kit originally was intended to. We're gonna go speed set, potency set, and hopefully. Everyone gets the point. If you're running a remnant team, I definitely see low star viability here. Uh, I don't know how I would replace other characters in a Veers team though at the moment. Here, let's keep the mods here. Give me that, sure. Give me some potency. There we go. Fantastic potency mod right there. And let's go take some of that off there. Let's just, sure, give me that mod there. I'm just crazy. It's like, it's. Cr I didn't even put great mods on her. She was not really well mod, but look how fast she is now. I don't know, man. I'm happy she's used about low stars. I have arrived to surprise Goblin 2. $5. I have arrived. Tremble before my supreme idiocy. Also, my wacky numbers are so wacky. I have four of them. 69, 69. I'll double check that and let you know if I was able to make some withdrawals on your accord. But thank you so much for putting it out there. Great Avenue here. We have the Optimus of the $1. Thank you so much. Celebrate first super chance. Come on. How good is she so far? Amazing at three stars. Garbage mods. Uh, if you're running Gideon lead, 
she's fantastic uh the problem is uh i don't really see her i, I i'm not really seeing her helping out veers as much as gideon like there's of course there's things you know there's things you know but look all like this is all imperial remnants um yeah she's not gonna get turn meter when there's no imperial. yeah look at this yeah yeah, uh, yeah. If the Allied Lisa has Imperial Remnant, all this happens. So that realistically, her unique ability only has this and that bottom part when she's not in a Gideon too. So that's like, look at all that stuff she's missing out on, you know? Um, so yeah, that's a. Uh, I am interested in holding because she's still hold on. Before I check or leave, will she still be able to? Okay, so the good thing is she doesn't need to be with a Remnant uh, team to get days. So that's gonna help with the wampa so like i do see her probably her second best use is gonna be Aiden, but i can't test it out for you guys unless we uh get wampa in grand arena but i have a feeling that's probably so i think it's gideon number one Aiden two and then veer is probably not gonna benefit too much java c kind of I mean, we could try i don't mind trying out some i, I really think there's not much else to this to come to fruition with the uh veers and stuff like that like it's really hard to figure out who do i pull out all right so let's do this Let's see if maybe a seven star make a better difference here. All right, we got a little bit of that. Okay, cool stuff. All right, let's go. Ah, oh, man, I can't do it over there. That sucks. I was really hoping I can get days on that. Uh, all right, we're gonna do that cleanse. I guess we'll just have to get through you. All right, here comes the cleanse up there. So a little unfortunate. We had a better round last time with a three star. Yeah. I, I'm just, I'm being flat out honest. I'm not feeling a material difference with her at um, seven stars. All right, drop the armor shred there, I guess. Yeah, we're actually kind of getting wreckified at the moment. All right, that should will come back like so. Uh, I'm trying to get rid of this B2 here. All right, what's this looking like here? We need to get some Terminator pump and a thump. But, oh, actually, I need to do this. That's what I need to do. All right, B2's coming in. Yeah, oddly enough, I can beat Zori teams. I can beat the Phoenix. I can beat Tuscans, but I'm having a hard time up against Grievous. And as I said, I don't think seven stars is going to make much of a difference here. <laughs> Three stars did better confirmed. You saw it here first. All right. So that's actually interesting. You know, uh, so maybe this is an attempt I put on defense if Grievous gets, gets, gets through this fairly easily. All right. Uh, I do want to battle one more team. I do want to battle Sano Staros because Sano Staros is very anti-Imperial Trooper. Okay. All right. We're going to try some Sano Staros. Um... Yeah, I, I just, I'm not too sure. What's been on Scout so far? Amazing. Low star, amazing. Probably the best low star. I have to go back. Before, no, I think Zori's the best low star character this year. But she's definitely very viable. Very viable. Yeah. You find Scout Slicks? Yeah, I don't, I think you're going to be disappointed. If you're looking in the, the range of Veers and Aiden, you're probably not going to be blown away. But for me, uh, I mean, you're going to probably see a lot of Gideon action coming from me in the future. Yeah. You wonder if the new Gideon has something baked in to prevent his team from losing Terminator. It's probably gonna be a fundamentally different team. Yeah, I, I, I think it's really tough to say what that future team's gonna look like. But yeah, I have a feeling though, if you were hoping Veers and Aiden were gonna get better, I think you're gonna be disappointed. I'm like, I'm sitting here right now, I'm kind of quiet because I'm like, what do I want to do with them? Uh, if, if we had the cleanse, that would be a huge deal for Aiden, Veers. It's not the case. They really shut down her potential she had. But it probably makes sense. I'm again. I'm guessing it's probably because they, someone did, someone played their game and they saw it in advance. All right, let me see if we can beat this real quick. Seven stars, but I just want to say, enjoy your three star scout if we're gonna use it uh, with her. Get me with her. Uh, I don't think it works that way because she's not light side. I don't think she is. She can't get courage. All right, so let's see. We're gonna. Ooh, this is tough. This is a tough one. If I go for Sana, Kara Dune's gonna start rolling. I think I'm gonna try to get Kara Dune out first. All right. Yeah, we don't want Kara Dune get. We don't want her rolling anytime soon. All right, that's good. Luckily, there's no um, Captain Han on this team. All right. Um, hmm. Kind of wonder if I should maybe. Yeah, let's just take out these tanks because they're gonna get way too much turn meter. Here, pull back their turn meter. Nice. Okay. Cooldown increases. All right. And uh, do we increase his cooldowns? I don't know. Save the buff to sell. Yeah, okay, now things could get a little nasty here. All right. 
buff the spell good nice okay good 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 taunt up let's do some uh oh we got plenty of turns in our side let's do that there we go get yeeted and probably gonna work on that oh eh, i meant to do the daze over there it's fine all right next take a turn and hopefully i can get around her in a moment boom boom okay all right let's do that i guess boom boom ah crap all right well now we gotta do this that's fine eventually we'll take care of her here, give me a daze there we go hey yo man that's nice okay no, yeah, we just gotta wait for her to take a turn. We got, we, listen, we need a good Enfys Nest test. If you can't get through Enfys Nest, you're trash. Here we go, just wait. Just keep waiting. Just keep waiting. Just keep waiting. Just keep waiting. Keep waiting. Keep waiting. Keep waiting. Yeah, I'll do a death mark. And that should do it, right? There we go. Enfys Nest test check. You know me, I would hate to be in a situation where I don't know, let's just hypothetically say I was battling for number one and we were in the tiebreaker round for number one and it'd be heavily embarrassing if I lost by a few points because I got stuck behind Ness using a Galactic Legend. I don't know, let's say Jedi Master Luke Skywalker. That would be awkward, right? Oh, I would hate for that to happen. Just, it's a hypothetical, very unrealistic situation. It's not like I was in that situation before. <laughs> Try versus Reva. You know, okay, do we really want to do... Oh, it looks like, oh, okay. It looks like Gideon took the, took the money. Yeah, 41% Gideon. Okay. Yeah, I hate to say it, but, uh, but I would say keep your eyes peeled out for Iden Versu. I do see Scoutcher being utilized there. That might stop Womp. I'm, I'm going to be very curious about the numbers because not everyone might want to use Gideon lead. I think that's probably we're going to see our secondary use out of him. Okay. Uh, let's try some, uh, let's try Jabba. I don't know. We could try Jabba. All right, well, you know, I'll try a job on maybe to help out a little bit. You know, maybe, potentially. Jamo's trash, you heard the man. <laughs> uh, I kind of, you know what? I'm going to relive my darkest memories right now. I haven't looked at that stream in so long. The pain is just too deep, but I think I've recovered. Uh, number one, Grand Arena. Um, Where is that stream? What stream was the, what was the name of the stream? It was something with, you know, because me and Pimpo, we were battling for number one. Oh man, what was the name of it? Okay, we got Jabba. All right, we got Jabba here. I got to go back and find the name of it. I can't find it off the top of my head. Uh, try for C, well, we'll try both of them. Non-cat JMK. I don't know if that's very practical. We could do it then. I don't use the trash on JMO before Lori. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, well, here's the thing. Jedi Master Luke had a bit of a redeeming arc because at least, again, context. It's like I have people dogging at me for what I said about Inquisitors. Context matters. There was no Reva back then. And Reva obviously took him to a whole different level, right? So that context is like, all right, you know, time changes. You know, something gets better over time. You know, uh, Beskar Mando, there was no Lord Vader. You know, I had no use for him. Beskar Mando then was very useful against Lord Vader. It's like, all right, cool, I have a use for him. Master Luke kind of the same thing. In the context, in the certain realm, yeah, Master Luke was not great compared to the other Galactic Legends, in my opinion. I feel like he was definitely the, the lower the lower dog. But now, he's got Jedi Cal Kestis. He's one of the prime counters for Jedi Master Kenobi and Lord Vader. So yeah, you know, people got to remember, you know, opinions will change depending on the context of new things being added and all that other stuff and you know like, like i'm putting it out here there might be a future where lord vader is going to be like holy cow he's like the must have it hasn't happened yet but it could happen all right let's do some java where's our lord vader versus nest 24-hour loop oh man <laughs> um i'm trying to finish my other more serious projects <laughs> casey with the Fortnite. it's not I, it's not my i have it written down it's just every time I have like, oh, I'd rather do something else. I'd rather do something else. I never got around to it. I mean, I could do it and just use other people's music, but I know how that works. Someone's gonna, someone's gonna get mad at me and all the other fun shit. I guess, uh, anytime I take music that's copyright royalty free, quote unquote, they always mysteriously come around and then they start claiming all my stuff. It's always funny how that works. Anyways, 
Casey, let me take a look at this real quick. So good thing is Scout Trooper got a lot of passes to her again. Only going to work uh, when there's an Imperial Remnant in the lead. Whenever enemy begins their turn, Scout Trooper begins 10% turn. So look at that. Oh, man. Yeah, that's great. That's great. Yeah, they really boxed her into Remnants, it seems like. All right, so we're going to do that. So we can't do any attacks out of turn right now because we have uh, Deadly Bluff on us. All right, I do think this is a battle where a seven star is gonna be helpful because I don't think she would have survived. Boy, we're getting absolutely wrecked right now. Okay, all right. We, okay, we got demoralized on those guys. We do need to get our extra stack going. All right, two stacks. All right, let's see if we can do some of this. There we go. Buff the spell. We're gonna still be stuck back there. All right, that's fine. She'll come back. She'll come back. All right, they're at contract. A little bit unfortunate. Um, hmm. Yeah, we can't get any assisting. You know, that's probably a waste of our time. Yeah, this is looking a little tough right now. We will get her back. Oh, yikes, man. Wow. Everyone got nuked. Yeah. Ah! This makes you appreciate how good. I mean, yes, I know Night Sisters right now are dunking on Jabba, and they likely will get fixed. But once you have Night Sisters off the table, Jabba's a very difficult galactic legend to handle. Um,. Yeah, we're, we're not getting anywhere in there. I bet if I had a three star, she would have survived the Rancor. <laughs> yeah, this is definitely not going well, my friends. My senores, I don't think it's going very well. All right, uh, we'll we could try sit the turtle. I don't know if there's really much reason to take this any further. I, there was like even like a window. It's like, oh, I could have done something a little bit differently. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not too sure. Uh, we have DMP golf for 26 months. Long live the Imperial Run. I'm loving it. I, I actually am a little bummed now that I'm reading, like looking back to what the original kit showed. The original kit, if, if she was able to cleanse, she would have been probably actually very usable Veers and Iden. Anyways, yes, the Imperial Remnants, I'm very happy that they're very good though. Shout out to my alliance. Our wives hates Galaxy of Heroes. <laughs> Keep the good work. You just relic, oh, you just relic, oh, you want me to relic nine scout already? I don't know, man. I'm already feeling dirty taking her to relic seven. Ugh. I would have kept her at three stars forever. All right, let's put sit the turtle in. God, I cannot type for the life of me right now. All right. All right. Did you beat Yeah, We'll try it out. We'll try it out. Lord Vader of Three Vos Nuts. Oh, yeah. Lord Vader of Three Vos is pretty good, but how many people are going to... I think we looked at numbers. I don't know how many people would do that in Grand Arena, though. In Squad Arena? Yeah. Why not? You know, Squad Arena. Who cares? But in Grand Arena... It's kind of a big ask. And I did fight one. I actually, I, like, I remember I was saying, like, oh, I think this is actually really deadly. I, oddly enough, Reva wasn't really much of a complication because I just had Mando disintegrator. It's like, oh, well, there, there goes your whole <laughs> Reva all of a sudden. Yeah, so it, it's good, but I don't know if it's worth... It's weird to say. I feel like literally everyone in the Lord Vader team is a more important <laughs> member than Lord himself. Maul, really important. Thrawn or Darth Vader, really important. Reva, yeah. Um... Yeah, I think we looked at the data while ago. I, I, I did fight one. I did fight one, but I wasn't... I was actually a bit underwhelmed. I was expecting it to be a lot more difficult. And it wasn't that much difficult. Try Mauled Lawrence. Yeah, you know, at this point, I feel like... The more I look at the kit and understand the, the Scout Trooper and the fact that she got nerfed since her kit reveal... I... I'm not sure we're gonna really... We're really gonna, like, find much of the other guys. Bruh, just like Gialea, because of the King of Mobile game. <laughs> SMH. Well, harder, says uh, Faustus the Cool. I'm trying, man. Uh, listen, CG, they, they, they wouldn't even give me a 330 job. What makes you think they're going to drop her early just for me? I got to say, though, it's actually very nice. I really haven't had to move any of my relics. I think all I had to do, I mean, besides the marquee characters, like uh, my, you know, Wicket was already ready. My Landa was ready. My Akbar was ready. I had to really bump up R2. My Captain Han was ready. My Rebel Officer Leia Organa was ready. Like, I... I really just had to upgrade the marquees. This is a, uh, it's yes, that's a short-term problem with the marquees not being accessible. But every Galactic Legend is usually not very accessible right away. So I'd rather have the marquees to chase after later rather than the crazy relics to deal with and the new characters. Might be a short break for me. We we're testing some. Oh, that's fine. It's all good. All good. Yeah, he uh, set might need a break. He's testing out some new stuff, I guess. All right, let's try some Saturnal stuff. And then we can just maybe go through the rest of the paces of the other teams, Maldalorans, all that fun stuff. Here we go. 
we have no savage omicron and grand or squad arena so yeah you know take it with a grain of salt we'll do it anyways is geolea gonna be most valued i need to i need to do a spreadsheet breakdown and double check i think it depends where you're at like if you already have master luke java jedi luke oh my gosh yeah it's such a it's like almost a no-brainer at that point starting from scratch i haven't really i haven't thunk it all the way as i like to say i haven't thunk about it uh, what do you want to do here? Let's do some of this. Give this over to Dark Shore. I was thinking about buff this spell right here. Eh, I don't know. Eh, yeah, I don't know. All right. All right. Okay, let's... Uh, ooh, days on. My Dark Shore kind of sucks. Can we get some days here? This might be nice. There we go. That's great. That's good. All right. Let me see here. What do you want to do? Eh, do we want turn meter? And yeah, just do basic. Big punch. There we go. All right, buff the spell. Nice. All right, we got around it. All right, get that off. All right. Let's get Duke out of here. He's really ticking me off. All right, here we go. Ah, uh, we still don't have... Eh, we still don't have ourselves days off Dark Trooper quite yet. All right. Come on, give me some offense up. There we go. That should get rid of Dooku. Nicely done. Okay. Now we got to get through the Sith Trooper here. Do you want to do more days? Save the days for when they get the retribution on him again. Since they're not getting tons of turn meter. All right, we're linking up Gary. Linking up Gidster. Oh, just give me some of that. Hopefully, Gideon's ready for some action. There we go. Some turn meter is fantastic. Give me some days. Nice. Okay. All right. All right. All right. Set the turn all doing work. Mm, just do some base. Come on. There we go. Come on. Probably should have taken care of this guy a little earlier. We're really stuck. There we go. Do that. There we go. There we go. He gone. All right. You know, we're, we're going a little bit better than I expected. But yeah, he's almost at ultimate. So, you know. All right. We'll do this. All right. We can do, you know, just do that death mark. Or just completely nuke him for 124,000 damage, if you don't mind. All right. Gary taking some heat. All right, he's about to go ultimate here in a moment. Do a buff the spell. Okay, you know what? Uh, I'm going to try to... Is that going to put him over ultimate? I think so. Let's see. Oh, there we go. Okay, we got a chance here. Airplane mode. Okay. Let's do the days. Okay. All right. I hope I have a, do I have a swarm? Let's see. I think he's about to pop here in a second, isn't he? Ooh, I kind of wonder if I should maybe just push some turn meter. I'm feeling some turn meter pushes. Yeah, let's do this real quick. I don't think it really made much of a difference, actually. Come on. Oh, no. I was really hoping I had a swarm. If I had one more swarm, I probably could have made it happen. Probably. Hold on, you know, Scout Trooper is kind of like an Imperial Remnant Piet. I probably should have done the AoE first. Ah, oh, man. All right, let's do this. Okay. Uh, come on. Oh, you're so close. Oh, no. Oh. <laughs> Oh, yeah, I probably should have done the um, built up my stacks before. I probably could have, may maybe, possibly. But how realistic is this? Uh, Savage Press. I don't think people. I know we want like an explicit lifter for Sith Eternal. Savage Press is that explicit lifter. Yeah, I could have maybe beaten him there. Let's have a few more tries. Uh, I, but again, let's be realistic. No one's placing stuff like that. If you're putting basically once you put Savage in here, you basically need a Galactic Legend for the most part. Let's see. Let's let's just check it out real quick. So this was just more for saying, oh, I beat a Galactic Legend, but in, in the real world, you're not probably gonna see it. Let's try this out. Set the kernel. Oops. Hold up, hold up. Get rid of that. Alright, let's see. Sit the turnal. Uh, let me ask. I know he says he's a little busy. I'm gonna ask, okay. Let me know when you are around to drop in and All right, I asked some all. But in the meantime, yeah, uh, Sith Eternal. 
where is the guy sith eternal here we'll, we'll do one like before here let's just look at the guy in the defense first so let's see no cleanups all right so no savage wampa's got a 50 percent chance let's look at no gls so wampa's kind of all over the map zero percent eighty percent yeah grievous it's mostly grievous that you're looking at at this point wampa i did versios star killers about six but yeah the second you throw in savage all of a sudden that I hate to say it. I know that's not the answer people want, but Savage is your unofficial lifter for the guy. Uh, throwing that Omicron. Yeah. Second, you put that, look, the Wampa drop rates collapse. Grievous's win rates collapse. Uh, Reva, you know, some people got through with Reva. Afra's win rates collapse. Star Killer's, you know, kind of at 66%, 33%, yeah, 0%. So. Basically, what I'm saying is the second you put in Savage, you're kind of, you know, what the hell? A gas got there? Is that with the Datacron? Oh, that was a, yeah, that's a low gear, low gear situation there. Pretty impressive, though. Is this with the Datacron, though? This has a Datacron. That one did it. That's actually pretty impressive. Um, but yeah, that, that's kind of the situation. Once you put in Savage, you almost need a Galactic Legend at that point. Yeah, you kind of need a Galactic Legend to get through it. So yeah, I know that's not what people want to hear, but it's just it's kind of what it looks like from a data perspective. Yeah. You're still going down with free. Oh, 100%. Um, here's the thing. I, I'm going to think about it more, but I, I, I'm foreseeing probably right after I get Jabba. I mean, I'm kind of at a point technically where I, if I wanted to, I like I'm not like fully invested in Jabba. I mean, I'm just getting Janet Luke Skywalker, which is once you're at Janet Luke, you have like three routes to look at. I can look at Leia. I can look at this. I can look at that. Oh, cool. We have Maud Lawrence. Look at that. He made it sound like he's been gone forever. He's here. He's never really gone. But um, probably once Jedi Luke comes out, I'll have a, a better. Uh, here, let me see. Where's where's the journey guide? Yeah, I'm in a good spot right now where I haven't like already put resources into Java. The issue is, you know, you know, like Lando, that's not bad. Admiral, okay, like Wicked, I need to bump up. I need to get the new marquees. That's the, that's the thing. In the short term, it's not 100% feasible, but like the rest of these things aren't bad. I'm, I mean, I'm already almost there for Leia Organa. Yeah, I, God, it, it's starting to seem like once I get Jedi Luke, I mean, by the time I get Jabba, the Crate Dragon raid is going to be gone. Yeah, it's, it's going to be tough to say gonna be tough to say what's the best lineup for maul idealistically you probably want to put like wat tambor hondo with an omicron to make sure maul gets going pretty fast this is kind of like your standard cheap maul team people like to put beskar mando in there uh in my opinion my favorite team is maul wat tambor you could technically use hondo because hondo's again you just need something to get maul going really quickly uh bo -Katan, armor you got a lot of ways. It depends. Like, what do you have and what are you willing to give up and what don't you want to give up? That's kind of what it comes down to at the end of the day. Send it on it. Let's do it. Oh, someone's battling me. That's fine. Oh, what do you think the new raid will come around? Though they, they already said it's going to be sometime later part this year. So I'm guessing October, November, December. I believe I, they go back to the road ahead, but they've already lined it up for the end of this year sometime. Nah, someone's battling me. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, I guess we'll have to wait and see. Go for a J-Mail instead of Lay and Jabba. Uh, I, I don't know. I don't know. I mean, I was planning on going Luke after Jabba. That made sense. Jedi Master Luke, I don't think he's really going to help my roster out that much in the current state. It's and he's not really like... The th it's mostly the raids I'm looking at, you know. But the other thing is it's hard to give you the, my opinion because I don't know how good Leia is. She might not be all that great on defense. Ah, someone's still dabbing me. He might be... He forgot maybe to back out. We gotta wait and see. We gotta wait and see. The thing is that Iden is amazing on defense, except the only issue is that yeah, it's Wampa. Yeah, it's the the Wampa is the problem, which I, I can't test that out. My theory is though, Scout Trooper might put an end to Wampa, and that's probably the second best use out of it. I'm just not seeing the 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 argument that Veers is gonna be great with Scout Trooper. I'm just not quite feeling it. Oh, my rank someone knocked me down. 
Someone knocked me down. Uh, who knocked me down? What rank was I at? All right, well, someone knocked me down. I guess I got to climb back up. Let me make sure. I think I was at 31. So I guess I'll maybe the... I don't know why people still do squad arena climbs. But let me see here. 31. And he's at 26. Right where Sep. All right, so I can... Right, I'll be able to reach him if I'm at... I'm going to be really mad if this person just maybe wastes two attempts to get back. Like I said, I don't want to knock this person out because I don't want to get into a pissing contest where we're like, oh, you knock me I'm going to knock you down. I don't miss those days in squad arena climbs where you get people that are just like locking each other out. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah, 31. See, I don't... I'm worried I'm not going to be able to reach. Oh, gosh. Seriously. Yeah, that like you couldn't battle anyone else. Couldn't battle anyone else. Yeah, if the cleanse was accessible under Veers, it would help the team, but it's not. Yeah, they. I can. I guarantee you. I guarantee you, someone tested their game and saw it was beating Lord Vader. All right, I'm gonna try not to hit this guy in case he's climbing. I don't want to. Yeah. Anyways, let's let's try this out. All right, let's go around and here we talk about Lord Vader. Let's throw in some Lord Vader. Let's do it. Uh, what do I want to do here? We'll throw in the Reva. I have no idea what our mods look like. And then let's go throw in. Where's my mall? Mall. And then give me Royal Guard. All right. Drop on a data crown. A little, a little breather, I suppose. And let me see. Get me one of them juicy, juicy. Where's my Sith one? No. Where's the? Yeah, don't I have a, I thought I have a better Sith one. There we go. Sure. All right, let's go. Send it on in. Sorry about that. Minor inconvenience. We'll get around it. We'll get around it. Any moment now. Let's go. Put it on auto and three, two, one. Then, yeah, I think we'll just battle as many teams as we can with remnants. The more we think about it, it seems like we're all, at least we're all on the same page there. We were, we're always on different pages when it comes to uh, uh, three stars versus seven stars. Yeah, we're definitely on the same page here, though. In regards to probably not going to learn a lot with Veers. Nick Carter, 99. How we doing, my friend? We leave a little heart. Enjoying your vids as always, Otto. Thank you. <gasps> Seen your video today about adding new facts to the game. You should get with Kenobi in your Discord and others make a fan kick. Get with Kenobi in your Discord? Is, is, I'm guessing that's an actual person. To make a fan kit vid sometimes. Here's the thing. I, I don't know. It's always hard doing fan kits. I don't know. How, to, how do I word it? I feel like they don't really like I think it's one thing to like speculate and wish for characters but it's like I could I can make kits but they're probably gonna come out completely different than uh what they actually will be so I don't know I think it's a lot harder to do fan kits that's why it's like you know I'm not always crazy off fan kits like eh, you know it's, it's a cool idea but it's not gonna end up that way where it's different where we could be like we could speculate like, oh, this character's coming, this character. That's a lot easier, I guess, what I'm trying to say. And I'll be honest, I'm, I'm not a, I'm not a, like, remember, remember, let me put it this way. And I was one of these, I'm going to call myself out. I know I'm not a game balance designer and all that other stuff and kit developer and that stuff. Remember the time when every fan kit reveal that people made, every single one of them uh, had death mark. Oh, this character does this mark, death mark. That character does a death mark. You can't have a game where every new thing's death mark. You know what I mean? <laughs> uh, he, he means uh, review the one you're just for their. Oh, there is. Yeah, I, I don't know. I don't get like a like. I get kicks out of people like saying, "I hope this character comes out." Like, I get a kick out. Of, I just don't get a kick too much out of uh, like the actual kit because it's not going to be what CG intends. And I'll be honest, most of us are not game balance designers. Uh, and I was one of those people who was like, oh, yeah, I, they should add General Grievous with Deathmark, right? That'd be, that would be cool, guys. <laughs> so, yeah, I don't know. That's just how it is. Uh, oh, yes. Rossi, I totally missed you. $5 from Rossi. My guy, welcome back. Just want to make sure you saw the new Silk Trail and Post One's 5 hour. I saw he did a podcast of Joe Rogan. I have not had the pleasure of listening to it yet. I was too busy. You missed it. I was too busy catching up on my Thrawn book on my trip. I was uh, listening to the audiobook. There we go. Cool. We're in range. Awesome. I'm, uh... Reading the uh, the Chiss Ascendancy trilogy or whatever it's called. I haven't been as enthralled and into it as much as the other Thrawn books, but uh, it's been fun nonetheless. But I do want to get around. Is it was it a five hour podcast of Joe Rogan and Post Malone? Holy cow, that's a that's a bit of a that's a bit of a podcast right there. I did not know it was that long. Usually they're like what two hours long or something. I you know I, 
once in a while there's like an interesting guest and i kind of want to check it out i don't listen to too many podcasts but uh that was definitely one i want to check out though man four, four hours of perfect minutes holy cow yeah uh, it's probably one of those things where maybe throughout the day i'll catch bits and pieces but thanks for putting it on my radar making sure i got to it and i have not seen the new ahsoka trailer should i should i check it out it's a great episode actually nice yeah post malone i it's, it's one of those things like if you don't if you just listen to his music like casually or you just look at him you get a much different opinion of him than actually listen to the guy talk he's very polite you can tell he has a deep love for his fans uh, but it's funny if, like you know i showed my parents him one time and they're like immediately just because he's tattooed from top to bottom they they you get a much different impression he's like the perfect example never judge a book by his cover he's a very pleasant person to to listen to talk i caught his i remember i caught his uh previous joe rogan podcast actually that he did a couple years ago all right let's see what we can do here all right this is looking pretty good so far uh this is looking good of course there's no what tambor that could have made this a bit more complicated uh what are we looking here uh let's get some you know what i kind of eh. yeah just do this all right hopefully i can get there we go get rid of the frenzy that's good all right okay we lost our eh, let's do a down over there taunt up again all right eh, it takes you know how ball teams are if you don't have the right team you're just dancing around the whole time which is really annoying oh what do you want to do here do not want to do more term meter how's our eh, let's do some more term meter real quick there we go it feels weird using that term meter push a bit more often than i'd like all right just do that i guess there we go some days that's nice that's actually very helpful there we go look gary look at that. gary pulled back a lot of terminator right there when gary taunts he can remove terminator which is fantastic you know what i'm gonna do an aoe here okay all right give me some offense up all right yeah look at all that wow their terminator's getting look at that mole lost turret he couldn't connect the dots holy cow <laughs> that's awesome uh i can't do death mark yet there we go look at that boom oh we lost our oh no he's still taunting okay here look at that wow that's great that's great all right let's do that target over there wow we're decimating the small team right now check this out boo, 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 boo. okay basic over here we just need another aoe to get rid of her before look at that they just look at all look mall you know you know how mall goes mall goes back to back to back not ah -uh, not here wow stormtrooper is doing fantastic right now pull back look at that mall couldn't do all this hits wow that was pretty awesome uh that was pretty cool i think this would be a little bit trickier with watt tambor but nonetheless you guys know how mall battles go this is th very impressive he's in the grave he ain't coming back there you go she got the best scar off pop that over there wow pretty cool very cool battle uh this you know this act this could get annoying oh we have days on him here put it in airplane mode real quick all right let's do the cleanse throw that over there oh ho, ho, ho. wow <laughs> that yeah that, once gary taunts he's just yanking all that turn meter off the mall team all could never get a his full five set out there wow that was really cool try versus reva that yeah all right yeah i'll try it out i'll try it you know what i'll try it out i'm just thinking you know because i was at first like well grand quiz is gonna ability block but then i thought about it again it's like wait he doesn't open up ability block so eh, you know maybe well maybe all right let's try that was a really cool battle that was a cool battle yeah we'll, we'll try reva and all that stuff do a battle against lord vader um you, you know why not at this point I'm, I'm like just thinking it doesn't seem feasible but we can we can give it a stab uh, i i want to try reva though although i'll be honest i'm not seeing a lot of revas anymore in my grand arena people are keeping her for offense now that trey has kind of solidified herself uh what else we got elga did i get you i have not got you uh hey g got the opportunity to come to an uh officer for my guild wow I'm ready to get to eternal executor it's great to be in the empire today let me tell you man nothing about respect being a guild leader in this game especially if you're trying to lead like a good guild and trying to make sure you're leading you guys on the path of righteousness and galaxy heroes that's a lot that's a lot of work right there so i tip my hat to thee you're a better person than i am when it comes to guild management i could never do it <laughs> i did it at one point way back when but i i barely can keep myself afloat let alone a whole guild so i have nothing but respect for guild leaders and then uh rossi two dollars you're the posty of star wars hell yeah let's watch the show yeah once i'm we're almost done of gideon stuff I'll check it out and hopefully Disney 
<laughs> Hopefully it's not like the other day where I played 40 seconds of Yu-Gi-Oh and he took down my whole entire stream for several hours while I edited it out. I don't know. If, I, I think those trailers are fairly friendly to react to, I think. Uh, but I'll check it out at the end. Nick Carter, 9 and 9. Enjoy your vids as always, Arnold. Oh, we talked about that, Nick Carter. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Uh, did you know Malone stands for postpone for student loans? <laughs> good one, Ghost Rider. Oh, it's not looking good, is it? All right. Ooh. Okay. Friendly reminder. You know, uh, this is why we respect Treya. I count 50 turns Inquisitors, zero turns for me. Okay. Uh huh. All right. Well, that was fast. Okay. Uh, well, Lord Vader, it is. Oh, man. Okay. We'll try some more. <laughs> yeah, Gary would have clutched it. Hell yeah. Oh, my. Uh, we have Michael Perot. What is your go to Outback order? Oh, my gosh. I haven't been to. I don't even know when I've been to Outback last time. It, it could have been a decade plus. Um, oh, man. Let's see. Outback. Incoming donation. All right. I have, to, I have to look at their menu. Outback Steakhouse. I, I, I'll be Incoming honest. Donation. I can't remember the last time I've been to one. Mm, pfft, like, boy. Yeah, I, I'm trying to think right now. Let's look at that menu. What are we feeling? What are we feeling? No, I need to. Uh, let's see. All right, let's see. I'm on a view menu. Here we go. All right. Uh, let's see what we got here. While we wait. Yes, please. Mall Blurbiter. Yes, please. Man. Uh, you know, I'm feeling a good steak right now. Steak and meat. What is that? Oh, yeah. Here we go. There we go. Hmm. Might just be the, the moment I'm in. I, I'm, I'm, I'm very simple. I could use a good Flamin' Young and maybe, uh, let's see, Flamin' Young. I'm, I'm like, I'm, I want some chicken. I feel like I'm in, a, I'm in a mood for chicken or shrimp. I'm a pretty simple guy. Like, that looks good to me. A little bit of asparagus. Maybe some steak, some chicken. That looks really good. Oof. Oof. All right, I gotta stop. Look, you're actually making me really hungry. I haven't eaten anything today. I'm like, I'm starving right now. Yeah, menu stream. Ooh, you're making me really hungry right now. <laughs> oh man, that, um, I, I'm not kidding. My mouth is like actually drooling right now. Now I want to eat dinner. That's what I'm saying. I uh, I haven't eaten anything all day, and I'm like, ooh. Mm. <laughs> Woo. Uh, are we ordering food? Yeah, we gotta do a food ordering stream. I, I know Domino's was going around. And they were like sponsoring people to order pizza. It's like, that'd be pretty funny. All right, guys, we're ordering pizza. Let's do it. Pizza ordering stream. Oh, where's uh, where is he at? Wow. I feel like a dog right now. I was like, wow, I, I got I got baited into drooling on stream here. Uh, what else we got here? So I'm sorry I could dis I disappoint you, Mike. I haven't been to a steakhouse at a or I've been to a steakhouse recently, but not to an Outback steakhouse recently. Whew. Mm. I could literally taste that right now. Are you, just got to get some shrimp on the Barbie, per usual. Ooh, look at that. All right, hold on. Okay, this is good. Oh, check this. Check it, check it, check it. Got the cleanse. Ooh, ooh. Man, I, let me just say I am really mad. I'm, I'm mad, but at the same time, I know I would have laughed at CG for not testing out their game. So you know what? You, you know what I'm trying to say here. But look, this right here would have been a huge play for viewers massive play for veers um so here's the issue you can't remove turn meter on vader is that gonna be an issue i don't know we'll see we'll see because now vader's gonna get dots on me all right gary's doing his thing all right gary's surviving okay man yeah you, you just know that veers would have been drooling over this Give me some of that. Uh, yeah, we can't get any turret meter right now, can I? Yeah, it's kind of a waste. I guess just do basic for the moment. All right, so we're not going to really get any revives. I, I can 100% see why they they did what they had to do. All right, let's do that. 
Yeah, we're gonna. He's gonna. He's not gonna get the revive, unfortunately. I need another cleanse. Uh, I guess just keep doing this. Yeah, no revives here. Yeah, yeah. This would have been a great character for Veers. I don't know here. Let's see. Can I get rid of Maul? Maybe. Oh, damn, son. <laughs> Yeah, the no terminal will kind of sucked a little bit. Hey, at least I got them all out, you know? Uh, yeah. I don't know if I could have played it any better. But I, all, the whole time, I just think, man, they they took it away from us. They took it away from us. We would have had a very clean, because that's the thing about Veer, is once you get the cleanse off, you're rolling at that point. That's why people usually use like Shock T or Iden. That was literally the character we needed for that. And I think we even talked about in the kit reveals like, oh, man, this is going to be great for Veers. And last second, someone fixed their game. Yeah, I don't know if I could have done that any better. Maybe except. Yeah, I don't know how I could have played that better, honestly. Can you do JML? I think once Janet Luke gets the stun out. I mean, well, again, why not? We could try. Let me look at my list. Where's all my teams? Uh, bu -bu 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 yeah, I mean, really, we're kind of we already like fought some of the main the main teams you know what i'm curious would would gideon be able to fight a revan team like that might be a battle i feel like veers might be better might be good to check that out cleanse yeah so like here you know what i'm saying right now like i feel like i have to do this because then piet's gonna roll he's gonna get a daze on me yeah i, I don't think this is gonna be a good battle yeah Veer's gonna go he's just gonna yeah i feel like i have to do this Okay. Yeah, it's this is yeah. I don't think this is going to go well. Vader mm -mm. goes ultimate and it goes bye bye at that point. 100% though, troopers would have had a field day with this. Yeah, you can try your best. Increase cooldown. Yeah, it's a lost battle. What happened to Veers? So, no, no. So, uh, the issue is that we're saying before the kit reveal, when we read the kit reveal on thir Tuesday, right? It was Tuesday or something like that. Originally, this said th this spell all debuffs on all allies. Period. End of, end of the line. All that fun stuff. They took it away. So, now it's only for remnants. You have to have an Imperial Remnant ally leadership. So, this would have been great for Veers. Now, so she went from a very good opportunity for Veers to like, eh, she's not that like, she's not better than most other troopers for Veers team. So that's the issue that we ran into. They, they uh, decided to nerf her last second. So she's this. If she was able to cleanse on a Veers team, oh man, we would have would have been killer, absolutely killer. Yeah, he's not gonna revive. He's not gonna revive. I can maybe try to get rid of Maul again. <laughs> it's nice I could just yeet out Maul, but yeah, man. It would have been nice, though. It would have been nice. I shouldn't have said anything in your video. Yeah, maybe. That'd be funny. I want to try to match here. I'll try Mash Luke. I don't think we're going to see anything come out of it. Uh, actually, let me ask him if he could just put like a standard Darth Revan team. Because I feel like so far, so far I'm noticing that Gideon lead is doing more than Veer's lead for me. But Darth Revan lead might be better off for Veer's than Gideon. Let's see. And you put in Darth. <laughs> yeah, I do want to try that out. We'll try this out. I, I feel like though we're kind of uh we're kind of hitting the the upper limits of what we can do. Yeah, next time don't say a thing. <laughs> and it's like one of those things. Like if they're presenting a kit, they feel like in their infinite wisdom they have it. They they have it figured out, and they know what they're doing. Yeah, this is not not when you're going up against a full send master blue team. Yeah, no way. Yeah, not even getting a turn. Yeah, not even close. Not even close. Hey, 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 I got a turn in. I couldn't get a turn against Reva. There we go. I got one turn in. All right. Best I can do. So weird to me here pretty much. Well, she was originally very useful in the Veers team in the kit reveal. And then it went to not so much at that point. Malik, yes, please. Yes. Yes, Malik. Awesome. Cool. So yeah, I... Uh, I'm just trying to find a battle where I would rather have Veer's lead than Gideon lead. So we're going to have Set put in a normal Darth Revan team. Like back in the old days. Yeah, here we go. So I'm not I'm not too sure if this is going to be a good battle for Gideon. Because the w reason why Veer's works, you just run a train over there. 
with the scout beats bar well in the context uh we'll, we'll do a we'll do like a summer video here i'll, I'll go back in a second um but like see you don't want to do this because then i'm just gonna lose a bunch of turn meter right yeah this is actually kind of weird i mean or do i want to do this i mean we'll have a pre-taunt which isn't you know i'm gonna i'm gonna go with my gut i want to get a pre-taunt before darth revan gets out and I'm going to see if I could try to get rid of Basla Sean. Eh, boy, I do miss Piet though with Archer. There we go. Okay, mild fear issues. Lots of fear issues now. All right, so far, yeah. So I, had a, I had a weird feeling. I mean, I probably maybe that was the wrong play to do. Because you can't pull back Terminator on Darth Thrawn when he has debuffs on him. Uh, here, let's do this. So this might be the one battle where you i mean but to be fair there are so many counters to this team you don't need to have imperial troopers but yeah, th th this is like the one battle i want to show that veers might be better in some battles versus others uh let's see let's try that again but actually you know what now that i think about it could i still beat this team without dark trooper right let me see just really quick let's do view piet uh, who am I not using? We use you, you, and like you. Do I have mods at everyone? Probably not. Okay, here we go. So like, I'm just curious. Like, let's say you want to have a Gideon team. Could you still beat this? I mean, Dark Trooper made this pretty much guaranteed win. Dark Trooper wasted care. And, and the Veerus team, yeah. And the, the Veerus team, yeah, it feels a little wasted. All right, so what I'll probably do, let's just keep this mark over here. Okay, let's keep an eye on this. Try to get some turn meter. All right. Um, I kind of feel like I got to go for HK47 first, don't I? I could just wait. Let's do this. All right, let's see. Man, this is like, I haven't done this counter in a long, long time. Taunt up. All right, let's see if we can. Nice, okay. This is like, man, we haven't done a counter like this in a minute. Uh, I really don't want to do protection up until we get HK-47 out. He's got the Zetas on him, so I'm just going to drop basic. All right. Let's uh, heal up the team. Talk back up. Keeping the fear contained. Kind of stuck right here. Ooh, that's rough. Uh, this makes you appreciate what Dark Trooper can do, right? This does make you appreciate it a little bit more. Hmm. Maybe we should have went for... I mean, you know, it's definitely... I haven't done a non-Dark Trooper Veers battle in so long. This makes you appreciate everything he can do. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, it's... it's uh... Why don't you use Dark Trooper again? Uh, you, you might be it might be a couple hours behind our conversation here. Um, right now, the best use of Dark Trooper is... I. I I know you guys are gonna. It's for me in the in the relative the relativity of where I am at. Like Virus has almost no use for me. And I know people like I always get these comments like, "Oh, you're so wrong. You're so good." The game. It's like no, and where you are, you're 100 percent right. Wherever you guys might be playing, Virus is still absolutely amazing. He is not absolutely amazing in my neck of the woods. He's just okay as a cleanup and maybe okay just puts a really dumb team down that Imperial Troopers can get through. For me right now, in the presence of the game, from what I'm seeing, Dark Trooper's best use is probably going to be with um, Gideon. So I was just seeing, all right, let's say I want to keep Dark Trooper with Gideon. Could I maybe still beat these? Which, let's be honest, I'm probably never going to see a standard Darth Revan team again. And even if I did, you got bounty hunters and a variety of other counters for that. But I, I was just curious in the realm of, let's say, someone else who does still see a non Malgus team. Maybe you want to see, all right, can I keep Dark Trooper on Gideon since that's a superior use right now, it feels like, and then I can put uh, Veers up against it. it. It definitely is a lot trickier. It's a it's a lot trickier than I... It, it, it makes you appreciate how far they've uh, they've come with Dark Trooper. But right now, this is just a superior use of Dark Trooper, at least for me. Yeah. I'm going to try this one more time and just see if maybe I m misplayed, maybe just don't use control of the situation right away. All right, let's see if we can... Um, yeah, it's like, uh, you know, maybe go for HK first. All right. Is this a, no, 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 no. Let me see. Let's get dark. Yeah, the issue is we're going to get fear in everyone. I really need it. Hmm. Is there any way to get me more turn meter to the team?
All right, let's just do this. All right, so he's out at least. But that's the downside. Gary does not pre taunt on this. It sucks that Shorter is not considered Imperial Remnant. All right, now we got to get around all this garbage. Ooh, that's rough. Ooh. Yeah, hey, I just want to... This is the one battle where I feel like, you know, Veers is better. But so far, out of everything else I've done, I found uh, getting to be better than Veers. Yeah. Hey, oh, there you go. There you go. Yeah. And there you go. I actually have never felt this much of a struggle from a standard Darth Revan team in a while. So this is the one battle where I feel like Veers has the upper hand. But again, this is, uh, this team's kind of a few years behind anyway. So it's not a very practical thing. I didn't test it. So we're out of attempts. I feel like I hear, let's take a look at what we've accomplished today. So the thing, maybe I'm being harsh. I might be being, I might be harsh. If we had the original kit that was outlined in the kit reveal a couple, you know, last week, I'd say, yeah, I think there might be a good reason to try out Veers, try out Aiden. Right now, I don't see the purpose of using Scout Trooper with, I, uh, with Veers. There's much better characters to place in there if she doesn't have the cleanse anymore. And so much of her kids locked behind Imperial Remnants. I do think she will have some uses in Grand Arena on defense, tr hopefully stopping Wampa. And you guys know Aiden Versio is really good on defense up until Wampa showed up. So if Aiden Versio can shut down Wampa with the help of Scout Trooper, that's awesome. I'm just not quite seeing what is what is scout trooper going to do otherwise to make Aiden better right um yeah i don't see any use of yours but anyways long story short what do we got going on here so we were with a piece piece part gas beat a multi i was actually very impressed that this was really cool commander luke is getting dunked on by so many new teams nowadays that was a su stupidly easy battle and again most of these battles we won were three stars uh, we didn't fight trade. There's really not no, no point if you don't have the Omicron at Savage. We beat Zori handily, very simply. Uh, what else do we do here? Didn't try Dash and Dar. I assume it'd be fine. Oddly enough, Grievous was actually kind of tricky. Darth Revan, we actually struggled. Uh, what else we got here? Admiral Rest, we beat, but without Omicron, hard to say. We did beat Sanastaros. We didn't fight this Grand Inquisition, but I suspect it wouldn't be too much of an issue. Um, Marin had a hard time. Utilizing that we did beat Seer Junda, but that was without Omicron. We did. Oh, where was Tuscans? Do I not have Tuscan on this list? Tuscans should be here. Where the hell are Tuscans? Do I not? Want, this was April. Oh, this is. So this was. No, was this? Have I not updated my graphics since? I think I haven't. Yeah. Uh, yeah. This so, so this doesn't have Tuscans. This doesn't have. Phoenix. So basically the new gen teams, they've been doing fairly well up against, which Veers can't say that uh, at the very most. Um, skipped Afia. Yeah, we didn't do any Afra stuff again. Uh, probably should have probably should have given Afra a shot. She's pretty good without her Omicrons. But overall, let's take a little peek at her one more time here. Where is she at? All right. I am sad that I noticed during stream they nerfed her. That really sucks. She would have been a very awesome plug and play Imperial Trooper with that cleanse. They took that away probably because of years. But uh, overall, in the terms of remnants, it's funny. It's funny how on the money I was before they announced Scout Trooper, new Gideons and stuff like that. I was saying, contrary to what some, some people think I'm not into the meta, I'm like very into the meta. I'm like, uh, you know, Veers is kind of falling off the radar. He's falling off the boat. I wouldn't be surprised if we're heading towards maybe Gideon starts being the forefront for Imperial Troopers maintaining some sort of meta competitive. I think they're competitive. They're not like God tier destroying everything, but they are definitely very helpful. They're definitely helping me out in some situations where I don't, don't use them. So this Troopers went from a team that I'm probably not using too much to a team I definitely see myself using a lot more on offense right now, but it's only for Imperial Remnants. And I know we really wanted her to work with Veers. They took it away from us, but keep your eyes peeled. Uh, wait for, I'm not sure about 3v3 data, maybe in 3v3, I don't know. But for sure, 5v5, I suspect some people will probably throw her with Iden Versio. That daze, which can't be resisted, could spell the end of Wampa. Could, you know, if she can't counterattack, she can't gain turn meter, kind of a big issue there. I like her. I like her a lot. Is my favorite character this year? No, I'd say that's probably Zori. Zori's probably the best marquee. Oh, Zori or Captain Rex? It's still up for the bait. 
I love Captain Rex a lot, but those are probably the two most impactful characters this year. Scout Trooper, definitely good though. It, it's revitalizing a faction that didn't quite exist right now. Above Marin, oh man. Um, I'm gonna say I like Marin more. Yeah, I, I have to say I like Marin more. Yeah, Marin, uh, Marin's got higher marks. She beats a lot of stuff, cheeses a lot of stuff, and she's so good that even Siege is like, hey guys, we're probably gonna have to nerf her against Jabba. So uh, I don't know if Scout Trooper's that good. But I like her more than Nisa. I like her. I have to look at some of the other stuff. Uh, it's, it's, it's actually really hard. We've had a lot of good characters here. Very solid additions to this year. This year has been probably one of the best years in a minute since like almost every character very used for something. Sagra being kind of a sad point. Yeah. Kind of where it's at. It. They're saying Tuskins are above. Oh, uh, Tuskins are above. Oh, Knight Sisters? I'm confused. Tuskins are above this. Um. I'm not sure yet. I'm not sure if I like. I, it's, it looks like Imperial Remnants are going to be a better counter to Zori than Resi or Tuskins. I need, I need to think about it a little bit more and kind of look at how I feel about all of them. But overall, it's a good character. I think it did what she had to do. She's bringing Imperial Remnants, a non-existent team, helping Imperial Troopers maintain some sort of top-end competitiveness with the new generation of stuff, with Captain Rex, Nisa's causing problems, and the list goes on and on and on. Is the best team in the game? No. But at the, at the minimum, it's now a usable team for me. Incoming I can use my Imperial... It's, you know how many Grand Rears we go through? I'm like, man, it sucks. I can't use my Imperial Troopers today. And at best, I use them for cleanup on um, a Galactic Legend or something else. Or sometimes people put a really weak team in. But that's a me problem. I know some people don't have to fight that stuff. But eventually, as I said, what happens in top end eventually kind of goes down. It's a trickle down effect. So although you might not be feeling that pain with Imperial Troopers now, it'll come eventually. And then, um, yeah, that's going to happen. Oh, and oh, oh, you're okay. You're talking about Tuscans in the graphic. Okay. Yeah, I got to update it. I think it's time to update. I was, I was hoping to have that done before I went on my trip. I didn't get around to it. So long as this week's not busy, I'll have it updated this week. 100%. Yeah. 100%. I'll have the, the Tuscans added. Yeah, there's been a. I could have sworn I added. I, I did it in May or something. I guess not. Yeah. So, yeah, take a look at the graphic real quick. We got to add Tuscans. We got to add. Um, <laughs> Well, so we got to add Saw Gerrera to the list. We got to add the Wookiees to the list. We got to add Cal Kestis to the list. We got to add, obviously, now Imperial Remnants to the list. Yeah, uh, but for sure, yeah, there's a lot going on. But Tuskins, um, man, Tuskins is, is tough. I don't think, eh. I mean, Tuskins beat a lot of these teams here. Yeah, I mean, I think Tuskins are probably a solid Kyber team for sure. Yeah. Oh, I'm thinking of 3v3. I made a 3v3 graphic. That's when I added Tuskins. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, there we go. That's what I'm thinking. I did I did update it, but it had 3v3. Yeah. Are they on the graph? Hold on. Am I that blind? Listen, the Gucci goggles aren't the same as tactile scanners. Oh, yeah. <laughs> hey, at least the good news is... I'm still in line with my previous pins. Like, yeah, they're probably a Kyber level team. Boom, right there. Yeah, <laughs> they kind of they blend in there a little bit. The sands of Tatooine. You guys like how I put the background image as uh... <laughs> I don't know if anyone noticed. <laughs> it's their burnt down campsite. <laughs> oh, I don't know if anyone noticed that. I was like, oh, what background should I put in? Oh, let's... how about their whole campsite burnt down? <laughs> Is it too soon? Too soon? <laughs> <gasps> oh, there you go. That's messed up. Come on, it's funny though. All right, I want to watch this uh, trailer real quick. Rossi wants me to see it, then we'll catch up on all that. Are there any other Easter eggs? Um, not as funny as that one. I think I think that's probably the funniest one that you really have to zoom in and notice. Yeah, I think everyone else is. It's pretty normal for the most part. I mean, Doctor F. I put the like she's got her comic book in the background. Yeah, her comic books back there. Oh crap! <laughs> I forgot to replace Zori's background. She's got, <laughs> she's got the Tuscan background going on too there. Oh man! All right, let me. Um, how did Gary let that one slide? I have no idea. Here, let's go pull up this trailer. I think I might know what's happening because I saw a bunch of like I saw like Eckhart's Ladder or Star Wars Theory have like thumbnails showing Anakin deer. All right, well in case you don't want to be spoiled. Um, 
I suggest you don't watch what I'm going to react to here. Is it the Forest Ahsoka Disney Plus? I'm guessing that's the one. Is that the one I'm looking at? Boy, there's a lot of different trailers. A new Star Wars Legacy Ahsoka. Hold on. Oh, that's this is Dave Filoni. Is this a new trailer? All right, here we go. Everyone in. All right. 45 seconds. I'm going to kind of pick the volume a little low just in case Disney wants to come knocking my door down. All right, here. Let's check this out real quick. So Force Ahsoka Disney Plus, I'm assuming this is the one that Rossi wanted me to check out here. Everyone in the order knew Anakin Skywalker. Oh man, going straight into it. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Was that Anakin? That, was that the Mandalorian? That was, no, that was the Kenobi show Anakin. Okay. All right. Right? I can't tell. Gucci goggles block everything. Before the end of the Clone Wars, I walked away from him and the Jedi. Ten days. Oh my gosh, it's next week, isn't it? just droids. As your master, it's my responsibility to prepare you. That, that's Anakin, right? That sounds like Anakin. I won't always be there to look out for you. I could use the help. Once a rebel, always a rebel. Don't be afraid. That's yeah, Anakin. There we go. You trust your instincts. I know you can do this, Ahsoka. All right, so we didn't see him but we heard him so this has to be we're gonna have like flashbacks like in kenobi right and kenobi had flashbacks of kenobi training anakin all that other fun stuff um i'm looking forward to it I i'm glad they're they're letting anakin do some more stuff spoiler let's go <laughs> uh yeah i'm looking i'm looking forward to ahsoka from what i've seen with Thrawn, now apparently anakin's gonna have some possibly some minor appearance in there uh, and I like Ahsoka as a character. You know, Ahsoka's like, I didn't really like her as a character when I first saw her in a Clone Wars many moons ago. And she's one of those characters that eventually, you know, like, she had a great story arc. And then I think, uh, I, I, it's it's hard to find someone who doesn't like Ahsoka. She had a great story arc. Um, I'm really curious about the Balin and all that other stuff. Uh, I, I'm, I'm cautiously optimistic. Cautiously optimistic. Uh, like, I was really excited for Kenobi. I felt a little let down on Kenobi. Uh, my expectations were much higher for Kenobi than what actually happened. So we'll have to wait and see. We'll have to wait and see. Uh, we'll have to wait and see. Yeah, you want to see Thrawn this? It's going to be weird. I, I just, I'm not prepared for a live action Thrawn. Like, you know, we're so used to a certain look. And, you know, yeah, the, the, he, we saw him a couple weeks ago. It's like, oh, yeah, it looks like uh, Elon, <laughs> Elon Musk. <laughs> so it's going to take a minute for me to get adjusted to the to the look. But I listen, the fact they brought in the original voice actor inside the Thrawn. All right, I'm sorry. The Rebel show. I'm very excited. Yeah. Elon Musk is going to be great, right? So I guess I'll have to wait and see. Bros built like Papa Smurf. Oh, it's very low quality for me. Yeah, we'll have to wait and see again. I'm excited. I'm always, listen, I'm always excited for Star Wars stuff. And sometimes my excitement's higher than what's the common. Or like in Cassian, I wasn't hyped about Cassian. I ended up liking Cassian more than some of the other stuff. And then like Mandalorian, I was super excited. And I, I kind of left with like a meh, meh. It wasn't like, I don't think it lived, lived up to Mandalorian season one, two, 2.5. Uh, so yeah, we'll see. I, uh, right now I'm at that. I'm very excited. Hopefully I don't let my expectations get too crazy, but you know, it's again, Star Wars, one of the biggest IPs of all time. One of the, one of the most pivotal movie franchises of all time. You, you mean, we should have high standards for it, right? We should have high standards. It's not like it's, you know, some fan film thing and you know you kind of accept what you get and usually fan films are usually good you know because you have a certain standard set but when you're thinking of a triple a studio multi-million dollar budgets for all these different shows you should have high standards so we'll have to wait and see we'll have to wait and see yeah can we worst star wars show um i'm probably forgetting another show what's another star wars show that i wasn't I mean, off the top of my head, maybe. And this, like the Disney Star Wars shows, maybe Kenobi's somewhere at the bottom here. But Boba Fett was the worst. Yeah, that, I think that's the debate. Is it Boba Fett or Kenobi? Book of Boba Fett. Mm, might be Book of Boba Fett. Mando, Mando saved Book of Boba Fett, though, 100%. It started off really good, too. Like, I was really intrigued by the Tuscan culture. We're going to immerse ourselves in there, learn more about the Boba Fett thing. And I think uh, I think he went through a big character change that people weren't expecting. People were really expecting that. Oh, that badass Boba from Empire Strikes Back and all that fun stuff, you know. And I think yeah, he took a bit of a different character change than we were expecting. 
and I think they took a little too long. I, I, I remember I posted on Twitter. My dad was trying to watch it. And it was like, this guy's just sitting in a fishbowl daydreaming all day. It's funny to see his reaction to it. You know, it was great. I, I'm, I'm here. I'm glad you liked it. I'm not going to sit here and convince you you're wrong. At the end of the day, art is subjective. Everyone reacts to things differently. Everyone has different expectations. For me, it's like Last Jedi. I know there's probably people that like Last Jedi. I don't think of you any more or lesser of a person out there. You just, you, you, you saw something that I didn't, that I just, you know, we, we enjoy different things, right? Uh, for me, I just, I, I wasn't crazy about Kenobi. I was let down on Kenobi. Uh, I think they didn't treat Vader appropriately. I think they made Vader kind of look like a chump a little bit. It's like, dude, that's not the Vader. I, I was expecting a much different Vader. Like the Kenobi arc, I was okay with it. You know, he's broken. He's got to rebuild himself, which is fine. He got back on his feet. Uh, I was expecting more out of Kenobi though. But if you love that, that's awesome. I I never understood if someone likes something, we got to make him feel like trash for it. <laughs> it's like even like Lord Vader. I don't like Lord Vader in the game. But if you like him, that's great. The data might not match what you're feeling, but as long as you're, you know, there's the truth and there's a personal truth, right? It's like, I love Revenge of the Sith. That's like my one of my favorite Star Wars movies. Maybe on paper, it's not the greatest when you look from a script uh, perspective and other areas. But for me, I love Revenge of the Sith. You know, I'm sure a lot of you guys hate Revenge of the Sith. Um, that's just how it is. Yeah, Mando Season 3 was so bad too. Yeah, like I, I wasn't crying about Mando Season 3, but I know people that loved it. And some people said Mando Season 3 is the best. Like, I, I'm not quite seeing it. I'm glad you can see it though. You yeah, know, that's why that's why I like talking to people of... Here, I got to catch my super chats, by the way, while we're here. Is there anything I can play in the background? Is there anything I can throw a scout trooper in while we're... Uh, here, we could do... Here, you know what? I could throw in scout trooper in conquest. There we go. We could do some of this. Yeah, uh, I think it's sector four. I need to do some scout trooper stuff or imperial trooper stuff. Right, let me double check. Cool. All right. What was I going to say? Um, that's why I... I I like to talk to people of all different backgrounds, people of different knowledge, people of different experiences. You know, because some, you know, one, you, you learn something new, and then sometimes you kind of, it, it makes you challenge yourself. Like, why do I think a certain way? Is, should I keep thinking a certain way? Or sometimes you get enlightened, and, you know, that's, that's, I always like to talk to different people. You know, like I hear a lot of arguments about why Last Jedi is great, and I can understand it. Sometimes I'll understand a point, sometimes I won't understand the point. But I think that's the great thing when you're hanging out with billions of people here. You're going to come across different folks, and, Sometimes you'll learn, you'll think of something, oh, I never thought of it that way. And sometimes you'll solidify your own standpoint when you hear other people's standpoint. Oh, please don't tell me I'm going to get wrapped. God, I hate conquest. All right, well. Let's uh, try to mount this some sort of comeback if we can. Whoa. All right. I love conquest. There we go. Here we go. Pull back turn meter. All right. Let's pop that. There we go. We get some kills. Oh, come on. I need those kills. I need the kills. Hit them. There we go. More scout trooper testing, baby. Ah. Oh. You're, oh, you are the only interesting history YouTuber. Oh, that's, I mean, I appreciate you think that way. You got to understand everyone. You don't, let me put it this way. I know plenty of people that don't like the way we do things. Some people like the more, you know, the, the scientific, you know, fine tooled approach. I'm, I'm definitely kind of a, I'm a loose cannon. You know how I am. So I appreciate the comments. I just want to put out there. There's a lot of other people fantastic in their own regards that play this game. Um, I, I, I think our community is very special. I mean, well, our community here, but the Galaxy is community at large. I think they have a, uh, there's something that suits anyone's preference you got me well we're gonna party hard 25 8 and you got other plenty of people that take things a much different approach in the game i think that's the nice thing that you have you have uh so many different ways of uh ah, i forgot he doesn't do the all right well we're slowly getting killed i think it's the great thing about this game there's a the, exactly who's that viper every sbg creator are unique with their own quick exactly um you got a nice range got a nice flavor so if i'm not your cup of tea i completely understand i can promise you there's someone else out there that's more in uh in your line try item list scout let's do it item scout imperial troopers item scout trooper yeah again the problem is i don't think you're really gonna see all that much with um yeah i'm so mad they they locked her out of uh other imperial trooper team last second How's testing going? Seven, uh, Captain Seven Two Three, thank you for the eighteen months. Absolutely fantastic. Imperial remnants are finally a big thing. 
I think they're the better endgame Imperial Trooper team. And I'm mad that they last second nerfed her. There we go. We got a kill. Can I try to get the other ones? That's the only thing that sucks up my data disc set. <laughs> Is that they die off a little too quickly. And I need to get the actual Imperial Trooper kills themselves, right? Yeah, I'm not doing too well. Not doing too well. <laughs> Yeah, that's yes. How informative is this for you guys? You're loving my conquest testing. Here you go. I'll keep doing it if you guys are learning something. Oh man, where are we at? All right, let me see. Where was I? Is old Ben any good in this game? Um, he's had better days. He's usable, but he's had better days. His best use is probably Star Killer. But I've seen other people utilize them in other in other regards, potentially. Uh, you know, you could use you could use a commander Luke if you wanted to. It's not really the go-to anymore. Uh, Genet Revan finds use out of him, so it all it all depends what you're trying to do with him. Yeah, it's like I, you don't get the same feeling with Scout Trooper and a non-remnant team. The more I think about it, it really makes me mad. She would have been really good across the board. Ah, uh, we have Rossi Fine Arts. Can you stream 8 p.m. Mondays with notice? Going to ask Theory to have you on one of the Ahsoka episodes. 8 p.m. Mondays. Do you stream on 8 p.m. on these? Uh, ask Theory to have you on after one of the Ahsoka episodes. Boy, I'm not much of an evening streamer. Usually when evening comes, I'm like tied up in a bunch of meetings or just even family stuff I got going on. Um, If I can make it happen, Rossi, yeah, I'll let you know. Yeah, evenings are kind of rough for me, you know, because after a certain time, I'm, I got other things going on, you know. And sometimes I like to just make dinner at the Lady of an Alderaan and, uh, you know, catch up. Yeah, how was the day? What'd you do? All the other fun stuff. So I'll, if I can do it, I'll definitely let you know. I'll definitely let you, let you know. I know we, we still haven't been able to line up just a normal Star Wars Theory chat. Uh, I got Captain 723. We have Jacob Goldston, three months. I think you missed my super chat. Yeah, I'm catching up right now. You were uh, mid, you were mid nap. <laughs> I'll catch you up in a sec. I'm catching up right now. Slippy Steve, I hope Malikos is really worth it, the conquest grind. Whew. Not another trench yet. I gotta say, man, uh, this year, what do we got? Malgus is Fury Class Intercept. Incoming Probably the best thing that came out this year. Trench for me, you know, not very usable. Uh, Scythe was really good, then they, and it just became okay after they made some changes to like the profundity lineups. Yeah, so I wasn't too crazy about Scythe uh, after the fact. I love this. If you remember, I love the Scythe when it first came out, and then. It went from something I love to something I'm not really using all that much. Uh, what else we got? Um, yeah, so far, I feel like the Conquest characters have not been on point this year, though. Ah, gosh, I find it hard, though, that Malikos is going to be a letdown. Because unlike, let's say, Trench, Malikos is going to... We. I don't even know if I have enough fingers to count how many lineups he's going to be useful. We talked about Lord Vader. CG was mentioning how you can use Lord Vader. I... I my memory's a bit fo foggy. But didn't they say something along the lines like, if you don't want to use Maul in a Lord Vader team, you can use T M Talon, like, or Terran Malikos? Like, that's kind of a, that's a bold statement to say that. Then there's Seer Junda. I think he's going to be amazing at Seer Junda. Star Killer is going to be fantastic. I think you're going to have a lot of different ways of uh, utilizing it. So, yeah. Uh, I, 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 what I'm trying to say, Slippy, I know kits are one thing, reading a kit's one thing. If it's working in 10, you know, the way it's intended, but I find it hardly just the fact that he should be pretty plug and play viable. Probably one of the most plug and play Conquest characters since Maul Commander Tano. I find it hard to believe that we're not gonna find a good use out of it. So uh, I'm feeling very optimistic about that. If he doesn't work in Lord Vader as well as maybe CG said, I'll be surprised if it doesn't work of Seer Junda. Seer Junda's, look how good Seer Junda is already give her another great character i could definitely see something good coming out of it oh hold up hey, come on don't die don't die don't die but yeah i think that's what we have yeah it's like at least another month away so we got a little bit of time got a little bit of time before that happens there we go nice kills nice kills let's go do some of that beautiful look at scout trooper absolutely wrecking it uh oh you guys yeah someone told somebody to do the galactic challenge i'll try to the, the, the galactic challenge too yeah i'll do that at the very end here i some people seem like it's Difficult. Oh, I got to do the legacy tier. Yeah. Got to do the legacy. The legacy tier is always the best tier. Yeah. Pfft. They always put so much thought into them. It always like engaging gameplay. Here we go. Scout Trooper coming on in for the solo mission. Let's try it out. 
Uh, they get Alex Otello. I did not get Alex Otello. Alex Otello, two times. 499 and a 499. Here, hold on. Let me show you this amazing gameplay. We're going to scope out this hater. We're going to pop that. Oh, my. Now, that's some next level gameplay right there. Hell yeah, baby. That's who. That gave me some solid goosebumps. God, it's getting a little hot in here. That's the, the coolest, most engaging gameplay I've ever had. I, I was a little close. I was worried for a moment. But we were going to have a hard time pushing through that. All right, let's move back on to the conquest. Someone's asking, what's my conquest data disc? I have a whole guide that I put out for the Malico season in case you missed it. But if you want the quick summary on my data disc here, I will show the my data discs. Uh, right now, the meta is primarily this. Most important thing is getting the caustic emissions, the volatile accelerator, thermal data, a uh, thermal exhaust. The, the enemies basically just kill themselves off. Like you don't have to do anything. A little bit of amplify agony doesn't help. Makes the job a lot easier. Uh, ability exhaust. I got a really good set of data this, this time around. Like really good colors too. Like mostly blues. That's very rare. A couple of greens in there. So this is what I'm rocking. There's some other ones that are decent, but this is for this season. This is kind of the, the meta to take your roster as far as you can. The only downside is I mean, I mean, we're making progress. It makes it a little bit more complicated to get kills because you have to actually get the kills, not the thermal detonators and all the damage over time. But overall, like, just, oh boy, I got to show you Captain Rex. Captain Rex is killer here. This is Donald. Yeah, I'm catching up, Clay. I saw, I see your name right here next. But let me get Alex to tell. I almost missed him. If we're short a couple troopers for a full three trooper team, purge trooper, hell yeah. Who else to fill out? Also pull for scout trooper name. Oh yeah, we need a scout trooper name. There we go. Everyone's got a name except her. Uh, here, send that in. All right, let's do. All right, who do we call? So I, I, we got. I know we talked about. Uh, Sally. Um. Oh man, what a oh boy! There's a couple of names we were throwing out there. I completely forgot. Mary. I put Sally on there. I put, there was a, there was a, there was another good one out there. Oh, there's another good one. I can't remember. Yeah, we'll do the Galactic Challenge in a second, Susan. Oh yeah, Sarah. There was another one. Ah. Oh. There was another. It was like a really funny one too. I can't remember for the life of me what it was. Karen the Scout. <laughs> Is it gonna be Karen the Scout? Here, I'll put Karen in. Generally, I like to go by the first letter of their, you know. Like we have Randy the Range Trooper, Derek the Death Trooper, uh, I don't know, Sarah the Scout, <laughs> Karen the Scout Trooper. Here, I'll, I'll just put Karen in there just for... <laughs> Sandy the Scam Trooper. Uh, we already have Sandy, I think. Sandy is, uh, Sandy's the Shore Trooper. <laughs> is this gonna be the only trooper that goes against the first letter of her, of her trooper name? Did I snuff Susan? Ah! <laughs> Karen, let's go! Alright, where was I left off? I know Clay's been waiting patiently. Oh, also, I forgot to read Alex's other one. Uh, what other purge troopers? Man, other purge troopers. Or other imperial troopers. I mean, they could add, like, the flame trooper or whatever. Here. Uh, I got none left. Boy, I guess that's the extent of my... Testing with, uh with them. Do I, uh, I don't know if I can make it to their Imperial Troopers work here. Actually, I know what I could do. Hold on. I know what I could do. Give me a second. Do I have one of those fancy schmancy here? You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to cheese this up a little bit. Let's go to consumables. I think I might have. Oh, I don't have one. I'm looking for one of the frenzy techs. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. I want to see if I can just knock all these out now. Uh, no, 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 no. That's not the one I'm looking for down here. Um, nope, that's not it. Let's go check the other ones real quick. Yeah, because I could just use Frenzy Tech and make this a lot easier on myself. All right, hold up. Let's see. Um, sector three. I, uh, hopefully I have one. Usually there's always one somewhere. <laughs> There we go, Frenzy Tech. There we go. There we go. There we go. That's what I'm looking for. 
Sign of Django Scout Trooper. Hell yeah, now we're talking. Wait, I, I suspect, you know, like when you look at the uh, Mandalorian season, we had the Flame Troopers. I'm surprised we haven't had a Flame Trooper yet. So I wouldn't be surprised they had a Flame Trooper at some point. This is kind of a bold take, but <sighs> you'd think they could maybe add a Praetorian Guard and give him a Trooper tag. I, I know it's a stretch. It's kind of a stretch. But it's something I'm, uh, I could see them maybe do it. You know what I'm saying? So, I would like to see a, a flame trooper at the minimum if, if they had to fill something out. So, I'm down for that. And then we also have also add Imperial Remnant to Superman. Yeah, why do we have that? I'm surprised we don't have um, remnants on the commandos. That would have been pretty sweet to see. All right, let's go drop some Imperial troopers in here. Get me my Vers. Get me my you. Get me Dark Trooper. And doesn't really matter at that point. Get me Wat Tambor. So we can make sure we hit that frenzy. There we go. Let's do it, baby. Let's do it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's do it. And then we have uh, Brian Settler. New super chat for the first time. Thank you, baby. Hey, Jay, been watching since the J care was glitched. My gosh, that was a that was a minute. That was quite a minute there. Uh, getting married this Saturday. Nice. Congratulations. Round of applause for Brian. Also want to tell you my name. For Conquest Pass is Scamberg. <laughs> nah. Oh, yeah, it's a. Uh, I'm actually curious. I actually want to open up this poll. It looks like Sally's going to be the name for Scout Trooper. Sally the Scout Trooper. I like it. All right, we'll go with Sally. <laughs> Congratulations, though. I'm actually curious. Um, this is not going to be a really good poll, but I'm, I'm just curious. Do you buy. Conquest Pass? We'll do. Um, and there's no shame it's all anonymous i'm just curious incoming donation all right I, I, I'm, I'm just curious if anyone i should have done a poll beforehand how many people did it i'm curious to see if people have been um buying the pass now that you get extra conquest proving grounds all right, that caucus with extra, extra proving grounds. Let's do that. All right, let's get rid of you. There we go. Oh, yeah. Absolute annihilation. There we go. Beautiful. A uh, beautiful. Made it very nice. A poem. Good stuff. I don't know. Just throw it somewhere. Does it matter? Let's see if we can try to. Oh, that should wrap it up. Oh, come on. Seriously? Come on. There we go. Wrap it up. Punch him. All right. All right. How many votes we got so far? 337 votes. Ooh, I'm actually, I'm actually, uh, I'm not too surprised about the $30 pass. I'm actually quite surprised um, about how much are so far into none. We'll, we'll let it sit there again. Or kind of, I probably should have asked that question a little bit earlier when we had double the audience chilling, watching our stuff. I was a little curious what it's showing. Like, I, I wasn't expecting a big boost in $30 passes. It's just, it's so much, man. It's so much. Take a break from sure what's going on now. Basically just chatting and uh, doing some lovely conquest stuff. Everyone's favorite. Let's see. Hopefully I don't screw this up if I put on auto. You're going to screw this up, aren't you? There we go. Come on, give me those kills. There we go. Nicely done. And get the rest. Don't let them, don't let them die. Don't let them die. Don't let them die. Don't listen. Don't let them die. I need the, I need them dead myself. There we go. Nicely done. I'm thinking, ooh, should I maybe? Ooh, because if I if I win, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm just going to. Ooh, I might let this time out so I can use my data disc a little bit longer. Okay, yeah, I might just so I can knock out this Imperial Trooper feet right now. Anyways, where are we at? Lost my train of thought. Anyways, yeah, Alex Otello. Uh, also adding Imperial Remnant to Super Mando. I, I actually, I'm actually, I'm actually thorough. Now that you brought this up, Alex, I'm actually thoroughly expecting a Mandalorian trooper. Like, I'm, I'm down for that. It would make sense too, right? A Super Imperial Commando. Whew. I'd be surprised if we don't get that. Uh, just, you know, so we're not going to get Beskar getting until December, January. So uh, plenty of time to fill in the gap. We'll have to wait and see. $30 for EA game is chump change. I think the problem I have is that 
that's ninety dollars per conquest trio, right? That's that's I don't know. I, like the ten dollar pass, there's no way beating on a bush. It has ten dollars of value. It's, it's it's assuming you can make it as far as you can in the pass to a farther. Except if you're not making it far, it doesn't have value. That's one of the issues of the pass. Yeah, they they really kind of goofed it up. They did they did the battle pass in the wrong way. <laughs> uh, I don't know how they messed it up. It's like one of the there's so many references in the, the gaming industry how to do a battle pass appropriately so both free to play and people that spend money get their value they somehow messed it up in both regards i don't know how that's possible has those would be pretty sweet though yeah 30 dollars is half of baldur's gate 3 people have been telling me man baldur's gate 3 has been fantastic uh i should love to try it out glad yeah i want to do a few more of these and we'll do it anyways i gotta get clay's been waiting so patiently clay olsen new legacy care coming oh was that confirmed any predictions with clay is that is that a confirmed thing that there's a legacy character coming or are you just speculating there's gonna be a legacy character coming are you still here clay yeah, I, if you if you if you if you saw that somewhere i want to see it legacy character though so we had afro star killer so legacy characters are well afro is canon though isn't she yeah she's canon you gotta see what people spend on madden and fifa team oh i oh i know yeah that's a that's a that's another big revenue generator okay you're speculating Man, legacy character. So it's gotta be something like a main character of something. Um, hold on. I have an idea. I gotta double check. Oh man, it's been a long, long time. A long, long time since I played Clone Commandos. You think, like, you think, like, you know, uh, I don't know. Does this, does this seem, does this seem legacy character, you know, type? I don't know. Maybe not. I'm just trying to, I'm trying to think, like, other video games and other legacy type of appearance. Like, legacy characters are kind of, they're kind of interesting. The kind of Mitra Surik, maybe? The redesign for Darth Vader and Luke Skywalker? Hell yeah. I'd be down for that. Yeah, that's, that's, a, that's a tough one. I'm actually... Because Legacy... Like, I can list, like, many legendary characters in Galactic Legends. Legacy characters are kind of... They're exciting because they're unique. They're very unique compared to your normal run-the-mill things. Kind of like that oddball. You know, like Starkiller, Doctor Effort, kind of a little bit off the beaten path of what we're normally used to. And the cool thing about Legacy characters, you get a bunch of random characters that help out a bunch of stuff. So I, I do like Legacy characters a lot. I'm just not sure who I would, uh, like Mitra feels like it should be like a normal legendary or conquest. I don't know if she's legacy though. That's the, that's the, the weird thing about it. I'm actually a little stumped. I don't have a good answer for that. I can tell you any legendaries and stuff I can think of, but I can't think of a good legacy character. They're, uh, definitely kind of unique in that regard, but it's harder to predict what a legacy character would be. Uh, where else did I miss out here? I guess let me see Michael Pruitt. <laughs> I got out back. Hell yeah. What? Well, I'm glad Michael Pruitt got some. Did you get what I recommended, though? Uh, oh, boy. Someone's having a good lunch there. Uh, Nerd Theory, 8 p.m. on Mondays. That's why. Okay, he said Theory doesn't see you. Oh, uh, yeah. He, yeah he's, he's a later streamer, for what I can tell. I said that I would ask him at work. He's West Coast time. Okay. Isn't he from Canada? Is he from Canada or is he from the United States? I could have sworn in uh, Theory's Canadian. I could be completely wrong. I don't know why I got that impression. I thought I could have sworn it was so, Okay, he's from Vancouver. Okay. I was like, I was like, I was like he's from Canada somewhere. Because I know Eckhart's Ladder's in Canada. A lot of Star Wars YouTubers up in Canada. Isn't Star Wars Explained Canadian as well? Feels like all like the big Star Wars guys, they're mostly from Canada. <laughs> oh, Bane. That would be pretty, yeah, Bane would be pretty sick. That would be pretty sick. Oh, um, yeah. All right, what are we doing here? Just same thing here. Yeah. I kind of just want to do the same thing. Just want to try to milk out my, my kills here. Just so I can knock out the feet. I probably should have. That was a dumb play on my part. Should have done the mark. That's fine. We'll get there again eventually. Nicely done. All right. Let's go ahead. Yeetify you. Okay. Taunt up. Just, yeah, just whatever. Let's go for the yeetification. All right. You got yeetified. It's over the short trooper. Uh, basic. There we go. And we'll just let it be. We'll let it be. All right, Plagueis, that'd be pretty cool. I, I, we had this conversation. I don't know. I don't know how close of a relationship CG has of Lucas. So obviously, to some degree, they have some good relationship. 
but Plague is we don't really have like a live action look. I don't think we have an animated look. Uh, I know we have like some random artwork, but I think that's not even like, a, like official canon. I don't think Lucasfilm is gonna let CG be the first game to make a canon appearance of of uh, Plagueis. I, I just don't see it. And I, I, I see eventually when Disney wants to explore Plagueis, you know it's gonna happen. I think that's when they'll get greenlit to Incoming. add a Plagueis to the game. I don't see Plagueis coming anytime soon though. I'd be very surprised if Capital Games gets first dibs on making a Plagueis. So uh, gotta wait and see. Unpopular opinion, Snoke should be a set turn lifter. I don't think that's unpopular at all. I think a lot of people would be in your your uh, camp of thought. Uh, that's I think it's been kind of in the the windmill discussion a little bit too. Mark my taste, two dollars. Yeah, Dirge. There we go. Yeah, I can see Dirge. Yeah, Dirge. I think it kind of fits a legacy. Boy, gosh, I can't tell you how many people always ask for Dirge, man. I don't think it's impossible. Oh wait, does he have a can? I didn't know he had a cannon appearance. Oh my gosh, I forgot. Yes, he was mentioned in um, Afra. Yeah, Dirge was a fearsome male Gendai bounty hunter who was active during the Clone Wars for an Imperial era. Dirge is involved in the Clone Wars. This is the canon appearance too. By working for the Separatists against the Galactic Republic, he got that. I thought it was only a Legends appearance. I didn't know he was canon. Yeah, I want Dirge now. Yeah, you know, uh, there we go. You know, if I had to put a vote down, I mean, come on, look, look at a freaking dude I'm like come on dude dude <laughs> yeah there we go it's not a star us we have uh dr f dude come the frick on yeah you know all right clay that's my that's my vote dirge 100 percent legacy character dude that guy looks ripped man head to toe i love it oh <laughs> uh, what else we got here um yeah dirge be, yeah I'm, I'm on your page mark Mate. i love it dark side uh i'm sorry slippy steve two dollars Dark side file first for Lord Vader. Yeah, they really, man, they they messed up on Lord Vader. Uh, his is the weird. I, let me double, double, double. Besides Sith Eternal, I mean, at least he works with a bunch of Sith loosely. <laughs> Lord Vader it seems. I don't think anyone like if if we had Darth Vader be the Galactic Legend, you know, like suited Darth Vader. All right, it would make sense having Tarkin and uh, Royal Guard. Yeah, Lord Vader, man. It should have been a clone team. Like that would have been pretty awesome. They, they, they. I was one of the many things that was wrong. Lord Vader with Royal Guard and Darth Vader and you know, uh, Thrawn, and then Maul. It's just like there's like there's like zero connection to really all those guys. I guess again, this game doesn't have to be lore accurate, but there should be some mild degree. Like you know, Jabba. It's kind of makes sense you know it makes sense with how the team is formed all right you know um kenobi you know for the most part makes sense you know but yeah lord Vader, it's, he's kind of got some of the, like one of the weirdest teams that don't really like spirit of Kyle red makes sense ray i mean her core team makes sense that she works with a variety of stuff but at least like her core team she first came out made sense it was a bunch of resistance characters all right made sense but yeah i think they they messed up a little bit <laughs> in that regard uh, Clay Olsen, Plagueis can build up the GL chance prompt to- Ooh, yeah. There you go. That, that's what I like to see. That's what I like to see. Can do the GC after this? Boy, Mike really wants to do this GC. Once I'm done with the Super Chats, I'll do GC. Like, like, this I can talk while this just does its thing in the background. So, I, I like that idea, though. Man, you guys got good ideas. But yeah, Slippy Steve did. Don't get me started on Lord Vader. They- They messed up in a couple of different aspects. Uh, did I get Jacoby? I'm going to cap find Jacoby here in a moment. We talked to Captain 723. The testing went very well today. I love my Imperial Remnants now. We talked to Clay Olsen, Alex Otello, Michael Pruitt. Let me make sure I check mark all you folks. Uh, Nick Carter, I got you. I got a check mark next to you. We have Faustus the Cool. Did I get you? I got you. DMP Golfer, along with the Imperial Remnants. I got you. I got a little check mark right there. Uh, what do we got? I got Rossi, Casey McConnell. I got you. Boy, I love this check mark thing. Uh, we got Rossi, of course, again. Lucas Sosa, new membership to the Comic Con VIP Plus program. Thank you for your patience. We were really in the weeds of it. Like once we were in the weeds of the Imperial Remnant stuff, I was really like in the zone. I was losing track of where I was at. Um, we got Max Strong's. Unfortunately, yeah, the <sighs> yeah, unfortunately, Scout does not work the way you thought it would, and I thought so too for a moment until I reread the kit and I passed it over there. Egg McNog, did I get you? Oh my gosh. <laughs> um, I didn't. I, did I get you? I hope I got Egg McNog. Oh, I did not. Oh, shoot. 
Incoming hey, Big Nagwa, I hope the job interview went well. Uh, I have a space interview in 10 minutes. Your stream is helping me relax. Incoming Thank you, my therapist. I swear to calm begin. I am so sorry I missed that. I hope your interview went well. Hopefully you did show your resume and your extensive experience with the Kyber Club. Uh, you should get the job right away. Just by showing those metrics. Don't talk about your education. Don't talk about job experience. It means nothing when you're here at 25 -8. That's a full-time commitment if I've ever seen one. So hopefully it went well, Egg uh, McNog. Hopefully I didn't miss you too much. Hopefully you came back a little bit later. We have Crusader Souls placed the Darth Riven at, Dar uh, at uh, 126. Yeah, we, we did a Darth Riven battle in my free-to-play account. It's just, again, it's one of those things where... I'm not seeing Scott Trooper making a material difference for... Uh, for Veers. It's like, Veers is... She's not really adding much. I mean, I guess if you don't have anything, you throw her in her, but I think she's got a better use in Iden Versio and ultimately Gideon as well. But thank you. I appreciate people on the free-to-play account trying to reach out to me. Uh, we got one person at least in there. Uh, we have Mr. Scrolls to dollars Bugged. Is she doing 75% less damage on call to says It looks like Dark Trooper's hitting as hard as he is. He's hitting for like 200,000 and says, I'm not seeing the 75% less damage. He's doing some pretty good stuff. Uh, we got uh, Slash Dragon earlier on. Thank you so much. Ewoks, as much as I dog on Lord Vader, I don't think Ewoks are beating Lord Vader, but I'd welcome to see it. We have more Kai Vokun. Love this character. Love the streams. Glad you're enjoying it. We got uh, Wesley Stone. Thank you so much. I already got you. We have Music at Akira. I got you. Travis Kiesling. I got you already. We have uh, Crypto Chicken. If you split up the Veers, why you storm in death? Because they are the Imperial Remnants. The full out the full Imperial Remnant team. So that's all I'm, I'm just going by. The, we only have five Imperial Remnants. So it's not like I really had much other choice to kind of keep the full cohesiveness of an Imperial Remnant squad. Yeah, I, it, I really think it could have easily added Shore Trooper as an Imperial Remnant. Uh, you, you know, like the probably Super Commando could be an Imperial Remnant. There's definitely a few more they could have had. I just went with whatever the faction had to offer right now. Just so we could try out the full thing. Um, we got Rossi again. We checked out the Ahsoka trailer. Very excited to see it. We got Viper. We have Chad. Thank you so much, Chad, for the five months. We did a lot of three-star testing today. Love it. Sweet Demise, a scout trooper who hit Grogu. There we go. JS1970. That's what it was. Yes, yes, yes. Jason Sudeikis. Sudeikis birth year and initials. Yes. Thank you for the reminder, Sweet. I'm not sure if you're here, Sweet Demise. Yeah, again, I... I am disappointed we didn't get that one, that that Scout Trooper. I'm just happy we have Scout Trooper regardless. I think they, I feel like they missed out on a big opportunity to do that. Hey, we have Jabba's Nutsack, HDV, three out of four done with Leviathan requirements. Hell yeah. Yeah. Um, listen, he's, at least it's a usable fleet now. It's kind of like Lord Vader though. I'm not seeing the Relic 9 and Conquest investment paying off. Like, if someone told me I only could pick one, I think I'd probably go for Profundity over Leviathan. And, hell, maybe even Executor over Leviathan. Yeah, I'm have. I know they're looking into making it better on defense. <sighs> yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Miss my super chat. Yeah, I'm, I'm slowly craw crawling up, Brian. Slowly getting there. What's the ideal Malgus setup? Mine gets one shot every GC. Well, you got to look at your Grand Arena history, T1GZ. Thanks for the 499. Uh, it depends what people are using. They might be using... You got to keep in mind, you can have the perfect Malgus lineup. It doesn't mean you're guaranteed to get holds. Like, you know, I don't know what division of uh, Grand Arena you're in. I don't know what teams you have, what teams you face. But, you know, there's... Malgus is not an unbeatable character. Almost every... I feel like almost every Galactic Legend, except, like, Lord Vader... <laughs> I'm not even joking. Uh, you know, it's so, uh, I have a guilty pleasure. One of my guilty pleasures, you know, you, you have the counter meta. So like, if you want to get views, you got to also like say something against what I say. Cause it's like, oh, okay. It's a different opinion. I want to listen to it. And you get the people who advocate for Lord Vader. And then I, I see them get timed out behind Amalgus and I just can't help but laugh. <laughs> it's just, it's so funny seeing Lord Vader. And I've been there too. I've been timed out behind Malgus as well. It's hilarious. Um, but almost every Galactic Legend beats Malgus. Then you have things like uh, Jedi Knight Cal Kestis, which is new. You probably don't see that. General Anakin Skywalker can get through it. But if you want to make sure you're minimizing the other lower tier stuff, um, you want to make sure you have Malgus, Darth Vader, and Malik, Bastla Shan, Fallen, and Talon. That's generally the best lineup. And the issue is if you go too skinny and you start excluding Malik, Revan, Bastla, then it's way too easy. Bounty hunters can start beating. You open yourself up to a world of pain. For this, oh yeah, Darth Trade can also kind of beat it as well. Uh, it depends on the lineup. 
All right, one more battle. Cool. Just one more. One more Imperial Trooper battle. We can knock out the FP. Don't you guys love Conquest? You guys... I know you guys love watching me do this. So, uh, yeah, you got... You got. Uh, there's a lot of ops out there. So, hopefully, you're looking at... Look at your record. Go to SWH.GG. Look up your account and see what people are using against you. And if they're using gas, Galactic Legends... There's not really much you can do to stop it, except maybe some good data crons to shut down gas. Otherwise, you're... It's a beatable team. You know, my Malgus gets one shot quite a lot too. Not really much you can do about it. You know, there, there's everything has a counter. Everything's got a counter uh, to some extent. Some more, some less. All right, let's go ahead and do that. I think we can just full send it here. There we go. I don't need to pay attention. You guys can just full send it. There we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The win is just a click away. You know how it goes. Yeah, I'm farming feats right now. I'm just, uh, I'm doing the Imperial Trooper kills. It's, it's just a lot faster doing it this way, I think. All right, let's see. I got to keep climbing. If I know I missed on so many people. Uh, what else we got? Right, truly omniscient. Did I get you? It seems the way... Yeah, it kind of seems weird. They want to break up Veers. But they did say in their 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 post about Scout Trooper, eventually, whenever Moff Gideon Beskar comes out, Dark Trooper should go back on Veers. It, the, the, I think the Imperial Troopers are going to have a lot of changes in the upcoming future. So whatever we're seeing now, just know that's this isn't their final form. No way. All right, let me knock out some of these global feats while we're here, and I can keep catching up with y'all. All right, I got to do some of that. I'm almost there. Let's do some clone troopers. Let's do some Darth Malgus feats. Hold on. Do I need the... What do I need? Do I need currency or do I need materials? Let's see. I'm going to do our other thing. Everyone loves Datacron. CG nailed it out of the park. The idea of taking something I haven't spent time investing and in, just ripping it away from me, it's a brilliant move on CG's part. Uh, all right, we need some credits. All right, we're going to do some... Um, Sector one stuff then. Here we go. Sector one. Let's see up here. Oops, oops, oops. Get out of my way. All right. Do some Malgus. Do some uh, clone troopers. Here we go. All right. Hopefully they got mods on them. We have a lot of mods ripped off because of Crate Dragon Raid as well as uh, all of our scout trooper testing today. All right. And there you go. Keep them rolling, baby. Keep it rolling. Ah, uh, the key to JC is manipulating the wallet-based matchmaking. Hell yeah. I can tell you, listen to AP Games. That's something he's coined. Wallet-based matchmaking. I love it. All right, what do we got? Mark Mate, use remnants against Radis. Yeah, we, um, I mean, I don't know if I can guarantee he's going to do well in Grand Arena once Omicrons are turned on Radis. But hey, we did beat Radis. And that's something more than Veers could do. Uh, what else we got here? Uh, we got, uh, raining heavily. Great seeing you, my friend. Hope you're doing well. Get Perch to replace Gary. Listen, I'm happy. Yeah, Gary did some really good stuff today, man. That mall battle is a really good indication of what he's capable of. Oh, boy, not that stupid glitch. They still haven't fixed that sound glitch. Anytime Tech is on the field, he makes that weird sound effect. Hey, Arnold, Web Store gives bonus crystals. Are they giving... Um, oh, are you talking about for... Yeah, no, no, no. I've, I've been over this, uh, Matthew. I really don't want to spend money on their Web Store. I don't think they deserve it. <laughs> they don't really put great offerings. Like, if they put... like I, I think I bought maybe... Like, maybe one or two things on the web store. Maybe not even that much. Maybe one thing. I don't... There's really... The, the web store has nothing of value financially except for the uh, the freebies. Well, that's the, really the only reason to go on there is just for the freebies. Otherwise, for me, I'd rather use the Google Play Points. The Google Play Points have more value to me than the cr extra crystals given to CG. Or CG gets like this about 5%. whoop de doo Give me more. Or give me a crystal discount. Because you got to remember, like, if they would maybe cut the cost, because remember, they're, the reason why the web store exists, why does it exist? The web store exists because they're trying to bypass the 30% cut that Apple Google take, which makes sense. I don't blame them for that. But they're not passing any of the savings to us. They want to keep it all. So, like, if maybe they sold the $100 crit for uh, $70, okay, yeah, I'll, I'll buy your crystals there. Otherwise, for me, I'd much rather use the Google Play Points because the Google Play Points I can use for a variety of games out there. I can use it for a store credit, too. I can use it for store credit. I can buy something from Google. I can use store credit to pay for something in Galaxy of Heroes. So for me, I just don't see the value of spending money in the web store. Uh, if they would actually give me something to incentivize me, I would do it. Look, same thing their packs. They, they price their packs pretty much the same. They'll take a dollar off. It's like, come on. It just... It's it's kind of uh, it's it feels slimy, it feels dirty. It's like you, you, they they they're not in the business of like making you feel like you're getting value for your money at the end of the day. 
Uh, how many play points do I have? That is a interesting question. Oh, uh, let's hear. Uh, we'll just actually let him finish the battle in case it crashes on me. Uh, I remember the last time I used my Google Play points, I we redeemed a couple hundred dollars for a character. I can't remember which character is for. Like once in a while, I'll get a free character, right? That feels nice, you know. Or I can use it for something else. All right, let me see here. What do we got? We have thirteen thousand play points. So, um, there's a rest. So like I can get Google Play points. So, what is that? I can't do math right now. My brain's fried. Let's see, thirteen six two. I could easily do this math. So I could buy that thirteen times. So you know, it's like hundred thirty dollars right there. And there's other games. I, I did hear though they, <laughs> CG man, they they're, God, they're so slimy. I I believe recently they they took off their. Their Google Play, they used to have Google Play bundles. They took that away. And like those had some good value to them, but they took it away recently. I think they were getting mad that since they couldn't provide a, a value to overcome their competitors, which is Google, they're, in a weird way, they are a competitor because they're trying to earn your business versus giving it. <laughs> nice, nice, nice. <laughs> CG's not going to give you that. I promise you that. <laughs> but yeah, I think they took it away. Like, I don't even think you'll get, do, you get, do they even have extra? Yeah, I don't think they even have. Yeah, they took away their Galaxy of Heroes offerings. Uh, so, I, you know, like, here's the thing. Be a better company. Yeah, Google, they have their offering. Why can't you do better than Google? Give us a better discount for me to consider. And I think that's another reason why I don't really want to spend money on their website because it just, it shows uh, they kind of have this, like, very snooty approach to their business model. I really feel like, oh, like, we're, you know, we don't need to we don't need to give you a deal we'll just take all our offerings off google play and make you feel like you have to come to this it's it's like 10 percent principle and the other percent i just feel like i still even though they took away the, the galaxy viewers offerings i still feel like i get a better value with google play points than five percent extra crystals or whatever it is yeah uh, yeah Arnold's discovering capitalism i know well i don't even know if this is truly capitalism in this form true capitalism Okay, we gotta, I gotta restart the game. I can't listen to that. True capitalism at its core, it should promote competition. It should promote a forward progression in a way. Yes, of course, there's always externalities that capitalism cause. I don't want to get into the whole economic theories of all the different things out there, but true capitalism should promote competition. When there's competition, people should be working their best to give, at the end of the day, the consumer the best deal possible in a perfect world doesn't always seem to work that way but i just said it's uh you would think though that cap I mean, capital games would want to give you more of an incentive to use their website versus google play and as a consumer i'm not feeling it so i don't see myself wanting to uh to go that way again they could earn my business if they just followed the <laughs> what capitalism is trying to lead them down i if they would uh change their model up and give me a 10 20 discount every single time i buy crystals all right you might have my business or if you actually sell a pack, that's a lot. Here's the thing. I actually, don't, I actually have not been spending a lot of money in Galaxy of Heroes lately. I hate to say it. I hate to say it. Ever since a lot of the gear economy changes, the crate raid and the double gear, uh, and the accessibility to car, like I always buy my Kyrotex from my currencies that I have. I really don't spend money on Galaxy. Characters, that's pretty much it. Uh, ever since they eased up on the gear economy. Uh, which is probably why they held off for so long because they knew it was going to happen. I just don't find myself spending nearly that. That's fine. I don't want to spend money I don't have to spend. Yeah. As, aside from characters. Okay. What I said specifically. Character. But before, I used to buy relic packs. I used to buy gear packs. I don't really do that anymore. Uh, only thing I'll buy once in a while, I'll buy the Omicron pack that they have. I, I haven't bought the $300 one or whatever it was. Was it $200, $300 on the website? I haven't bought that. <laughs> that's a little too... Uh, <laughs> You know, that's a little, that's a little much, but I, uh, yeah, pretty much characters are really the only thing I spend money on, and that's it, but I used to, there used to be a time that I used to buy, um, you know, a lot of gear packs, a lot of relic packs, and I'm not complaining, it's nice not having to spend money to keep up with making videos, I just buy the characters, and I always have ton, tons of gear hoarded up at the end of the day, so, uh, yeah, it's, I think it's pretty much so Crons that, uh, like, if there's a $30 one, but otherwise, yeah, it's pretty good, uh, not mad, but I, I, it makes me understand why they were hesitant 
to uh, they really did a good job unleashing their gear economy a lot more than before Here, my last time you gotta go oh boy i'm gonna lose my place i'm gonna lose my place uh where is it at there's only pack yeah that's the one i talked about yeah that's the one i got but there's there's a i think it's 300 dollars on the web store i have not bought that one <laughs> It has like what like 90 omicrons or something. It's got a big chunk of omicrons, but Can't remember how much it is. It's it's pretty expensive. Uh clay olsen. Why did cg help you dude? You're 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 asking the same questions. I was asking the other day Uh clay olsen coming in again. Why did cg help java but not help out lord vader? I I don't understand It just puzzles me on the fact that they want to help job against knights is just never help lord vader with bounty hunters I and Dude, you are a hundred percent in the right. I showed the data the other day Night Sisters with a good data cross set. They're only like 26% successful, but it's more or less a guarantee you're going to break apart Java. Uh oh. What happened? Well, that's unfortunate. Oh, gotta love when that happens. Uh, but the, yeah, the Lord Vader battle, Lord Vader, you gotta keep in mind, he's got multiple relic gates, expensive team, maul, and the Fennec, when Lord Vader's got a good data cross set. It's still like 50%, even with Datacrons in favor of Lord Vader. So, yeah, I, 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 I said this just literally the other day when I uh, was talking about the Night Sisters getting a potential nerf. I don't quite know why. Um, it, it perplexes me. I feel like they're just trying to keep the ongoing joke about how they just want to keep Lord Vader bad for us. I don't know. I honestly don't have a better answer for you. But yeah, you, uh, you nailed it on the head, just like I was saying the other day. Uh, we have uh, Rudy Alejos. Thank you so much, Rudy. How are you doing? I'm doing fantastic. It was a fantastic day. It's great to be back in the swing of things, you guys. Fun, uh, fun stuff with Scout Trooper. All that other shenanigans stuff. Um, well, thank you for all that you... Pfft, listen, I'm just here having a good time. Nothing to thank me. I gotta thank you guys for coming out, truthfully. Oh, uh, we have Explicive. Two months. It's my birthday. Happy birthday to you. Ah! Round of applause. Give my air horn. Happy birthday, my friend. Get to watch. I was part of it. Man, great to have you here on your birthday. We know you got other stuff to do with your birthday. You can be at Chuck E. Cheese right now. But instead, you decide to hang out with us here at the Carver Club. The good thing is we're open 25 8, and we actually have good food. Has anyone actually been to Chuck E. Cheese in recent... I don't know how Chuck E. Cheese still exists. Like, I thought that was like a 90s thing. I feel like Chuck E. Cheese should have been born and ended in the 90s. I don't know how they're still around to this day. Uh, but just that's just how it is. That's just how it is, I guess. I don't make up the rules on... Chuck E. Cheese lifespan. Uh, we have Gamer for Life, 369, 20 months. First team, Gary. Say hey, Larry. Maybe Scout Mary. Ooh. I think yeah, Larry's the only one that's got a. Uh, n yeah, he's got to got a. He's got a more unique name to it. I don't. Know, I think. I think the vote went to Sally. I think it's so far the vote has been Sally to Scout Trooper. And then we have Surprise Goblin too. The ten dollars very late because I had to go for a bit, but I made a first order Jet Trooper fan kit a while back. Oh yeah, Jet Troopers. How about that one? And I feel good about it, but lost it since. Oh, gosh. It would have been introduced that new mechanic, too. Ooh. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm actually... Uh, yeah, I completely forgot about the Jet Troopers. I would love to see that. I would love to see the Jet Trooper from Battlefront, too. I know we're, you're probably talking about the one from Last Jedi. Not Last Jedi. Rise of Skywalker. I would have loved to see the, the Jet Trooper from uh, the Empire Jet Trooper in the OG Battlefront, too. That would have been really cool really cool they fly now they fly now <laughs> there we go we got our clone troopers knocked out very nicely done let me um all right cool so that's knocked out what else do i have to do in the conquest event feats what do we got okay we got to knock out malgus i usually skip out on that one i do that one let me see if i here let's get some captain rex action going here i need some more currency so we got to go down here well, let me see if we can get some captain rex going here we're gonna have to juice him up a little bit with some stim packs all right what's the team it's got to be Hera Ezra all right that's what I gotta do oh I don't want to go back I'm pretty I'm gonna take a gamble I'm pretty sure this is the lineup I gotta use for the feet all right what do we got here um oh I don't want to spend crystals on this so, yeah, whatever just just give it to me just give it to me let's get a couple of these knocked out boom boom that's all you get that's it that's all you can get me? Oh. Oh. That's right. Okay, cool. All right, I think I, I got to check his mods. I think I pulled off. Oh, he's got mods. All right. Cool. Everyone's got mods. Let's go for it. All right. Send it on in. Keep it going. 
Give me a good chance. Rex over 230 goes first, by the way. Nice, 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 nice. Captain Rex is a ton of fun. Yeah, like, I, I just love Captain Rex so much. Oh, man. God, I love him. I love Captain Rex, man. I'm so happy they added him. It was definitely, I was not, that was not on my bingo card for this year. All right. What do we got? I got you. Thank you so much. Yeah, Jet Troopers, I would love to see that happen at some point. Oh, okay. Let me go. I need to go back to like the older Super Chats. That's what I was trying to do because I'm like so far behind. There we go. Uh, Jacob Johnson, glad I could catch the stream today. Happy to have you if you're even still here, but I appreciate you being here. <laughs> even if you're not here anymore, if you know what I mean. Uh, glad I could catch the stream today. Leaving from Mexico tomorrow for the wedding. Just want to say that it's great to be in the Empire today. Ooh. You're going to come back with the full body tan, right? Full body tan, head to toe. I expect nothing less out of my friend. Enjoy the wedding. Hope to catch you again soon. Enjoy the nice weather that comes along to Mexico. I, you know what? I've been to Canada. I've been to many countries. Europe. I have not been to Mexico. Man, I gotta make it. I gotta make it happen. I have not been to Mexico at all. Uh, I actually have never been really that far. The farthest south I've been was Florida. Is that really even considered south at that point? I've never been to Texas. Gotta make a trip out of that. Never been to Arizona. I've never been to Super. Well, I mean, how far is? How far is, uh, I gotta look. How far is Los Angeles down in California? But yeah, I've never been that close to California. You aren't missing much, not going to Mexico. Really? I don't mind, my parents went there way back when. New Orleans, I've been to New Orleans. I've been to New Orleans. But technically, I think I was, I was farther south in Florida than New Orleans. Um, nonetheless, have a good time. Yeah, I'm just trying to think, you know, there's so many places, man. We got a little bit of time. We gotta enjoy all that's given to us. Uh, we have Jacob E. Gunston, nine out of 10. First year alt. Take a Rolex for the newest character. <laughs> How much does a, a, a Rolex cost? I'm, I'm curious. I'm not much into watches. Not really, you know, my kind of thing. I mean, I understand why they're, you know, why they're kind of uh, new watches, 2023. I mean, I'm assuming if I got to ask how much it is, probably can't afford it, right? Let's see. Let's, let's, let's look. I'm going to look here. Cosmograph Daytona. Let's see. Discover more. I just want to see the price tag. I know a mobile gamer, he got a, he has a Rolex camera. I think he probably spent maybe, I, I could be making up numbers. Pretty sure he spent like, no, I can't, did he spend 10 grand in it? I don't know. I remember he, when he got it, he was talking about it, like, it's going to hold its value, yada, 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 yada. Maybe sell it for more. Uh, how much is a Rolex? Oh yeah. So that's got, it's got a range of prices. 6,500 all the way to 75,000 MSRP, man. Uh, I don't know. Yeah. Uh, but like 5K for a cheap new one. I don't know. From what I can understand, like some Rolexes hold their value and... I don't understand much of watches. I, that's, 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 a, that's a big range as I saw. Yeah, that's like... A, I'm fine with an Apple Watch, you know. I always tell myself, you know, if I was about to fall off a cliff, I guess I'd have a better chance of surviving with an Apple Watch that could at least call 911 when I'm knocked out than in a Rolex. I don't know. But everyone's, you know, everyone's got, uh, listen, everyone's got different tastes and style. I'm just not too crazy about watches. Yeah, that's just how I'm in. Before I had an Apple Watch, I would always just buy like the $10 watches from like a Walgreens or something like that. And I use it, you know, that, that's how I, that's how I go about it. But you know, I understand it's a fashion statement for some people. All right, let's keep moving along. Almost there. All right, what do we got? We haven't visited Barry in a while. Oh, dude, how do I explain Barry? Raining heavily. All right. Next time we'll take a, we'll take a visit over to Barry. I, I don't want to spring on him on it, you know, without invitation. You know what I mean? But we'll, we'll, we'll catch him another time. Because when I see the guy and I don't announce myself, he's a little too excited. Just a little bit. You know, I, I don't mind excitement, but it's like he doesn't give me my personal space that I need. But we'll, we'll check up on him. Uh, Alex, so thank you so much. Uh, what else we got here? Uh, reading heavily. How are you? What games have you been playing over the past months? Man, I've been so busy lately. Uh, I've been playing this game called Galaxy of Heroes. Uh, I was playing a lot of Marvel Snap for about six months, and then I kind of fell off the wagon in May. I'm kind of sad I fell off the wagon. I really, I really did enjoy Marvel Snap. Um, we play. <laughs> I still got oh, crap. I gotta finish Jedi Survivor still. <laughs> Even though I know how the game ends, I saw spoilers on it. <laughs> I gotta finish Jedi Survivor. Um, uh, a couple weeks ago, my siblings were, were playing like old school Modern Warfare 2. We were having a blast on the Xbox. So that, that was a lot of fun. Uh, I, feel, I feel like this is something else I'm forgetting. 
I've been trying, you know, a couple of random mobile games here and there as well. So, I mean, you know, not as much lately. I'm hoping my schedule become a bit more free in the next month or two. But, uh, man, yeah, there's, there's so many games I've been wanting to play. Like, I've been hearing a lot about this Baldur's Gate or whatever. People have been saying, oh, man, you got to try it out. You got to try it out. It's just one of those things, like, I don't really have time to, like, just sit down and play a game. I'm always either seeing family, doing stuff, or YouTube, other business stuff, or whatever the case might be. That's why I, I hate to say I kind of like mobile gaming because I can kind of play on the go. I don't have to like sit down park because when you're playing it like a triple A game, you got to sit there and you got to like you can't you're just you're playing just for strictly enjoyment. And, and I always got stuff going on. That's why I kind of like mobile gaming. So like in between the day, I just pick it up, boom, 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 do some stuff, play on the phone, keep moving on. Uh, it's really hard for me just to sit down and just play a normal game once in a while. BG3 has made me I've been hearing some great stuff. Yeah, what's Jedi Survivor, man? Yeah, I know, right? All right, I think I'm probably going to tap it out on Conquest here. I know people want me to do some Galactic Challenge, so let's do it here. Now we have Isaac Toto, 32 months. No trooper here, but I did just unlock JMK. Uh, I would take that out. I would take that over Scout Trooper as much as I think she's cool. JMK all day, baby. Mass, congratulations. You know, it's... Uh... Yeah, man, Mass... Oh, gosh, that noise. How would they not fix that? I literally feel like <laughs> they're trying to torture me right now. Let's just reboot the game real quick. There we go. Ah, anyways. <laughs> I don't know how that's been in there for so freaking long. Uh, what do we got here? Uh, Isaac, what do I got you? War written 20 months. Hey, GA. I almost have all the JMLS requirements held to the freaking yeah, yeah. Then on the JKCK. Yeah, man. If you got, if you got Master Luke, highly recommend to get JKCK. Man, so much fun. So waiting for our revenge deal announcement. Hey, you know it's gonna happen. It's something you just know it's gonna happen. Now that we have Leviathan, you know it's happening. I, trust me, as I just said, ten times, you know it's gonna happen. Hands down. I would be surprised if we don't get it. There's gonna be another revenue. It's just a matter of when, not if. I promise you. I promise you, promise you. At the minimum, I can guarantee you CG already has assets made. I bet that doesn't say much because they have assets made for a lot of characters that they that just sit around that you don't see, and then eventually pull them out of their little toy box. But I can guarantee you at the minimum that you've already thought about it. It's already assets are done. And then these, it's all about timing and then developing the kit and maybe touching up the art, depending on how long it's been around. Uh, that's just how the, the game kind of works. Here we go. Uh, all right, sure. Let's do it. Uh, so it's going to happen at some point. We just got to wait and see. We just got to wait and see. And then we have raining heavily. How's the gaming live? As I said, man, when I find the moments, I truly appreciate it. It's just a yeah, limited time, man. Limited time. I miss the days where I would like... Man, I mean, this is what I'm taking like back to freaking high school where I would be able to like play a game fully, multiple difficulties, platinum trophies. Like I remember me and my boys in school, we'd always brag about how many platinum trophies we have. Uh, boy, I'm lucky to even finish a game. It took me like a whole year to finish Ghost of Tsushima, man. <laughs> That's just how it is, man. Oh, you don't have to restart, just buy a brown. Okay, I'll try that out next time. Yeah, everyone missed those days. Don't even go there. Like, man, I remember my, my, I remember my first platinum trophy was, um, Arkham Asylum. God, I love I love the Arkham series. Actually, I think I have played with all the Arkham Arkham games. Yeah, I got like modern. I got like pretty much all the pretty much all the Call of Duties up until I want to say I think Black Ops was the last platinum trophy I got for a Call of Duty game. But man, yeah, I, there was a lot of them. Yeah, using Lord Vader and Reva. The, the, this is the most free to play team. What you're telling me? You don't have Reva, Lord Vader, Granny Quizzer? Come on. You get this team up and running like in two seconds on a free to play count. I don't know what you're talking about. Reva's easily top five most accessible free to play character of all time. Black Ops 2 is an all time great video game, man. For me, Modern Warfare 2, the OG was. That was peak. But Black Ops 2 is also. I got a lot of great memories playing Black Ops 2 back in the day. Fantastic memories. Uh, I remember when Black Ops 2 came out, I had my first finals in college. And instead of studying, getting a good night of sleep, I decided to play Call of Duty Zombies, Black Ops 2, until about 5 a.m. in the morning, and I had my exam at 8 a.m. I did well still in the exam. But, uh, yeah, it's pretty funny. The... That, that's, that was actually the first game me and the Lady of an Alderaan actually bonded over. We played a ton of Call of Duty Zombies. Uh, over the years, we still do. You know, once in a while, we'll, we'll, you know, bust up the old console, get some uh, Black Ops suits. It's, it's backwards compatible on Xbox, um, on the Xbox games. And uh, yeah, we used to play tons of zombies. 
That's how we do it. That's how we do it. Yeah, so we uh, we, had a, we had a lot of good memories. Uh, win without losing. Did I lose a unit? Oh, come on. Who died? Seriously? Complete the battle after getting stealth 10 times. All right, we'll do some... I definitely cheated, though. <laughs> I don't... I'm not much of a helpful person when it comes to galactic challenges. <laughs> hey, but hey, big shout out to, um, I know, I think, uh, yeah, Scribe, I know, does some, um, Bit Dynasty. If you're looking for actual galactic conquest, galactic challenges, I'm sorry. Galactic challenge help, 1000%. Like, it's not really my cup of tea. And, but I know there's plenty of people like Scribe, Bit Dynasty. I don't know. I want, no, I don't think Xerath does galactic challenges. It's a very small group of people that do, do it. But let me just say it's invaluable. You know, most galactic challenges are fine, but you do come across one in a blue moon that's like, how the hell do you do this? And you, you can count on a bit dynasty or scribe and gosh, I miss, I, I'm sure I'm missing some other people to help out with the uh, galactic challenges. I feel kind of bad. I can't think of, um, uh, I can't think of who else. Is there any other guys that know anyone else? <laughs> yeah, yeah, T-Bow lead, hell yeah. <laughs> bit dynasty and scribe are great, yeah, again. You know, like I said, you know, if you're into galactic challenges, I'm not, but there's plenty of people that are. That's the cool thing about it. You're going to find someone, you know, there's some people that love galactic challenges. Uh, I'm not too crazy about it, but you know, I know there's plenty of people that are into it and you can find people that are into that stuff. And once in a while, you know, there's going to be some, we need serious help on a galactic challenge and scribe bit dynasty, man. They're on the case. They're doing their thing. Uh, all right. Uh, let's get a mod on Ahsoka. Do our stealth feet here. Uh, what do we need? Uh, sure. There we go. All right. Moving on, though. What do we got here? Hold the Gertrude. I got you. We have uh, Faust the Cool. The, I think I got you, but I didn't mark it down. Are you wailing hard or hardly wailing? As I said, I, I feel like I'm letting you guys down. I feel like I really am. Um, I'm only dishing out money on characters, man. I, you need, if you're going to be a true, you got to be done. Dump of money on every pack. Relics, gear. CG broke you, man. They broke me. They made their game too too accessible now. Probably, should, you know, I should keep my mouth shut because they're going to find something so pay-to-play exclusive. And I'm going to eat my words up. <laughs> so I just want to say I really enjoy where the, the, the economy is from a free-to-play perspective and an end-game perspective. And again, although I spend money on new characters, it should... It's crazy. Like, I was really expecting there to be other people testing out Scout Trooper. I didn't see, like, any Scout Trooper test in the past, which blows their mind. And again, that's just the fault of the game for not being very... Not being very friendly to people enjoying the game. So, uh, that's why I do because I know people want to know, should I maybe put this character... Oh, what am I doing here? I messed up something. Hold on, hold on. I gotta pay attention. I'm trying to do stealth. Here we go. But yeah, that's the reason why I, otherwise, as I told you guys, I really don't spend money on mobile games. Only do it here because I know people want to see, all right, how good Scout Trooper? Is she good at low stars? What Zetas do I need? Should I maybe plan on, uh, should I maybe plan on maybe putting her on my farming radar sometime in the near future? But it just, it really, I think it's, I don't know, at least for me, I think it's kind of sad that um, we don't really get to see people enjoy these new characters. Like it's, it's crazy to see if it wasn't for us here doing our thing. You know, I mean, at least with Legends, usually there's a lot of other people. Like with Marquees, again, most people sh don't need to be spending that much money. It's crazy how expensive the game is, but it just blows my mind. It just blows my mind how uh, inaccessible a lot of the stuff is here. But at least the minimum, I'm, I feel like the gear economy is in a fairly good place right now. Pyrotex being kind of the biggest pain point and, you know, some of the relic tiers. But overall, it's just nice. You don't have to worry about Carbontes anymore. You don't got to worry about stun guns anymore and all the varieties of other gear. So it's kind of cool. Uh, oh, we have to do that, don't we? Uh I'm just gonna waste it on Jin. Yeah, I don't want to kill her. I just want to try to get more stealth out here. Yeah, I think I misplayed a little bit here. Um, all right, I don't, I don't hear. I, I'm trying to do my best here. Let's um, trying to do my best, and I think I said we'll give this R2. There we go. R2 should be ready. Okay, do that. I'm hoping this works. I am a bit concerned about Radis, though. Hmm. Yeah, the issue is. <sighs> All right. Well, we're gonna get, we're gonna keep pushing. I'm gonna kind of cheese this up a little bit here. All right, pop that. There we go. How much stealth do I need? I don't even know how much stealth I need. All right, I'm gonna hope that Radis doesn't completely wreck me. I'm gonna let him hit his ultimate. All right, he's gonna revive. All right, now we just gotta um, hopefully not run into a huge complication here. Let's go for base. 
All right, look, let's do the insta kill. Yeah. Yeah, I'm just trying to delay this as long as possible to get our stealth feats. You know what? Just get rid of Radis. I feel like I gotta be getting kind of close here. All right. Okay. All right, all right. Let's, you know, just uh, or give it to R2. Where are we at right now? Come on, R2. Tell me. Uh, two more turns. Oh, no, no, that's not good enough. All right, here. Take your time. Don't, no, don't kill. No, don't kill him too fast. No, 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 don't. Ugh, I should have. I don't think I had enough time there. Yeah, the all revive. Yeah, so Admiral Radis, when he does is you don't see it too often. And, ah, I didn't get it. I hate that there's no tracker. It's, is it 10 times or 20 times? Oh, man, we were close. I just needed one more. All right, I'll try one more time real quick. Actually, how about this? Let's do Shock T, because she can give stealth. Uh, shock T, Shock T, Shock T. There we go. Let's try that out real quick. Yeah. I guess Bad Batch. Yeah, we could use Bad Batch, too. Yeah, I don't know why I'm doing this the hard way. Bad Batch probably would do fine. Yeah. Darth Maul lead of C. Yeah, there's a lot of ways of doing it. I just I like to use this. It's, it's a bit more fun. Okay, we're going to save that first. Let's um let's get that taunt off. Let's just target myself here. And Kenobi. All right, all right, all right. Got the stun. Okay. All right. All right. So we're gonna put Ahsoka under stealth, like so. Okie dokie. That's one. All right. Now don't use that yet. We want R two to do a stealth. Okay. So that's gonna be one, two, three, four. So that should put us at five. I think that's five, unless they don't count the Ahsoka. Okay, we're going to do a cooldown reduction here. All right. All right, let's go over here. Yeah, let's do basic. All right, come on. Let's go R2. All right, and let's do that. H high ground. All right. All right, so that's going to be nine. We're going to be at nine, I think. Uh, hopefully, R2 gives it to himself, too. Oh, shoot. That's fine. Wasn't paying attention. I forgot about the, the event ability. Give me some offense up. Come on, R2. We need a, little, need a bit more. Need a little bit more. Come on. Come on. Come on. No, 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 no. Over here. Here we go. Come on, R2. Get in here, buddy. Come on. Almost there. I got to pay attention to the event ability before I miss it again. All right, 80%. Does it matter? Come on. Oh, gosh. Let's go. Come on. Come <laughs> on. All right, you know, we're just gonna do we're just gonna utilize bad batch. All right, we'll make my life more miserable. This is why I don't do galactic challenges, man. Bad batch works great. Yeah, let's just do bad batch. Most of the time I use R2, but we'll just do bad batch. Let's go. Come on. Let's do it. See, that's why I want to save this towards the end, because once I'm doing this, I'm not paying attention to you guys. I'm pulling my hair out right now. All right, what else they got here? We got an Imperial Siren. I got you. Squiggle! Bless you, the 330 pull. I didn't get it. But I appreciate the blessing nonetheless. We have Niar. With the 14 months, everyone give us your energy for the 330 pulse. Not even close today. Very disappointed. I'm blaming you guys. Someone out there took my RNG. I'm calling it. Someone out there took all my luck and they didn't share it with me. But it's all right. As long as someone out there got it, it's all that matters. Let's pass it on over here. All right. There we go. Hopefully we get enough stealth here in time. I feel like I'm winning too fast right now. All right. Please tell me we have enough stealth. All right. Hold on. Okay, all right, let's just uh, keep going. You're fine. As I'm trying to stall this out as long as I can here. Um, here, let's do that. All right, come on. High single fire damage. All right, come on. More stealth, please. More stealth. There we go. I have the event ability I could use in a second. I'd rather do that right now. There we go. Eat him out. Oh, don't kill him yet. I'm going to get like a little bit more stealth. A little bit more stealth. Come on. No, just here. Take your time. Uh, let's see. That might do it. Oh, seriously? Uh, did I get it? Please tell me I got it. 
place tonight. Got it. There we go. Yeah, that's a lot easier than me trying to do R2D2 funny shenanigans. All right. Jeez. Gotta love Galactic Challenges. Yeah, I, I probably wasn't much help there, but I, I'm pretty sure if you want to see someone do, like, actually give you some more advice on Galactic Challenges, yeah, I know for sure Scribe, Bid Dynasty, they do uh, Galactic Challenge stuff. Um, as I said, most Galactic Challenges are pretty straightforward, but you know, once in a while you get those really weird ones that really can be helpful. Using a full Empire team against Admiral Raddus, eh, it could be kind of challenging since Raddus is kind of anti Empire across the board for the most part. Uh, Darth Maul, King of Stelia. Yeah, there's a lot of ways to go about it. I, eventually, I would have gotten the R2 done, but geez, Bad Batch was a little bit easier, if you ask me. Uh, what else we got here? Uh, we have Let the Wookiee in. Man, I hate when I miss people. Let the Wookiee in. Hopefully, you're still here at the 499. I recently started playing again, and I'm approximately 14 hours from unlocking JFK. Uh, hell yeah. <laughs> Party and Will Harder, baby. We got a lot of Master Kenobis out there. You know what? Give me some. Give me just, just a little bit. Don't, just, just sprinkle a little bit of Kenobi on us. Just, just a little bit. You know, I'm, I'm seeing a lot of Kenobi unlocks. Still a fantastic Galactic Legend. He's really held up very well. Very well to this day. Um, great to hear that. And we also I got Ken B earlier. We have Overlord Server. I think we're almost caught. I just, you know me, I hate leaving thinking I missed someone. I don't want to miss anybody. I appreciate all the generosity, the patience you guys have for me, especially. Uh, we have Starful Vamp. I want to get hit by the Emperor. Jeez. <laughs> Uh, is it Ken that Scout Trooper is Jason uh, Sudeikis? Yes, I, I can always miss Is, is it Sudeikis? Sudeikis, I think is how you say his last name. Uh, they put it, yeah, that's JS in his birth year as his uh, designation number. I thought that was pretty awesome. We have Uncle Bossavis, the Wampa's Lord Shady's mom! Listen, we all know that at this point. I got Mental Pond. What else we got? Angelic Cloth, I got you. Mickey Knight, I think actually, okay, I got caught up with all those folks there. Nice! Nice, nice, nice. Miss my name. I'm gonna check at the bottom. You, yeah, you're at the bottom. I had to go to the earlier ones. I missed so many from the earlier. Ones. I just hate. Like I do so well, and then I get into the gameplay testing. And I'm like so in the weeds of it, and then I miss like the group, big chunk of people. So hopefully most of you guys are uh, still here. Uh, we have Samuel uh, Heinen. It. I'm catching to the recent ones now. I mean, I truly, guys. I just want to say, I really don't deserve it. I'm, I appreciate you guys are having a good time and all that. Man, it's just. Uh, I feel overwhelmed. It's like God. I feel like I don't deserve it at all. Uh, Samuel Heinen, 32 months. Boy, that's a long time. A bit late, but Darth Maul would be a cool legacy. Listen, I love these ideas. I think Plague is be good. I think Dur I want Dirge. If I had the picture, I really want Dirge. I think that'd be really cool. I mean, so many people have been wanting to see Dirge. I mean, let's. Yeah, I don't want to say bounty hunters are out of favor. You know, they have their uses. You know, you have Zam helping them out. Then Fennec is obviously at her prime against Lord Vader. But I, don't you really like? You know. We haven't really seen a good bounty hunter on defense. Remember when Boss was like one of the best teams in Grand Arena defense in the early days of Grand Arena? We haven't had that in a long time. So I wouldn't be mad if we had Dirge with bounty hunters on defense, man. I'd be down for that. I'd be 100% down for that. Uh, yeah. Yeah, bounty hunters are mostly an offensive based tool for the most part. What else we got here? One trick daddy, the 20, 31 months. BG3 is definitely the best game I've played here. I've been hearing nothing but positive things to that. I really gotta, <laughs> it's on my long list of games I gotta try. <laughs> Reginald Brown, 30 months. Without Cal Kess, I have to do seven out of eight globals because I'll be one burrito shirt. Oh my gosh, that sucks. That's rough. Uh, yeah, luckily, yeah, how, uh, yeah really, I, I skipped a lot of the global feats this, go, uh, this, this conquest cycle. Let me see, where am I at right now? Yeah, so in Conquest, I basically, I do the Malgus, I'll do the Captain Rex, I skip the Cal Kestis kills. Um, I don't do the... Oh yeah, I gotta do that one, the, yeah, I gotta do this one right here. You must learn control, because we did the Wookiee one. Yeah, I skip a lot of these guys up here, but yeah, if you, it's... The thing that sucks about this Conquest, man, if you don't have, like, Malgus, you're really, really boxed in on what you can do to maximize it. It's gonna get even worse. They already said Leia's gonna be in a Conquest requirement. Whew, that's rough. That's rough. Holy moly, we're still going. Yeah, I didn't actually, I'll be honest, I wasn't expecting us to have this much fun and this much time into uh, Scout Trooper today. Man, five hours, I love it. It's, it's been a fun day. Uh, we have Reginald Brown with, I got you already. <laughs> I'll just say your name again. Reginald Brown, thank you for that 30 months, my friend. Uh, surprise Goblin, I got you. Hold on, while I'm double checking, I just want to put out there, seriously. Uh... <laughs> The generosity from the Comic Club is second to none out there, truthfully. I'm just here having a good time, playing a game that most of us play when we're doing our number twos. And the fact you guys come out here ready to go to party with high octane energy, seriously, it humbles me. 
Big thanks to everyone who came out. Hope you had a good time. Learned something about Scout Trooper. Thank you for those who went above and beyond the Imperial Call of Duty with the Super Chats, the gifted memberships. My, oh my. Truthfully, man, you guys make everything possible around here. Just remember that. Just remember that. Let's see if we can try to go through all the names. Samuel, One Trick Danny, Reginald Brown, Surprise Goblin, Gamer for Life, 369. The exclusive happy birthday again. Rudy Alejos, Clay Olson, Editesh Ordo. Oh my gosh, I'd love to see that. Uh, Imperial Trooper Gar sucks, Super and Tie, love it. We're gonna tag the Shore and Tie, Legacy. We can get Neutral Kraya, hell yeah, drop a heart there. Mark Mate, I almost missed you. Grievous from 2D Clone Wars, yes. Yes. I don't know if we're gonna get it, but I'd be down for a, a new Grievous. But love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. I'd will my life on a Delta's boss. Hell yeah, Jacob B. Love to hear it. Hold on. I'm making sure to miss anyone else. And the test. I got you as well. Sweet. Awesome. I think I'm, I have everyone checked off, right? Everyone's checked off. Wait, hold on. I got you, David Newhouse. And I got RGD Arthur. Hell yeah. Baby, 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 hit me one more time. Let's take a look. Let's take a look at what we've accomplished today. What we've done together. You and I collide. You and I collide. All right, guys. We might be wrapping up the show for today. But there's a thing about the Kyber Cup. We're open 24 hours. If I want an extra hour, I want an extra day of partying, huh? I'd say overall scout trooper testing, very successful. Imperial troopers, kind of like, literally, I called it to the T. We're gonna get a new scout trooper. We're gonna see Imperial Remnants get completed. We're gonna see Imperial Remnants be the new forefront of top end Kyber competitiveness. We are right on the money, y'all. Just like you guys are always on the money too. We'll wait and see what scout troopers like in three three. I'm hoping some item versio viability if you're not too interested in Imperial Remnants right now. But nonetheless, although it's pretty good to be in that empire. It's pretty damn amazing to be in this empire today. Go ahead, Gary, play another song. Gary. Oh, okay. A little LeBrock on the way. All right. Gary's on the DJ. He's gonna be leading your party for tonight. Serious from the bottom of my heart. Thank you so much for coming out. I'll catch you next time. We got a grand arena's coming up. Who knows, maybe another character testing later on this week. We're waiting for Drogon. Let's not get too carried away. Enjoy your conquest grinding. I'll catch you very shortly. All right, Gary, you're gonna take care of him, right? Right? All right, come on. Give, give me a little fist, but give me some love. Give me some sugar. Make sure you take care of these guys. Y'all party night away. Let's freaking go, man. Gary's leading the charge, y'all. Enjoy the, your time here in Alderaan, baby. You guys made it possible. Let's go.
Goodbye.